a pit of spikes yeah. death to these certain people that that you know the thoughts that go through the head this 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 is the most mature audiences only shit you've ever heard period i hate your fucking guts from boston from boston broadcasting all over the world the world send the soy boys home because we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit drop down and give it to you this this is this is the joe cronin show now now here's joe here's cronin. joe cronin joe cronin <laughs> I do take it all back. He's not a slave. He's so much more than that. I think he might be a house Again, That's your terminology. First, Kevin was in trouble for calling him a slave, but then he doubled down and called him the N-word. So people doxed him today, and he received thousands of death threats. Denise, you ain't hearing nothing as far as an opinion. Sap, nothing as far as an opinion. They'll and they'll never get to the heart of the fucking matter because they don't want to lose their fucking contacts. You know what? Tough shit. Everybody else that's invited to these scrums, these fucking no-name, low-brow, fucking basement dwellers, fucking bedroom streamers, they all won't say a fucking thing. JD also received death threats for attacking Sean Ross Sapp and Denise Salad Tosser. It was so bad that his own co-host left him. What a pussy. I can't tell you any real opinions, just like in all my videos. I can't tell you my opinions, because I could lose my press pass to all the things. <laughs> Why do people watch this person? Joe Cronin at the same time was also lambasting Denise. People made fun of his facial hair for the 50,000th time. And of course, he received hundreds of death threats. Here's an indirect one from Kim. I'm so mad, I will cut someone over bad-mouthing Denise. Why would someone want to cut Joe over an opinion? Ooh, that explains everything. Feed her no more. Known racist. But well, what's that you say? How could Joe be racist? He's had countless black friends and black co-hosts over the years. He's even wearing a Tupac shirt. Ah, uh, the old I've got black friends defense, huh, Joe? Nice try, f*** it. But seriously, here's Joe taking a picture with some fans. He doesn't look too happy to be standing there with him. Exposed. And look at this. Joe even made one of them cover up their pee-pee so he didn't feel inadequate with the BBC. But tonight, as World War III breaks out in Israel and Iran, and Joe Biden spirals this country to hell, you get ready to observe the greatest show in the world. Live on The Joe Cronin Show, it's Monetize This. Grab a beer, grab a drink, grab a smoke, and grab some diversity, because this show is for everyone, and we give zero fuck. Oh, yeah.
yeah, let's play that intro one more time because daddy's almost ready. Are you ready? Jake DeMarco's in the house and he's drinking shots. Can I take Tommy's thought on monetize it to that? Justin Bailey and all your other friends can dish it out. I can dish it right back. Oh, yeah? I like this guy. All right, well, guess what? I raped your mother. Whoa. <laughs> oh, monetize that! Oh. Monetize that! Monetize that! Monetize that! Monetize that! Shout out to all you guys for the love today, man. And thanks to all the people who ghost watch and sent me love today. I felt so loved, it's unbelievable. You would think that I would I would feel attacked. But I felt the opposite today. I gotta be honest with you guys. I felt the opposite today. I felt the love, man. I felt the love. I was reached out today by people that I could not believe reached out to me. The only thing that I didn't like from all of that is that a lot of them that reached out to me. You know, they, they're not really doing it publicly, which, you know, that's kind of like, eh, that kind of sucks because it's like, bro, what? If you want to support me, say you do. You know, don't don't hide behind the DMs, you know? There's so many people hiding behind the DMs, so it's my only negative. But the fact that people took time out to DM me and say, hey, man, you're great. I agree with you or whatever. I get what you do. It's not a big deal, and you're good. You're good. Like, I, I am blown away by that, bro. I am, like, legitimately blown away. I got more love in my DMs than death threats. It's crazy. I would have thought I would have had all death threats. But it was love and death threats, but mostly love, which is weird. It was like 70%. Like, are you okay? And I'm like, what? Should I, why shouldn't I? What, why would I not be okay? What's going on? I guess I didn't see, like, or I don't know about how really bad it is, but... um Man, I'll tell you, bro. I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal at all, to be to be honest. But I appreciate, um, I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate the love, man. Just everybody that reached out and people that watch the show that can't go by their real names, apparently, in the chat, and just like some of the wrestlers out there and wrestling people and wrestling shows and. Big time content creators. I mean, I could. I was blown away. I didn't know so many people enjoyed, or or at least were, 
that cool, man. I didn't know that. So I'm blown away by today. But anyway, can you believe it? 300 UFC events tonight. 300 UFC events. That's really cool, man. But yeah, dude, I was, I just, I, I, I honestly, bro, I was blown away by all the support. I know I keep, I'm going to harp on that for a few just because I, I'm surprised. You know what I'm saying? I get why people are defending people. I cannot believe what Kevin did, though. I cannot believe that Kevin said he was calling the guy a slave. And then, which I got it, like, he was making a reference to the, to the wrestlers who said I felt like a slave in WWE like Big Show Paul White and stuff like that and other people that said those things. But then he doubled down and said house N-word, and it was like, oh, my God, bro. Like, uh, he was, I don't know, man. He was going crazy, and he was getting, I mean, wrestlers were reacting. The wrestler he went after was or, or mentioning reacted. Um, it was crazy, bro. But you know, we, um, you know, he will go far, bro. He will go far. He absolutely will go far. But you know, that's what happens. The um. I, I don't know, man. I'm not sure about UFC tonight. I don't know. We'll see what, how it does. Good Lord. The UFC fucking bots are here in full force. They're like, please watch our stream thing. No. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to watch your stream thing. Stop it. Stop it. But yeah, it was real funny, man. Uh, we had, I had a blast today, man. But I'll tell you, it's weird. I get it, man. People are uh, people are testy. People are pretty testy today. They're all just ba they're all just simping. You know that that's the that's the disadvantage to being a male. You know, if I was a female streamer, I would destroy. Like it would be. I mean, I do pretty. I've done well over the last ten years anyway. The best was you know you had people like who's Joe Cronin. Uh. It's like okay, but that shows you how little of like like how much more reach. You need to have to get through to everybody, you know? I'm the guy who was making a living on YouTube seven years before Denise ever got into it. That's who I am. I'm the guy who was doing it on YouTube ever before Denise. With millions of views before. With no help. No help from AEW. No help from WWE. No help from big wrestling websites. Or other wrestling streamers. You know what I mean? Like... Think about the genius of Denise Salcedo. Denise goes to every wrestling show, spends months there promoting herself, then moves to another one, then moves to another one, then moves to another one, all while garnering new subs and gaining new subs from all these different things. It's brilliant in a way. It's But it's sort of like cheap, you know what I mean? You didn't really earn it the way other people earn it. That's why she doesn't have an opinion. But... I do like to say nice things about people, too. So I would like to take a second. I will say something nice about her because, you know, somebody was like, oh, you destroyed her. It's like, well, I don't want to destroy her. I don't want to do that to somebody. I was making some jokes in an eight-minute rant or whatever. I don't want to destroy anybody. I think Denise is a sweetheart. She seems like a really nice person. I really mean that, you know? And I think she, I think the other day there was a media scrum. So I'm going to say something nice because, you know, I just believe in you should do that. You say a bunch of mean things you say or negative things, say some nice things too, right? You know, so I, I have no problem. I would love to tell her that, you know, if she is upset, you know, whatever. But she'll never talk, never come on, never talk, never do anything. But I would like to say that to her um, that, you know, there was a media scrum the other day. And these fucking neckbeard people in the crowd, or whoever they are, were, were just asking terrible questions. And some people had the worst questions, the worst start to everything. And they went to her, and she had a real question and a real, like, journalistic thing. I don't remember what the question was, but it was like, it was like, it was a good, it was a good one. It was like a real, like, you believed that was a reporter, potentially. 
And that's the point. She's a good reporter. Or, or at least a good, like, you know, journalist, documenter. She's good when she takes her camera, documents it, and reports on things. Those are great things. She's good at those things. Great job. But when it comes to giving an opinion and doing a podcast or being a part of a podcast, that's when it's like, ugh, this is not good. This is bad, you know? But that's fine. So I think it's important to say something nice about her, too. Because I, 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 unlike the what people do to me, they just invalidate me totally. Like, who are you? Never heard of you. You never did anything. I make a living on YouTube. Sure you do. Show me your W-2, Joe. <laughs> Little do they know I owe the IRS like $80,000. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, well, <laughs> the IRS knows. <laughs> but, um, but like I said, so there's a lot of stuff going on today, a lot of crazy stuff, but I wanted to get to that drama right off the top of the hour here. That, like I said, like I said, if I criticize somebody, I also do like to give people credit. And like I said, she's a good, I think she's a good journalist. And I think she's a nice person. Right? But those are the things I don't like about her podcasting ability and her opinions. She doesn't have them. Right? We all know that. But it's okay. You know, it's okay to make a joke, to make fun of that. But it's also okay to tell to tell people, you know, this is what, what I think she's good at. So there you go. But yeah, I had death threats today. I had people attacking me. But I had people like lots of people. Man, if you knew some of the people that DM me today to show me support, wow. You know what I found out today was a lot of people hate her. I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. Like people were DMing me with such savagery about things. And I was like, damn. Like, I mean, you know what I said was like, kind of a like I meant it but I was a joke it wasn't like like wh damn like what did this person do to you like some people are fucking pissed at her and other people Jesus it's just fucking you know it's just wrestling it's just talk it's just journalism it's just podcasting like some people are nuts bro people want to cut me and kill me bro so you know like I said there was a lot of crazy shit that went down today. Kevin Scampoli was calling an NXT wrestler a house N-word. That's kind of crazy. And so people are... Val Venus came to his defense, though. I think the f <laughs> the funniest thing I saw today was, was Val Venus um, come to uh, the defense of Kevin Scampoli. <laughs> I thought that was... <laughs> That was the best thing I'd seen all day, man. Because the way that he, like, tweeted about it. I gotta find it. Where is it? It's really funny. I mean, and it, obviously, if you're just getting in here now, you missed the opening of the show where I showed all this stuff and the opening. It was important stuff to see. But if you missed it, you know, yeah, you missed it, you know. But Val Venus responded to Kevin's use of the calling the NXT wrestler a house n-word which Valvina said I would never call anyone a house blank as Kevin did but I will always stand up for freedom of speech black men and women say the derogatory word every day for anyone to be okay with a black man woman saying the n-word but will be threatened bodily harm to a white man <laughs> um Hispanic, Asian, or other ethnicity for saying it makes that person a racist. Racism is not okay no matter what color of the racist skin. Freedom of speech is 100% meant to protect even the most vile speech. The real Nazi fascists make themselves known when they threaten a man with bodily harm for the exercise of freedom of speech. As the Moose Nation did. Val Venus coming to the defense of Kevin and going after Moose, who threatened to kill or beat up or something, Kevin. The answer, bad speech is more speech, not violence. Well, I mean, he used, he used violent speech. I mean, you know, Val Venus, you know, he, he just used violent speech back. I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Some would, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm, I, I, I feel like I can't, you know, like, uh, Val Venus follows me too, by the way. I don't know. I don't know why. What did I do to the big Valbowski? I don't know. Um, I don't know, bro. 
I listen. I loved. I love jokes. I love making fun of stuff. I love jokes. I love going over the line. I've uh, listen. Kevin. Kevin has attacked me before. Kevin has wanted to fight me. Kevin has threatened my wife before. Kevin used to watch this show all the time. He donated to the show. Me and him were, have been off and on friendly, and then sometimes he wants to fight me, and sometimes I say things about him. But, like, you know, I, I spoke to him today. But, like, you know, and I'm not one to tell everybody else what to do and what's the censor and what's too far and what you can say and can't say. And, you know, I've done plenty of stuff myself that's crazy, and you could say you don't agree with me and stuff like that. But, um, I, you know, I don't really want to say it call like I it's I couldn't do it it's too far for me at this point I feel like but like it was the funniest thing was watching the co-host when the guy was like when he when he was dropping the n-bomb and the co-host was just like well uh you you can call it that I don't I don't know <laughs> like and he just kept saying it dude bro like it was crazy I I, I was dying at, at laughing at that but yeah a lot of my a lot of my friends, a lot of my uh, black friends were messaging me and there was only a couple of them. A couple of them thought it was funny and they were like, you know, he's such a goof. They got it and they didn't care and they were like, that's whatever. But uh, I had so many other people, though, that, that were messaging me and they were like, yo, what the fuck? Like, it's one thing if you say it once, you know, here's, a, here's some kind of joke and you whatever. He's like plowing it on. He's calling the NXT guy that. So NXT people and wrestlers were flipping out today. Man, so that's what I'm saying. Like, when you thought, if you thought that I was under an attack, you know what I mean? You know, and maybe I am more than more than him because, you know, he said that, but try try saying something negative about a, a white girl, you know? Then you'll, really, then you'll really see the brunt of stuff. But, hey, what are you going to do? Um... I don't know, dude. It's 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 kind of it was just funny. It's some funny stuff, man. Funny stuff today. Um but thank you to everybody on Twitter. I had so many cool people say things. I'm talking about like big names. So that's crazy. Because I really didn't I mean when you look at the, some of the stuff, it's so goofy. Some of the stuff that goes on, you know? I guess people got tired of Cornette. They were like, yeah, Cornette, like Cornette's at the point where you can say anything. It doesn't matter or something. So they think like, well, let's go to the next person. I don't give a fuck, though. So it's going to have to work on somebody else. That's the problem. Problem is I don't give a fuck. You can suck my dick because you'll never take my free speech away. I don't agree with what I don't agree with what Kevin did. I don't agree that he says that he said that so many times and I don't agree with, you know, I, I don't go that far. I don't have quite the, the whatever to go that crazy, but that doesn't mean that I'm like, Oh, you know, I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him where he lives. Like, like <laughs> people were doxing him everywhere. A lot of bands going out today. Um, UFC is looking good, though, man. The fights are underway already. I got the bets in. Did you guys get your bets in on UFC tonight? Lots of bets. Lots of bets. Let me go over to the uh, to the Discord in a second. By the way, guys, we got points going on tonight. You gonna drop? If you guys drop donations tonight, hey, man, make sure you shout somebody out. We'll we'll put some uh, people up on the board tonight for some fun and see what happens. So welcome to Monetize This 451. World War Three is... Could be starting with what's going on over there in uh, Israel. That's crazy. Kind of worried about that. Um, very worried about that, to be honest. And probably everybody should be. So we'll talk a little bit about the World War Three stuff. Now, if World if World if World War Three happens under Biden, I I think I win a thousand dollars from somebody, and I forget who it is, but I have a bet with somebody. So. World War Three happens, and once we can officially decide, this is a world war at this point. But we—that's going to be the gray area. What's a real world war? You know, I think you're maybe might be seeing it potentially. So we'll uh, we'll work on that. See if we can figure that out because somebody owes me money. If that's the case, I also thought that potentially uh, Joe Biden would would not make it 
to October 2023 and that Kamala Harris would take over as president. That did not happen, so I've already lost one of the bets. But I still have the second bet, which is that World War III could start under Biden. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, they're messing with the chosen people, so, you know, there's going to be a problem. You know, they got, you got to be careful over there with the chosen people. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But it doesn't look good. Shit bomb. Oh. Joe, you're the best. You're the best around. No one's ever going to keep you down. This is really a non-wrestling show for anybody that's a noob here. Keith Jackson, thank you for the $2 super chat, Keith. Thank you, bro. Hey, I'm drinking um, cellulitis. Cellu- Celsius. Celsius, the only drink that contains cyanide. That's right. This bitch has fucking cyanide in it, allegedly. Look it up. So I was wondering why when I drink it, I become like crazy and shit like that. And I like lo- start losing my mind. And um, I don't know. I guess it's because the shit's got cyanide in it. So, hey, you got to love cyanide, man. Everybody needs a little bit of cyanide. Oh, my God, brother. Oh, my God, brother. That's right. A little bit of cyanide goes a long freaking way, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. Oh, my God, brother. But once again, man, if you guys can do me the biggest favor ever, you will show all the cocksuckers out there when you hit that like button and you stick the thumb way up there. Um, Love to hear from you guys tonight. They'll blame Trump anyway, even though he's not there. Um, Love to hear from you guys tonight. We got AEW Collision. How's that going? We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about anything else you guys want to talk about. Um, We're going to take maybe take phone calls, uh, do some other shit, do some other crazy stuff. Um, I don't know, man. Also, um, yeah, let's play it. Well, I played a donation. I played a, who was that? Was that Keith Jackson? Keith, thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that, brother. Thank you, sir. And congratulations to the, to the man, the champion of monetize this, Jay Menace, who's the champ. He might be stopping by at some point later. We don't know when he'll be coming by. Plus, like we said, we got the UFC going on. It's going to be a big night UFC-wise. And let's go over to UFC right now. We got Jake DeMarco is going to be in the house. We got um, Mr. Pico Boulevard shaving himself tonight. It's going to be He's going to shave himself into pieces. It's going to be crazy. Um, also, we got uh, Jag DePanzer's here. Just everybody's ready. What's up, Crackers? How you guys doing? Oh, my God, brother. What's up, Pico? Hey, what's up, buddy? Weird night, man. I, you know we, you know who I miss, even though he was on Monetize This uh, 450? I miss Dork Knight being around a little brother. bit. You should I don't. Aw. You don't miss Dork Knight? You know why I call my He's kids a bad fuck troopers, man, right? He's a very bad man. He's a bad man. Because like, yes, he, he might be a pedophile. He's a bad man. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, well, really, what else do you think that that he's been involved with? Oh, I know, I know a little, I know a few things. Really? Um, yeah. That like the we that we don't know on the show. Yes. Really? What the hell? Yeah, I don't want just like hate somebody for no reason. There uh, was a method to my. You're muted, hatred. Jake. There's a method to your madness? Well, yeah. I just, I, if you could tell, if you ever read the chat, I have a strong dislike for him. And there's a reason why. And it's not because that he calls one of his daughters ugly and the other one he seems to want to fondle? No. Nah, you know, you, you like, you, 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 you can't deny your heart. You love who you love, you know, even if it's your daughter. But um, Well, that's what a pedophile would say, but okay. Yeah. Well, no, that's what he said. Oh, well, I mean, he meant probably meant, like, love who you love. Like, I love my daughter. Of course you love your daughter. Wow. Like, love as in, like, I love my kids. I mean, what are you talking about? Love as in, I don't know, incest? Do you have proof? Like, he, he's done something that we that you know about? Oh, no, no, I, but there's other things. I mean, there are the documented other things. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to talk to me off air because that's. I know. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to share it in front of the 
the world unless he pisses me off enough to. Well, I think you kind of just did, but um, okay. <laughs> like, oh my god, um, get to me later about that. Uh, we'll have to. I, I, I don't even want to know. Um, anyway, we're gonna talk about Jungle Boy Jack Perry getting cheered. Yeah, we probably will a little bit. I mean, that was in Chicago, wasn't it? I thought it was in Japan. It was a, it was a Japanese promotion in Chicago. If I'm not mistaken, is that, is that correct? I know there were a lot of Japs on Collision tonight. Doctor Funkenstein, what's up? Who's Doctor Funkenstein? I don't even remember. Okay, I've never heard of him. Never heard of him either. That's why I'm, I'm thinking. Like we'll never know. I'm gonna have to. Kind of looks him. like a Bada in this picture a little bit. Well, I'm gonna boot him because. Yeah, fuck him. Because he's not talking. And that freaks me out. Figure it out, uh, Doctor Funkenstein. Figure it out. Finger it out. Finger out your audio and then come back in. Um, have a feeling it's over a girl, says Alex Cantu. Yeah, probably. He probably like stalked a girl. Like, remember what he remember his uh, his, speak of the devil. Yeah. His his last girlfriend just left him and he was like, Oh, I was at a hot remember he was like, Oh, I was at a hockey game and then they were there. It's like what? How is no bro, you what are you stalking her? So he's uh-huh. he's definitely a stalker. And like that's just what I can tell from listening to him. And I don't know anything that Mr. Pico knows, but I dare I say I know. I'm like a good read of people, um, which I don't think it's too malicious, but I do think that he's had had to be told stop and don't come, don't go there. You know, so I, I'm wondering if that's the case, and we'll figure it out later. And I'll I'll ask him about it on the show. Maybe uh, we'll see what happens with Dork Knight. What do you got for uh, UFC tonight, though? We got a. Uh, like what's the what's your big fight? We got like I mean is it is it Holloway like who like isn't the isn't the big fight? Didn't they cancel the big fight? I have, I have no clue to be honest. The I guess apparently there were some early prelims and the prelims after that that's supposed to had a lot of top name people. I really only recognize like twenty percent of people on the car, but then again I'm a casual so. Well, I think that for okay, so I found it. First of all, Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje or Gaethje or whatever his name is, Gaethje, yeah, Gaethje, yeah. He his fight was canceled, so we didn't. We're not going to see that. So that's out the out the door. Um, but no, the main event's still on. I think so. Pereira versus Hill is still happening. I got Hill winning that fight. By the way. Yeah, there's so. been a there's been a TKO, there's been a submission. Uh, Holly Holm lost. Good lord, she's ugly. Aw, yeah. what? I know to, just to bet on the lesbian always. That's my. Is guess. that really a yeah. thing? It usually works. It usually seems to be the case. It didn't work for your marriage. Oh no, no, it didn't. But now I've done something better. So. Um. By the way, Jake. Sorry, can Jake, you hear me? Oh, Jake. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. All right, I got to use my headset. I think the mic finally shit itself and died after all these years. So, you, oh, you think the mic's would, actually broken? Yeah, no, it won't pick up any audio out of it. So I'm talking to people, and that explains why people either think I'm being rude in any game that I played this week, or I was talking to people in Hell Divers. I'm like, yeah, apparently that's not working. So what's going on? Well, that at least we figured it out. Um, we got to send you a got to send you something anyway, like a new setup or. I don't know, like anything. We got to figure that out. I, well, I, at least now I can shove this thing up my ass. At first, I thought it was a problem with the computer, and I updated the drivers and did all this stuff because I could still hear myself in the microphone. But it's something with the output of the audio. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I saw you're drinking Celsius. I've got fruit punch Celsius here. Really? It's it's Plus it's, thing it's to soda. Did you see? It's got it's got cyanide in it. Mm-hmm. It's not really good you for know, you. It's terrible. No. I do have the UFC stream, uh, UFC stream up in the chat for us. Uh, yeah, it's, so do I. Well. If I, I don't know. Either way, but uh, if you want, I can leave the audio on and you can just mute it, Joe, so they won't hear it on YouTube. That's usually what I do is I just mute it on my end. Okay. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a good night. We'll see some uh, interesting fights and um, 
you know, like it's um, going to be a good night, good fights. And uh, I told you before, Joe, you had to pick a donation. But whenever that donation comes up, I got some shots over here. And I'm going to be drinking because I'm an idiot. I shouldn't be drinking, but I'm going to. And one little thing, I'm not the dozer tank that I used to be. Unfortunately, now I have to deal with, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, gastric sleeve surgery. So when I'm missing all that stomach, it just goes right to your, your liver. It doesn't process. So I am a really cheap date. So this is going to be fun. Well, I love to hear that because, you know, that turns me on. Yeah. So tonight you could see it us. Much to get me drunk, baby. We could be getting drunk tonight, and potentially Rojas might be stopping by later. And if he does, he could be drunk, and so who knows what will happen. And you've got, you know, you don't have a lot of room to to fill up that belly of yours, yeah. So you could get drunk and say something you regret, like I don't know, like something about Jag Panzer's mother, you know, I don't know. Is is uh is Rojas doing like a MJF Roman Reigns kind of thing where he loses the title and just vanishes? Yeah, I think Seems he stole it. I think he I stole think the idea. He, uh... He disappeared into the wild sunset. Mm. Well, I think he just wanted to, you know, steal the gimmick and do that for a bit. The wild wawa. Right. By the way, if anybody is looking to come on Discord, our friends or anybody else, uh, there's the Discord link. Uh, and, of course, if you guys want to donate tonight during Monetize This, you want to keep the show going all night, you want to keep us wet, wild, and weird, you want Jake to do shots, for Christ's sake, Um Jake, what are you doing? What, what should we do? Like, we should do shots. I should, I should get, yeah, I should I got, get shots. I got Applejack here, so uh, Jim Beam Apple. It's a little, little extra. I usually like Jack Daniels, but whiskey's whiskey, baby. I'm not going to complain. Apple flavor. I'm already one shot deep. I've got four to go, and I'm extremely high. But we'll play with the meds later. You know. All right. You well, know what I wanted to bitch about, Joe, really quick? Yes, yeah, bring it my on. ass. I'm going ahead and I'm picking up food. I'm going to like a little grocery shopping today, getting all the things done for the weekend, all the stuff for the family. And I walk out and I see this new bakery that opened, and they allow you to buy stuff with food stamps there. Oh. Do you believe that bullshit? A bakery? Yeah, the bakery. I thought you couldn't buy prep goods and like baked goods with food stamps, but they're allowing sons of yeah. bitches to use their food stamps there. Motherfuckers. These cannolis are so fucking good, though. I would put that cannoli up my ass, to be honest. No, there's a new bakery in town, so uh, I picked up my, my family some of these cannolis, and I took a bite of this bastard over here, and goddamn is it good, but... Mindy's? That's hot. I wish. Uh-huh. That's hot. They'd I be like closed. it. No, listen, you gotta you gotta get you gotta get you gotta use the food stamps on big they gotta allow it for alcohol soon, you know what I mean? Yeah, they right, really do. Really. Imagine that, you just get hammered off the government. You know, why is that? You can't buy any baked goods or anything like that. Nothing pre prep, but still it's funny how, you know you yeah, see but, it more, when and more I, now. Back in two thousand nine, when I was on food stamps in two thousand nine, um, God, you could buy everything. You could go to the supermarket and fill up your cart. Four hundred bucks. I mean, salmon, sushi, uh, steak, cereal, just yeah, everything. You just get everything you want. It all counts. Yeah, now there's a lot of limited things. So really, oh, I, I don't know if they're open on Mondays and Tuesdays. Might not be in Ma- maybe Massachusetts is more flexible because we're maybe we're more liberal even than you guys. Are we? I don't. We are right. Possibly. Probably. It's pretty close, but like I think we we might we. They like to pretend they're liberal here, but then they tax the hell out of everything. They 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 lean more red state. It was primarily red state until uh, what the hell's his name? Not Malloy, the one before it. Lam- not Lamont. That's it. Way ago, uh, it was the guy involved in Enron. Oh, I always Malloy. Not Malloy. Jesus, I always forget his name, but somebody might know. But he had embezzled and been a part of just awful, awful, awful practices that ruined a lot of people's businesses and livelihoods. And you're talking Ponzi schemes that were millions of dollars. And he was found guilty of all this and still got away with it, essentially. Wow. So They usually do. Oh, my God, brother. Always. They usually do, those sick bastards. Let's play a donation right now. But um, I don't know. Like, I guess if anything comes in that's 50 bucks or more, We'll do shots. Does that, shots. Does that sound good? 50 bucks there or we more, go. we'll do shots? Facials. 50 bucks or more. Okay, 50 bucks or more, we'll do shots. Um, maybe we'll do one if a Jake don't know. I don't know. But, but definitely 50 bucks or more, we'll do shots. There you go, Jake. And he's got actual nips there, too, by the way, as UFC continues on. Isn't Collision over at 11, too? Collision's over at 11. No, they got that battle the belts bullshit afterwards. 
Oh, what? So yeah. it's it's going on later? Till 11, yeah. Oh, wow. Rowland was his name, Governor John G. Rowland. That was it. That's Rowland. Something. Keep and rolling, Rowland. He was extremely rolling. guilty. He cost the state of Connecticut $220 million. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he got away with it. Even though they had the suit filed against him and all this shit, he got to sweep it all under the rug. It's getting it's like a kind of a disrespect to the champ, don't you think? Kids. It's getting to be that bad in Boston, I feel like. A lot of the Boston politicians, they, they're all like, I don't know, man. It's Boston's changed the last five years, and these people that are in charge are all like literally j- criminals. Like it's so weird, bro. They're just like all doing something criminal and they're all getting caught. And sometimes things happen. Sometimes they don't, but they keep stacking up and it's like, dude, what is going on here? This has never really happened here like this before. And it's just off the fucking charts right now with the weird shit and criminality. That's Courtney going asked on. me earlier. She's like, you know, something to bring up to Joe is I've noticed herself and as well, you know, bringing it up to me, there's just so much more with sickness nowadays, and, and so many more people are diagnosed with things that they weren't before, whether it's a, a psychiatric issue like depression or anxiety or autism. You just see this this like wave of diagnoses nowadays that I don't know if the medicine is more advanced or people are just looking into more things. It's, it's just – it's crazy, though. Like the, I, I'm curious what the percentage is of people that are – in you know need of medical assistance, whether that be you know uh, someone on the spectrum, mentally handicapped, someone in psychiatric issue, whatever it is. But compared to years prior, I feel like you know where you had one child that was autistic in the class, now it's like a third of the class. Yeah, just like peanut Nine allergies. Peanut allergies are up. This is up. That is up. like everything is up. Everybody's got something to the point where pharmaceuticals and stuff will have everybody on something. That's what yeah, they want. Yeah, school, you, uh, you know, it, we, we, I remember growing up, we had no one with peanut allergies. It was never even a thing that we, we thought of. And in Danny's class, they could not even bring anything peanut-related to the classroom. They had to make sure things were checked because one kid was so highly allergic that just breathing in the same room could cause him to go into shock. Yeah, so, like, Finn's in one of those classrooms because Finn is so bad. I mean, not so bad, but he's pretty bad. So no, fin- it's, a good, it's a good thing I remembered your son is allergic gross, so I didn't start trashing the other child. <laughs> well, it's it's one of those things where like it doesn't make like until you are affected, you don't think about it really. Exactly. You're, you're like, why do other people? Why do I got to do this? Because well, someone has a peanut allergy. What the hell's going on? But it's like, well, it can kill the kid. So it's like, <laughs> like, like my Gavin, he's fine. Brenna, she's fine. Our last kid, we have peanut allergy, severely allergic. Um. And, and, you know, he's kind of the runt, you know, of the kids. You know, he's the one that he's the baby and he's got all the things and he's more. They said that there was a study the other day, Joe, that um, because of the steroids that they give cows for the beef and whatnot to be produced in the way that it is manufactured. Um, they're saying that that's what's causing children to go into puberty at such a young age. Mm. You have children entering puberty at like nine now, which is crazy. Well, that's what the Clinton- you're watching SpongeBob growing pubic hair. Like, that- what the fuck? That's nuts. Keep that's what Bill Clinton because wants. Of our diet. Because of our diet, it's the- insane. It's because of the the diet, but you know they're prepping them so they can marry them at ten. You know. Well, they're not far off. They're, like, they're trying to make them going. their ideal age. I think you're onto something. There you go. And then the ones below that, they'll eat them for their adrenochrome or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> you know I'll drink you for your goodness. Yeah. Give me that ooze. Oh yeah. I, um, I'm, I'm sorry, Joe. I let you down. I do not have the suit on. Uh, the, the only suit that I did have got tossed away forever ago because it would have been a, a you know five X or six X suit. But uh, I do. I am rocking the Roman rain teeth. I got the uh, you know the Hollywood. Yeah, smile. Yeah, your teeth are looking good, man. Jake yeah, got, got teeth the, put got in the, the Hollywood other day. smile, but they're way too white. I tried to soak them in coffee a little bit, even. Didn't work yet, you know. It's gonna take some time, but yeah, I should have told them to give me just one step above crackhead, not one step below Jake Gyllenhaal, because they look just beyond fake. But hey, it's teeth. I'll take it. I don't know. Show me that smile, yeah. Show me that smile. Look, look at that. That looks good. I, I'm telling you, you can fit it, yeah. It's a beautiful smile. Look at and that. I can still take it out and blow you when we go. Our, uh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. You literally have the Roman Reigns teeth. That's great. I told you, it's it's literally the Roman Reigns smile. It's the fake Roman. It's so shocking. This is like now you've got Hollywood smile. I'm like, no, I told you, I want a crackhead. Yeah, so show upset, show her the needle marks. Be like, look at these. You see this? Look at the tracks. 
Yeah, come on, fix this. They did clone me, you know. They did clone you. Yeah. Um, yeah, me talking about health. I am not the pinnacle of health. Right. Well, we had a lot of fun today, man. Um, what did you think about uh, Scampoli there? Uh, House and word. I am. I'm. Uh, I. At, I'm at risk of you know slobbing your knob here, but I did tell you that when you ever went ahead and said, "Oh, the black guy, the black friend defense." Good job, Joe. <laughs> I died <laughs> laughing that video. But yeah, um, Kevin was your shield. He was your Seth Rollins. You started to get attacked today, and out of nowhere, your shield brother came and saved you by throwing n bombs left and right. <laughs> That's the funniest thing, <laughs> dude. I'm getting attacked all for just. <laughs> Making You're some... getting hit. You're getting <laughs> shot. And he's like, no. no. <laughs> he just flies in and saves. He's like, yo, I'll <laughs> save you, Joe. Boy. I'll call this NXT wrestler the N word 17 times. And, <laughs> and suddenly <laughs> the focus went from Joe Cronin making fun of Denise to like, oh my God, <laughs> like bald white racist guy. Oh we my god. Went, we already went ahead and called him a slave. What can I do next? Yeah, he's like, okay. Yeah, I called him a slave. They didn't like that. Let's go to the N word. Oh my god, bro. Uh, everyone's already reporting it. They're going nuts about it on Twitter. And he's like, how can I turn this into something worse? The best part is he DMs me. He goes, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll get him. I got you. I got you. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's literally pulled it. I'm like, well, I'm okay. I don't. What, what are you talking about? The next thing you know, that video comes out, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> bro. It's okay. I, I. Do you think I have a shot? Because I, I applied to be JD's co-host. <laughs> <laughs> His co-host left him over. Like, oh, Den I'm, Denise I'm gets a press now, pass. So maybe he'll like me. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yeah, Here I'm, is um. Oh my god, like do I? Have Here's some of the clips. So, oh, God. where's the first clip? Okay, I gotta play the first clip because first he's first he's calling him the house slave or whatever, and yeah. and you know he was trying to make a point on Twitter that like, well WWE people always say that they're slaves, and he was citing um, you know, uh, Big Show Paul White saying, oh I'm a you know I, I'm I felt like a slave. And he's like, that's Dub what Dustin Rhodes said too. He said, "Gold Dust, that's my slave name." And now people are saying the same thing about saying the yes. word Sasha. Yes. So that that's what Dustin Rhodes said. That's my slave name. So yeah, Spaz sent me that earlier. I was like, "What?" The I was like, "Come on, you've got to be kidding me." So that was his. And nobody de nobody gave him shit about that. Well, that Isn't was that his defense. Black culture. Well, no, that was <laughs> right. But so that was Kevin's. Uh, that was Kevin's defense today. Was like, oh. Or the other day, it was like, oh, they're like yeah. this is what they call themselves, slaves, when they're in WWE. But obviously, the condemnation and whatever else, and it doesn't look good, but whatever. But then they had no... Dude, the meltdown, the, the, the actual NXT superstar, I don't know what his name is. It's like Javon something or somebody. And other people and, and him and just all these people were having a meltdown over what he said. And then it was like, oh, yeah? Watch this. Like, let's make it a thousand times worse. It was it was just crazy um, that it, that it went that far. Uh, where is the clip? I've got to find. Yeah, this. it's Javon Evans, right? I will, right? I think so. Yeah, Javon Evans. And they're saying it's derogatory comments. Then Val Venus chimed in, as you showed me, which was <laughs> hilarious. But you know what? I can't help but just cry laughing earlier when time after time you saw so many virtue signaling assholes go ahead and they come out and they're like oh you're not offended you should be i'll be offended for you and all these white people tweeting how dare you use the n-word how dare you and it's like who are you to go ahead it was just it was oh god racism oh, yeah. in in indirect ways you know it's like no you're you're basically being racist by saying oh i'm going to be offended <laughs> for you you're too stupid to be offended yeah, the white the white white people are always like, oh, I'll def I've got to defend you. And it's like you don't need to defend anybody, dude. They don't. It's you're a fucking psycho. But uh, this is part of it. Here it is. Um, this is really funny. And like I said, he literally, I was getting I was getting destroyed and yelled at and threatened uh, like the other day and, and this morning, whatever else. And then this guy literally was like, okay, watch this. But so this is but this is yesterday before before this happened today. This is the other day. 
he's ready to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? The top guy. He's so ready. basically, like, he's getting cues from the director, it sounds like, to be like, like, what are you doing? See how he looks He looks away from his promo at somebody, and he's like, oh, oh. Mm. oh okay, look, like, What was that part? He, he got a cue, like, Weird. shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out here. What the fuck is this? That guy. You know what I'm saying? The top huh. guy. You feel me? Huh. Look, look at that. Look at the panic in his face. <gasps> the director said, L wrap it up. <clears throat> I'm in trouble. Look at this. This is fucking pathetic. That's a wrestler to you? Someone who's that scared of a fucking little fat white dude in a suit? Some Jew? <laughs> Some off-camera Jew makes you that scared? You're a slave, not a wrestler. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. So... Imagine that, like he's getting just like and the funniest oh. the, dude. Didn't you laugh when you saw the Ringside News article? It's like <laughs> wrestling <laughs> podcaster like, calls multiple personalities react to scam police derogatory comments. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when the podcasters are becoming news. Like you're like, what the fuck is going on? Most and I love the way they talk about him because he's calling out people <laughs> saying, I'm not a journalist because you read shit on Twitter doesn't make you a journalist, Denise. And then he goes around and people are quoting him saying wrestling journalist Kevin Scampoli. It's like you just proved your point. <laughs> you fucking clowns. You just proved his point. I don't know what they do. They oh, don't know. It was so classic. I just couldn't stop fucking dying. The brains of the people today that were that were mad at me. I mean, I was like, Jesus Christ, these people, most of them are retarded. Like, it's it's kind of <laughs> crazy. <just> some Jew. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, and then he gets that in there. So that was somebody was really mad. I forget what they tweeted, but they were like, this racist. And then they were like, and anti-Semitic. And I was like, oh, it's too bad he didn't say <laughs> one more thing slur so that person's tweet could have said yeah. and homophobic or something and like that. xenophobic. Yeah, we should have had him <laughs> doing some Chinese accent, you know? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. But then, like we said, then he doubled down. And, well, tripled uh, down at this point. <laughs> then he tripled down and um, he came. he basically came to my defense today. He said, you know what? You know what? Joe's in trouble because he made a little fun of Denise. You know, he made a little joke about Denise and Joe's in trouble. So I'm going to come out today and I'm going to take all the heat off of Joe with this. I do take it all back. He's not a slave. He's so much more than that. I think he might be a house <laughs> okay, That's your terminology. Oh, that, now, this is, this, this is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part. But he's DMing me. Hey, Jake, how you feeling? It's good to see you on Joe's show. And then meanwhile, he's posting this. <laughs> meanwhile, you're talking to a racist, Jake. What are you I doing? The dichotomy of the two points is so great. You know, it's like two different people. Well, you're a white guy. He's oh. checking on your health because you're I white. I did take it all back. He exactly. If you're black, he wouldn't check on your health. No, he wouldn't give a damn. Not Kevin. So at the same time. He's not time, a slave. He's so much more. I, I, but the best, <laughs> what's, what's messed up? <laughs> what's, oh, I can't believe he did this. I cannot believe this guy. But the worst part is, is his co-host. He says the N word. His co-host is like, um. Well, I don't agree. I, like, he like doesn't. He just can't. Does <laughs> nothing to say. What just co-host? I do take it all back. He's not a slave. He's so much more than that. I think he might be a house f***er. Again, that's your terminology, Wesley. I'm just considering him to be a future <laughs> star. Him and Nikki <laughs> Ali, I'm still going to call him by their independent names, and I feel <laughs> they're going to be the stars Wait, of WWE. What are you calling them, future year. stars? I consider them as the future main events, yes. How is that better than house f***er? Because they're actually going to be world champions like Cody Rhodes, and they're going to finish their stories. In other he said, and they're going to finish. It sounded like he said the N-word. You know, this reminds me of when, when I'm messing with Rostafa, and Rostafa's like, no, I, there are wrestlers to me. Like, like <laughs> How You've seen his wife. Gino, please, you understand now all the wrestlers are swearing. Well, did because you see what be that world Jesse, like Cody. the blonde that loves wrestling on Twitter, the, the the other fake one, she went ahead and she posted Scampoli's arrest record from 2007. And she's like, yep, see, Roots this guy is an actual recorded piece of shit. Domestic violence and substantial bodily harm and she put, from 2007. So she's got to drag this shit up in virtue signal yet again. Yeah, we know. I mean, honestly, we know about 
I mean, Jesus. I mean, it, you know, he I said I'm an actual piece of shit, like the one in the baggie under your shirt, because she's got a colostomy bag, Joe. I'm fucking dead. Oh God, Kevin. <laughs> You're killed, Jesus. Jake is losing it because of Kevin. I can't believe he said it. I can't Dad, believe. He did I can't it. believe he just said that to her. I mean. Oh wait, he, wait he a minute. Wait, and, wait a minute. No, what did he say to her? I didn't. I didn't get what you were saying. He, she called him a piece of shit, and he said like the one in the baggie under your shirt. <laughs> oh my she god! The, she has oh the colostomy god. bag. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh, is this the Jess the Buckeye girl? Yes. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> oh my god. No. Now listen, I. Oh my God! I wished her well when she was going through all her stuff, and I think I she. Uh, to be honest, she does not like me, and she called me a piece of shit and something like that. Yeah, she wasn't a fan of me either, and I was genuinely trying to be like, "Hey, I hope you. I've been in the hospital a bunch. It sucks. I hope you do well." And oh my God, was not met great, so uh, I got no response back. I was trying to be just like, you know genuinely myself and be like, "Hey, I hope you feel better." Never heard anything back, and then kind of realized, "Oh, we're blocked and whatever." So hey, that's fine, but. Uh, in this, if he just said something, I'd be like, oh, he's an asshole. But she's out there posting his, what, f how many year old, almost 20 year old arrest well, record? That's what's weird. That's what's funny to me in a way, because like, I guess I've known about, I've known about this for a long time, right? In fact, this is what, if you he don't- He talks about it himself. Right. No, no. He, he glorifies it. It's very weird actually that he does it, but, um, this is what started the beef with him and me and Leah. If you don't remember, like he was a f listener of the show you know, we kind of got along. I didn't. I told him I don't agree with everything he kind of does and says, but he really goes out there. Um, I I went to Internet Darlings. If everybody remembers, the, one of the reasons why I went to Internet Darlings, uh, with uh, you know, Grimm's Toy Show and JD and everybody, I went there because they kicked him off the show. They kicked Kevin off the wrestling show. Because they found out about all the stuff, and then he was like, oh, fuck you all, or something. And then they, they were like, okay, let's get that guy out of there. And then he was, gonna, he was like, threatening to call in a bomb threat during, <laughs> during the fucking internet darlings while we were there. Well, did you see what Val Venus just posted in reply, Joe? No, 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 I didn't. He said, if, if Kevin had black skin, you'd be cheering Oh, I him read on. that. Yes, I read yeah, that you saw that. Okay, you did see that one. Val's, I so, but Val I follows me. He's a little tapped, too, but Val is something else. And the, He's uh, out there. But he's going after Moose because Moose said he, he would fight Kevin, and then Val Venus is like, you know, threatening violence on somebody because of words, you know. So Val's going after Moose. And, and the communist comrades, apparently, too, he's going after. And, you know, I feel like I, I hate to be a fucking fence sitter, but, like, I feel like I'm kind of like, you know, I'm, I am I understand this guy's humor, so I'm not all triggered by it. Like, I get it. These people don't get it. But, like, the guy did, he so he posted about his, his girlfriend, he busted her collarbone, his girl's collarbone and whatever else, and um, what happened was he said something, and then Leah, my wife... He, was on monetize this, and then she made fun of Kevin. She like made yeah, fun of Kevin. She called him a bald headed baby, and then from yes. there just went off. And she said, she "Why was don't you?" Pissed. She's still like, well, "Do you want to beat me up like your ex or whatever?" And then Ke that's when Kevin was on a campaign for like eight months of like <laughs> she's so good wanting and to he fight just me. Tore you two apart constantly, and it was just like, uh, it it was funny because he's he is very good at just roasting people. He, he's always had a talent for it. But when it's coming at you, it's like, God damn, you know, it's just unending and unyielding hate. <laughs> yeah, I still <laughs> get people. Trolling. I still have people to this day that say stuff like, uh, you know, fuck you, you know, whatever. But I'm like, oh, well, I've talked to the guy, so I don't know. We don't even have a problem. But like, yeah, so he got so he came. I think I, I believe I think it's a conspiracy. I think he saw me getting piled on today and he was like, yo, I'll I'll, I'll change. I'll change the anger. And put it on me. Here's Finish their stories. Another house. You've seen his wife. That's the future. This poor other guy is just trying to make wrestling points, and he's like, "No, we're gonna do this." Main events, yes. How is that better than house? Because they're actually gonna be world champions, like Cody Rhodes, and they're gonna finish their stories. Another house. Not everyone will. You've seen his wife, Gino. Please, you understand now. All the wrestlers are swearing, so now I'm the only guy who says house this many times about specifically this wrestler that you remember <laughs> the name of. Yes, I will always remember the name of Jay Malachi, the future athlete, the future star of this business, the next world champion. He's definitely the current house n***er, but I don't know about what he's going to do next. So, 
<laughs> then, then it got really bad on Twitter after, after that was posted. I was just like, what are you? That looks like powder. Uh, he, he looks like powder. <laughs> Is that what you said? He looks like powder? Yeah. Oh, my God. Who is God. the other dude? It's like Luke. That was just some... That, that was his Luke. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that's his Luke. Luke, you got to step up your game on the deadpan, bro, because that's one of the best deadpans I've ever seen. This guy's sitting here dropping N-bombs, and his co-host is just like, oh, I wouldn't call him that. I would call him a wrestler. Well, people were acting like Denise got beaten up, raped, and fucking tortured. You know, you, you, Jesse and others are posting, like, keep being a badass. You're loved. You're an amazing interviewer, and you're an amazing podcaster and host, and you're just perfect. Like, all this just ah, bullshit, and it's like... How thin-skinned are you? You can't take a little bit of criticism, well, and then again, with everybody being a journalist, come on. I don't blame. I, I, I don't blame her. More. To be honest, though, you know what's ironic about that, Jake? I said this when I opened the show. I think she's actually one of the better people at asking questions during the press events. So I actually do think she's a better journalist than anything else. I think she's a bad podcaster. I think her videos and her podcasting stuff. That sucks. That's the stuff that sucks because she doesn't give an opinion. Because, listen, when you're a journalist, you're not really, sometimes you're not supposed to give an opinion. And you can't because you're trying to get in with the companies and then get invited to everything. And if you give your opinion, that might make people upset. So that's why she can't give an opinion. So that's why I'm like, I don't want to know your reaction because you don't have one. But I think she's actually decent on the journalistic thing at asking questions at the stupid events. I, I know that other people aren't giving her that credit. I will give her that credit. I'm not even kidding. I will fucking give her that credit. I've heard the questions from some of those other people. They're fucking trash most of the time. Some of them are good. Some of them are trash. Um, hers are usually pretty good, usually. Like, they're they're all right. So I actually think that's her strength. She just has these other weaknesses. I don't like them. And I made fun of it. Big whoop de doo And I don't blame her. I don't blame Denise because a bunch of fans of hers or whatever are going to be like, I'm going to kill you, Joe, and cut you and whatever the fuck. And one lady was like, I'm going to... Some, someone was like, how can you say something like that to this guy? And she was like, well, I have a kid and she did something good for us once. So you want to kill some other person? Joe, you want to kill Joe Cronin who has three kids because he has an opinion about somebody? So it was just crazy. It was like, but I don't blame her for that. Now, I know that they'd blame me for that because they have. They'll put up and post like, oh, Joe Cronin, you know, but I'm not going to do that because it's not me. I know it's not her, you know, but uh, again, those... Those people think they're virtuous and great, and we're so good people. But a guy goes on an eight-minute rant, and let's kill him and his family. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But whatever. How, 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 how's it coming along? How's how's UFC? I got to turn it on. I got I turned it off a minute ago. But, yeah, Kevin t jumped on a grenade, apparently, for me today. And, and also for JD, because JD was getting shit on, too. And uh, it, it went from, like, oh, Joe and JD, you're so evil and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, shit. Like, Kevin Scampoli was like, yo, let me let me say, uh, let me call this NXT guy the N-word 70 times. And then I'll call Brandy it, too. Oh, my God, bro. Is he, I mean, he's that's gonna, there's going to be a week of that for him. You know, he's going to be, <laughs> like, you got to give it to him, though. The guy, he does not back down. Like, he's ready to go. Like, yeah, come hell or yeah. high water. I don't know, bro, but he's uh, wow. The colostomy bag thing is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> that is uh, you know that that girl's. I don't know. She's always been kind of weird, you know. But what you know? What are you gonna do? I get it. Let's play a dono. Hey, bullfrog is a moron. <laughs> Scissor me, Joe. <laughs> I'm supporting Israel. I recently acquired a little Jewish boy and we make sandwiches together. <laughs> we plant periwinkles in the garden and tender it smooth. We make the rich, creamy soil nice and smooth. The moist Ooh. and smooth soil makes me tender. What the hell? Leonard Kitty Kisser. What the um, fuck? Oh my god, die. Thanks, Leah. Um, Leonard Kitty Kisser, thank you for that donation. That was... Uh, a little terrifying, but I appreciate it, bro. Hey, Bullfrog is a moron. <laughs> Scissor me, Joe! <laughs> Are you going to get a Ramones shirt like CM Punk? Doomed, huh? Thanks for the donation, man. Um, 
you know, that Ramon shirt is fire that CM Punk wore. That man, you know what? The clothing line, if they haven't already, and that's not already a clothing line thing, man, clothing lines need to reach out to CM Punk because that guy does an interview with a certain shirt on or something. I, I've heard multiple people be obsessed about wanting to get that Ramon shirt all over the place. So, man, I think I think that shirt's fire. Good call by CM Punk. And, uh, yeah, I might have to get one of those. It's pretty good shit. You see people are complaining about Apple because they changed their emoji keyboard. So when you type in Africa, a wooden hut comes up. And when you type in China, a dog <laughs> emoji pops up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exaggerating either. It's in the news right now. Apple's under uh, a great deal of, uh, you know, yeah. So you're saying Apple, Apple's there. undergoing some subliminal racism at Apple. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I guess so. Well, it certainly seems that way. And uh, somebody just, some sometimes Twitter is just an awful place. I'm telling you. Really? You scroll through here, and you're like, all right, a few WWE tweets, and then they have a video of some fat girl going into the pool and her tampons floating in the water. Like, why post that? Oh, God. I fucking hate Twitter. <laughs> well, I'm never on it. I hate social media. It really is a shithole usually, you know, but, you know. This guy said, um, this guy said he's going to clock me. And I, I sent him a picture of a clock. <laughs> like, and I, I don't know if he was trying to make a joke, but like, so basically somebody sent me a tweet. Someone sent me threatening me or I don't know what they were doing, but I basically I couldn't see it. So I don't even know what they said. So I wrote, he has me blocked. Right. And then below that, somebody wrote. And I'd clock you. So I don't know if like we're trying to rhyme here. Like he has me blocked and I'd clock you. So clock, clock. then I sent him a picture of a clock. And I don't know. That's basically Twitter. You know? That's Twitter all day. Hey, you can witness the hell that I went through. You don't have to share me, but you know, it's just like, why would these bastards post this on Twitter? It's horrible. It's torturous. See? It's god awful. Well, D, D Welsh is watching the Bruins game, so he's obsessed with the they won. Look, Yep, take that, Welsh. Welsh has got to be pissed. Cause well, no, we were playing. Weren't we playing Pittsburgh? Yeah. Oh. Well. Now what's up with the war? Because the Israel stuff was going on. The missiles are coming in. Don't you think that the reason why it's like drones are striking like weirdly, that it's more of like with the world war as far as that goes. Don't you think it's because like nobody really wants to go and do a war? Well, except for. Like, you know, Israel and Gaza really do, but and in Russia and Ukraine are kind of doing it for real, but but nobody else really wants to turn the rest of the world into a war, so they're like, let's send drones first. Like, stop Israel, so here's the drone attack, and like they'll and basically it will just escalate from there. But they're trying to stop it with the with the first thing, which is a drone attack. And then maybe Israel will be like, Okay, all right, we'll stop if you stop, and well, everybody will stop. And th that's what everyone's really hoping for. Nobody really wants it to get to the next level of real weapons or, and things like that. Doesn't it feel like that's what's going on? It's not – because no, it, it's all goofy stuff, like positioning warships and, you know, little dr you know drone attacks that they know won't do too much, I think. But Israel killed the Iraq – the Iran – leader or whatever the other day after like they were like hey let's all sit down and let's have a ceasefire truce about this and you know israel stop bombing gaza and you guys stop everything and let's all go do that and then israel was like nah and so now iran and everybody is like okay well now we're gonna now we're gonna do something and it's like a drone attack so i don't know i they said some general was assassinated or killed and yeah, the, I didn't hear the whole story. I think the I Iran, an Iran general or somebody there was was taken out by Israel, which yeah, is yeah, from what I was seeing, and it was it's just not good that we're involved. You know what I mean? Like, thank God they're not part of NATO, right? Like, they're not really part of NATO, and neither is Ukraine. So we're not like obligated to like do something, but we are kind of. Yeah, Israel killed one of Iran's, like you said, head generals. So that's uh, retaliation. Everyone's worried about. <clears throat> 
It's in The Guardian right now. It said the world waits anxiously for a Iranian response to Israel's killing of top general. As Tehran yeah. seizes a cargo ship of the Strait of Hormuz, Israelis are tense, waiting for next step. Yeah, assuming it's at eleven. <laughs> assuming they really did it, and it wasn't like you know, like we said, like a false flag or something like that. Come on out, you rapist! Artist, uh, the artist, the artist. Why am I saying like autist? The artist, formerly known as Jabroni Jabber Brody. Hey, he just became a member, and guys, we have a big celebration tonight. Artist formerly known as Jabroni Jabber, thank you for that for that dono, man. I really appreciate it. We love you. Um, but I got to give it up tonight because it is a celebration tonight of a milestone for somebody, and it is a mega milestone. It is a mega milestone because tonight marks... 21 years from Rojas not getting laid. Well, that's true. Hey. That's true. Wait, is this his birthday tonight? Oh, I don't know. Oh. But it's been 21 years. Because if it was his birthday tonight, I'd be like, how did we miss that? We got to celebrate Rojas' birthday? I got a shout out to the man, baby, the man himself, and I'm talking about Sith freaking Negan, the big one of the biggest donators yeah. ever, baby. Enemy design, the lifesaver himself. Sith is five guys. This is crazy. I'll play a little clip of this, but listen, five years, five Damn. years as a one hundred dollar. Patron on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. It is 100. Sith Negan, five years. That is a record, a crazy amount. And we got to put it up because this is a celebration. I don't know if anybody will ever reach this milestone again. Five years. $100 patron. Just wanted to shout that out tonight. Have a little special yeah, yeah, celebration there for Sithy. So thank you to Sith Negan. Five years as a one hundred dollar a month patron. That's crazy. Shout out to Shell who came back last month too. Hope she's okay listening. The enemy designed Sith Negan. Five years. It's big time. As we continue to watch UFC, um, well, Bo Nickel wins uh, wins his fight six and zero now, I think. Um, and then Oliveira lost to Armin. Um, is, wasn't he facing um, Sarukin or whatever, or was it somebody else? Tonkin? Who who did he fight? Tonkin. Tatanka. Tatanka. And then Holloway is going to face Gaethje. And then I don't know. I don't. Oh, my God. I think I do remember these women. Holy shit. The women fighting. Are they both Chinese? Anybody know? I got no clue. I don't keep up with USC like that anymore. Oh, my God, bro. It's like Wee I Zhang. To... I believe they both are. At least they're, they're, they're Asian, both Oriental, Asian descent. Whoa. You, you can't say that anymore. Can't say Ching Chong. I thought you. Oh my oh, God! Uh, Bing Bong. Nope, you can't. Nope. Ping Dong. You can't say that anymore. Uh, ping Point Ping. <laughs> and then. Oh, and no, and then. Unbelievable. <laughs> don't don't say end. Don't don't don't, don't, don't the social credit. Don't do the scan poly thing. Shit bomb. Triple M donated a dollar. Thank you, Triple M. He's on the call too. Look at that. I told uh, Rojas every show. I just told Rojas to beat people. He said people in his family were telling him this, that, and the other thing about something. And I said, just beat them. Go beat your family. Yeah, just, just beat the fuck out of all this... of them. Show them who's boss. Show them why you <laughs> had that title for one point in time. Guys, Go up to your mom and cunt punt her. Just fuck it. Pop. How, was, <laughs> how was Collision, everybody? Anybody know how, how you feel it about Collision? It was a disaster, well, apparently. Did he watch it a time? bring in right Honor. Oh, Lord Beaver, thanks for becoming a member, Lord Beaver. How you doing? It ended with a whimper. Um, the main event was a Ring of Honor match uh, on an AEW show with the graphic for the IWGP Championship. Oh my God! So I mean, it's it's confusing. And next week, Rampage is right after Collision. 
Wait a minute. So, so next week there'll be another shit bomb. two hours? We are very Tony. lucky today that Iran did not send a dirty bomb drone over Israel or else last story we would get to see is Cody's Can You Say Vaporized? Yeah, I mean, well, I just think we're lucky that, I think everybody's lucky that, I don't know, man, I don't want to say lucky, but I, I feel like I feel like we're lucky that people don't want to really escalate more i mean they don't they're escalating but they don't want to just go they don't want to do it it seems like that's what i i mean i could be wrong we could be told i could be totally wrong but i i just feel like people were real i mean israel has killed like forty thousand or thirty thousand people in gaza and listen obviously like they were attacked disgustingly sick like terrorist nasty stuff that happened to them it was sick and horrible so that happened to them like a couple hundred people there's still there's still hostages and then they went and they've taken out like 30,000 people and that's crazy and then on top of that you know now we've got other people fighting and now Iran has finally decided to attack Israel after they were kind of all saying, okay, you know, you've killed 30,000 people now, please, like, stop. Like, you know, you got, like, this is crazy. I mean, who's the, I'm just trying to say, man, I don't know, who's the bad guy? I don't know, like, I mean, from their, from an outside perspective, they're like, yo, you've done enough, like, stop that now. And Israel is like, no, we're going to level this whole thing down. That's it. And Iran's like, no, stop. You know, we want to have a peace treaty. If you don't do a peace thing, you know, there's going to be a problem at this point. And they're like, no. So they keep going. Now Iran's going to attack Israel, but they're attacking them like almost like barely. They're just sort of saying like, we will do something. See, look, we're doing something. See, um, you know, so I but I'm worried that this is another like, OK, you wouldn't come to the table and stop. Now we're going to start doing a drone attack. But then if if Israel doesn't agree to talk and, and stop now, are they going to then go to another level? Because then if they go to the next level after drone attacking, now we're talking about, you know, potentially America getting involved. And then if America gets involved, now we're a target. And now we're in it. And then Russia might get involved. And now you're talking about World War Three, all because of this stupid fucking shit. With these people who are like, let's jump over a wall and start cutting people up. You know what I mean? And it's like, we're, it's never going to end. It just keeps, if you know, if you, if you know what I mean? If you're paying attention to the escalation, it's like, this is scary, bro. It's, uh, we're watching escalation happen in real time. Escalate, escalate, escalate. It's just escalating. That's all it's doing. First, there's a terrorist attack, a couple hundred people. Then then Israel fights back, 30,000 dead people. Hey, let's agree to stop. No? Okay, well, now we're attacking you. We're in like, So it's just going, it's escalating more and more, and that is not good. That is really bad, and I really don't want to see a war. Like, But, if, but at least if there's a war under Biden, I'll win $1,000 because... Somebody said, Trump's going to get us to war. And I said, Trump does not want war. I don't care if Trump's a shithead or you don't like him or whatever. Trump does not want a war. And he's so scary that nobody else is going to want a war with him either. So, you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, if if uh, if uh, SRS wants to have a fight, we can have a fight. I mean, is he wants to have a fight? Is he challenging me to an open fight? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> He wants to have a fight with me. I mean, I guess if it's like a real fight, like a UFC fight, that'd be kind of interesting. He doesn't have kids, though, does he? You know, Sean Ross, he don't have kids, huh? I've got three kids, so it's like I, I'm a little more worried about, you know, like medical bills. What's up, Jay Menace? Oh, what's Damn. going on? What's going on? What's going on, baby? What's going on, my people? Wait, you're not supposed to be here. I'm racist. It's the champ. Yo, hey Joe, I wanted to uh kind of piggyback on what you were talking about with the the like uh potential brewing war going on, but yeah, then you know you start you start asking about the guy with kids, and you know, hey, look, all I can say is if you kick him in the right place, he definitely won't have any. So, you know, there's a there's he's, a good little he's you know, taller than he's 
he's a taller guy than you think. He's actually pretty tall. I, I don't know what what height he is, but I've seen him before up against people, and I'm like, he he's actually bigger than you think he is. He looks like a little dweeb, but he's actually bigger than you think. But I look like yeah, a, everybody. See, I look like a little dweeb thing. too. We all look like little dweebs. He might be. He might lean on that, and you know, because he looks the way he looks, it's like, oh, people won't fuck with me. So he actually hasn't been in an altercation. You might have the upper hand on him. You know, I when he um got in the face of who did he get in the face of? He got in the face of Bill Bahati not that long ago. But he sort of like got in the face of Bill Bahati um and Bill Bahati was with his kid. So and and if I recall when I saw the video, I, I think he went he said something to Bill Bahati. I don't think Bill Bahati was looking to fight him. I think they had had some beef on Twitter and other places. And um, see, but the difference is, though, this guy's always looking to fight people just because I disagree with someone or even if I just say some shit, I'm not necessarily looking to fight somebody. But like, OK, if you want to do that and be stupid, we can do that. Fine. If you want to be a Neanderthal fucking weird fucking, I don't know, alpha cowboy, like we can do that, I guess. But like, that's not really what I'm looking to do when I go to a wrestling show, even if even if it's somebody like that, I've said shit about and they've said shit about me. I'm not going to go up to them at WrestleCon and be like, yo, let's settle this now. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if he did, it seemed like he did that to Bill Bahati. Um, but Bill Bahati was with his kid and Bill was like, let's go outside or whatever. So it was just weird. You know, you're with your kid. Um, I would have yeah, just, you know what? It's- I would have said, hey, man, oh, I'm, I'm with my kid. I'm all set. You know, I'm all set, Sean. I'm with my kid. Don't want to fight you in, in the WrestleCon. You have a good day, sweetie. You know, that's about what I'd say. It is really weird to me how so many grown men don't have, like, the slightest idea about, like, conflict resolution. That truly, truly bothers me. Like, the only resolution or the only way to handle your frustration is to get it out with anger. I, I understand that's, you know, real barbaic and... I just say barbaric. Barbaric. Bar- barbaric. Jesus Christ. But a lot of them too, <laughs> like the left left wing people, they're normally the they're supposed to be the peaceful science ones. I think Bill Bahati's a right wing guy, and Sean Ross, I think he's like a left wing guy. So you would think that Bill Bahati would be the one that wants to fight, and that Sean Ross would be like, oh my god, no. But instead, it was seemed like the opposite. It seemed like Bill Bahati was like, no nah, man. I'm with my kid, you know, I'm not going to fight you at WrestleCon. Unless you want to go outside, then we'll go outside. And Sean Ross was like, yeah, do something now, do something. I was like, what? Like, what? Is this even, like, even wanting to get into an altercation at WrestleCon is just crazy by itself. Like, it, it's, wouldn't that technically be considered both of their place of work? You know what I mean? Like, their, their own location trying to cover an event. Like, wouldn't that still be yeah, considered I don't, a place I, of work? I'm wondering if he just figured I'm in front of all these people that will help me or I I don't know. I don't, I don't really know, man. I don't know what it is. My thing is always to talk to people first. Like let's have a conversation first and find out what's really going on. Thus why I went up to, this is why I went up to Ryback. You know, people always say, Oh, you were scared of Ryback. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I went up to Ryback, but I didn't go up to Ryback. Like notice I didn't go up to Ryback and threaten him, right? Like Ryback had been threatening me on the internet I had made fun of Ryback, and I said, you know what, That this is all stupid. Let me just go up and talk to Ryback. So I went yeah. right up to him. I got right in his face, not in a bad way, and I said, hey, Ryback, um, no, no, I'm Joe Cronin. Hey, man, listen, I apologize you got offended when we made the jokes, you know, when my producer called as you're, you know, doing a voice, and then he cut me off and was like, yeah, 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 but the thing is, and then he went on a rant. And I let and I let him <laughs> rant because I was listening to him. I let him rant. I said what I said. Now, how's your reaction to that? Okay, it's it's you've got something to say. Go ahead and get it out. And then I reiterated again. Hey, man, again, like I do comedy. It's not supposed to be a real serious thing. Didn't know you would take it that way. I I hope uh, you know everything. Whatever. Hey, I accept your apology, but still, like it's bullshit. You know, blah blah. He cuts the promo. He gets it off his chest. I get off my chest. I I I apologize again. And I and I say like you know if there's something you want to say to me, you can you know feel free to say it. Um, and then JD asked him for a picture, which was retarded, but (laughs) like, but so I went up to him. I didn't, I could have hid from him. I could have hidden. I could have been like, let's not go over there. Ryback's over there. He might see me. No, I went up to him, but not to start a fight or not to be like, Hey bitch, you know, not to make fun of him. You know, I went up to him to say like, do I do a comedy show? Um, and I would have done that if he was a five foot five skinny midget 
or I would do that to him if he's jacked up crazy Ryback. Either way, it's the same thing. If you want to beat me up, you want to do that, all right. Like, I guess that's what we're going to do. Fine. It, like, because at some point, I will go. I'll go if you want to do that. Why, though? Why are we doing that? Stupid. Like, why would I want... Do I really want to fight Sean Ross Sapp? I don't even... I barely... I don't even know him, really. I just know he's... You know, he oh, he's always mad at people, and I know that I've said things, and I... So, like, I'm not innocent. I've said jokes about all these people, and they don't like it. Oh, well, you say shit back to me that's even worse that's not true. And it's like, well, I don't like that, but I, I get it. I take a shot, you take a shot, you take shots at me, whatever it is. Um, But if you really want to fight over it and, like, somebody could get really hurt because we want to fight over, like, just shit that we talked on the internet, I would go talk to him on a show. He could come... Anybody could talk to me on my show. I'll talk to you on your show. I'll talk to you off air. I'll even call into your show as Bernie, and I won't advertise my show. It's not about advertising or getting views. I don't even give a fuck. But I would make up and bury the bullshit, like, with anybody if they wanted to. You know, it's just like... It's not worth someone getting fucked up or whatever because people have problems and can't agree and don't understand their fucking whatever the problem is with each other or whatever. Um, it's so stupid. Yeah, but it's, it's it's they wanna they wanna have their cake and eat it too. They they wanna kinda take pot pock shots at you, but then don't wanna extend their platform to you because you know, they they offer their audience a opportunity to maybe find somebody Without you know going out on their own, that may be a little bit more entertaining. May may have more new nuanced perspective. May you know just have a different take than what the guy that they're listening to already has, and they're they're terrified of that. If there was no worry, if there was no concern, they wouldn't have a problem bringing you on board and discussing issues. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing better that you can do when you have an audience that big than to than to be an example and show that hey. I don't like this guy. We have problems, but this is how we're going to handle it. And, um, you know, like I said, a lot of those dudes don't want to give up that position because they're actually scared. He's, he's, I hate to say it like that because, I mean, I don't know the guy, but um, that's at least how it comes across to me. Like, you just seem scared. You seem, and that, that's another kind of tactic, too. When, when you got a dude who's actually insecure and scared on the inside, he wants to, like, you know, boss himself up and act like he's gonna fight, but dude's not gonna fight. Like that's the that's the real problem. If some shit break out around him, I guarantee Sean Rossap is booking it. So well, you know, so you, you kind of end up. I will. I will give him some. I mean, I, I'll give Sean some credit. I mean, he got in. They got in each other's face. You know, they've been. You know, they have been talking some shit. Um. But like, I don't know the extent of the beef that they had. You know, so I don't know at, um, you know, I don't know the full extent of the fight or like the beef that was happening. So I, I don't know, but I, I, I know that, you know, Bill will say anything and I know that, you know, he's kind of a, that Sean's kind of a shit licker, you know, he's kind of a cowardly, <laughs> sh you know, just, he, he uses his fucking platform and all this other stuff to just be shit, um, I don't know, like, so I understand that, but, like, I'm trying to find it now, the fight, but... Shit liquor is crazy. I don't know, man, I shit can't... Liquor. <laughs> shit liquor. Shit um, I can't fucking find it, man. I wish I wish I could find the fight. I thought there would be more video of it. Did they, it's... like, take it down or something? That, that seems almost like what probably happened. Maybe, yeah, like, I'm looking on different websites that covered it, and... I, I don't know why, why somebody, dude. They got. I mean, because they got in each other's face. You know, like they got like nose to nose at one point. You know, so like somebody's I always, got hush money. They got that hush money. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think it's that. It wasn't that crazy. But look at. I mean, look at this. You know, I mean, you'll. They got, right in like they got nose to nose. Yeah. You know, right? Or I mean, like, but the thing that, you know, I don't know, bro. The thing is, I never know. This guy calls everybody a sexist and a racist. That's what he goes to whenever he's in a fight with someone. He calls them a sexist and a racist. So I just started calling him a racist because, like, that's like, what the fuck does that mean? So I don't know. Man, but like, they got right in each other's face. And, and, and when I see that. When I see that right there, I just look at that and I'm like, "Hey, are you gonna fuck the guy?" Or like, <laughs> "Hey, man, yeah." I was like, "Man," and they got their noses right on each other. I'm like, "Hey, man, are you gonna fuck the guy or what?" We gotta, we, 
We we have to find the clip of that wherever that is. I don't know where it is, but who was Conan even talk? Was, was it um? Was it a um? I think he was talking about um Keith Lee, right, or something like that. Oh, that's right. It was the Keith Lee comment. That's right. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh man. Oh, he shitted on him so hard, bro. It was incredible. That was fucking incredible. I love Conan. But yeah, yeah. the guy, the guy, um. I don't know. Dude. I just don't get a good vibe from him. You know, I, I, I don't necessarily agree with some people who go crazy extreme at people either, but I, I don't understand why. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't get the, like, I'm going to beat you up and your kids here. You know, I don't really get that. You know, that's a weird thing. I'd be like, oh. yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Well, F you bro. Okay. Your kid's here. Well, okay. We'll see you. Like, so I don't... Let, let me play devil's advocate for a second. Just, you know, for, for the, for the sake of the conversation. Sure. Is there is there any chance? I know there is a chance, obviously, but is there a chance that that he could just be completely misunderstood? And this is how these types of things happen because it seems like it's a little more reoccurring than just a couple one offs here and there. What what do you what do you mean about who? About uh Sean Ross? Yeah, it seems to be he has these problems with a lot of people. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Because okay. he he he, blo- he attacks a lot of people, you know what I mean? I mean, I get it. I kind of shout out, I, you know, I go after people too. But um he really does kind of you know, have an issue with a lot of people. And so is it like one of those I kind of okay, I can see where you're coming from cuz somebody did maybe go crazy on you or or does he take it to like a I know he don't take it to a Kevin Scampoli lane cuz then it just then it just gets crazy, you know what I'm saying? He don't go that far. But uh like, do you think he is just maybe kind of like verbal jousting almost? Because this dude isn't, I don't know, like, I, I don't even know anybody in my personal life that even knows he exists. It, like, it's just us. You know what I mean? Like, he's not revolutionary or groundbreaking by any means. He ain't even on a fish fillet level. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know where he gets off with this. Well, I mean, in the, yeah, uh, listen, he's uh, he's got a big, he's got a big site and he's got a big presence. You know, he really does. I mean, I've been doing this longer than him on YouTube. You know, he's had the the website side of things and other stuff, but my, my YouTube was, you know, much bigger for a while than his. Now his is bigger than ever than most people's. Um, so no, I'm not going to take that away from him. I think he does fine. I think he's seems all right. And honestly, a couple of times, you know, I I was the dickhead. You know, I, but you know, I was the dickhead to him. And when I really, I don't think I needed to be. And so he was upset. So I didn't blame him for that. I don't blame him when he. Uh, got upset at me for a couple of other times but yeah there's just something weird about it man i don't know but you know you want to fight people in real life over i don't know what you know fine okay let me know like i don't know just keep an eye out let me know i guess i don't know you want to maybe we can do it for charity or something i don't know get that insurance man, that dude, policy that dude will never ever fight you joe there, there is there is just so much for him to lose and for you to gain i don't i don't think that he will put himself in that position i really don't now it, it would be a spectacle. Don't get me wrong. I just it's nah. He he just I, I don't think hey, he's listen, that dumb. I would win either way because if I knock him out, then that'd be great. But if I got knocked out too, I would probably play that clip a million times for the rest of my time. Like I would start my show with getting knocked out because I would, <laughs> like because it would be so funny to me. Like what the fuck? Hey, I know for a fact you don't care. I know you would do it because you don't care about, you know, making fun of yourself or any of that shit. You're like me. You don't, you know, self-deprecating all the way. Yeah, exactly. Like, it'd be funny. I know you'd do that. You know, you know it'd be the, the best? Part. Like, a lot of people wouldn't show themselves getting knocked out, and uh, it's a hard thing to come to terms with. But I can picture <laughs> you just posting it before you even are fully conscious. Can you imagine the memes? Whoever gets knocked out is going to be that. You're the guy that got knocked out by whatever. You know? Did anyone donate yet, Joe? I'm thirsty. God. I got to play the donations. You thirsty for cock or the drinks? Well, let's Both. pick. Drinks from cock. That's right. Tonight, we're drinking 50 bucks or more. We're having shots. Jake's got his... And somehow, me and Jake are both drinking the same energy drink. That's right. That's crazy. Great minds think alike. And allegedly, right. this... It's healthy. The Celsius drink allegedly has cyanide in it, they say. So we're drinking cyanide tonight. We're having a blast. Hey, Kenny Omega was a sweetheart the other that did you see the video of Kenny Omega playing uh streaming? Yes. He just seems yeah. like he's so like and he seemed like he didn't support what the Young Bucks did. He didn't want to fight that day. He's like, I really didn't want to partake in this. My 
main goal was to protect the dog, which we knew happened. We knew that Kenny ran in, ran in grabbed uh, Larry, got him out of, you know, to the, uh, what's his name's wife, um, Punk's trainer there. Oh, the one that um, bit Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, don't give me the last name. I already forget his name now. It'll come back to me. It's but uh, Yeah, he went ahead, though. A Steel, thank you. And Kenny was like, you know, this is not how I wanted things to go down. This is not how I wanted it to occur. So Omega seemed very sorrowful and embarrassed that the punk footage went out, too. He said he did not agree with that. And he's awaiting surgery, possibly. He's he's going through, you know, all this rehab and whatnot. I think he just was, you know, dealing with this. It sucks. And it kind of made him see another side of things as well with him not being there. So. Right. Yeah, I just think. Um, been- oh, go ahead. No, I just want to ask: was, Has there been any like full concrete information on what exactly he's dealing with, or is it just like a, a laundry list of injuries from over time? Diverticulitis or... is the current yeah. ailment that he's facing, and that's the thing: it's not an injury, so that's what's fucking him up. He's like, I feel good some days, and I, I but I know I can't train, so it's oh. hard mentally to cope with this because I don't know how to take it he's like i've always been like i gotta go till i go i gotta go till i go and and then i i ran till the wheels came off and then i had surgery and i rehabbed and i came back and every time i go to the wheels came off and with this it's not something that he can do a lot to fix or control like he can change his diet but basically he'll need to have surgery and remove some of his colon or some of his intestines it depends on where the diverticulitis forms its pocket and collects shit so it's bad it's very 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 painful uh that's what B- uh, brock lesnar had as well yeah yeah you know, why? i miss brock lesnar i had an intestinal blockage after one of my surgeries and that was horrific like you want to talk pain i was i i actually called an ambulance the day obama went into uh inauguration day when he went into office was the day i ended up calling an ambulance and going back to the hospital so, Damn. yeah, I was waiting know, for Joe to say, "Oh, you, you had to go to an ambulance because you watched a black." <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> but the, one of the problems for Kenny Omega that I've heard, one of the issues um, that I've been worried about for him, and one of the reasons he's so down is because they they don't know he potentially has to have like maybe some little parts cut out. I think of his. Yeah, they're going to have to subsect his intestines and possibly part of his colon. Right. Depending on how drastic the damage is. What it, diverticulitis is, you form little pockets, usually in your intestines, but it can also happen in your colon. And th- and things collect in there, seeds, f- you know, particles, food, certain things that you're not supposed to eat collect in those little pockets. And then it causes not only an infection, but necrosis. So that tissue dies as well. And it can really oh. be problematic because that can spread to other areas. So it's it's no joke. And you're basically living with a dead gut. You know, you, you're nothing can pass, so now you're constipated, and nothing can go past that. So you have these horrible cramps, and you're backed up with shit. You're backed up with, you know, so it's just pain every which way. Holy shit, Justin is a bloody mess right now. Yeah, this there's blood everywhere. Crazy. And and so like they, you know, just to do those little cuts and to put it back together, and so he's sort of because you have to hope it stays. Not only that it takes for the surgery, but that it stays as well. Courtney's mom had this. I had to do a, a, a first under fluoroscope. They, they had to try and open up my bowel, but then I had to have it. Uh, my intestines are pinned to my abdominal wall over here. I'd have T-stitches put in so they can have it. So it's actually like right against my abdomen. So this way they can get access to where the blockage was. Jesus. Um, yeah, that that was horrifically painful. I had to wear a binder around my chest to hold all of my guts in place. It was like super tight, almost like a corset looking thing. And it would hold all of the intestines and whatnot in a specific place. It was so tight. And I had to wear that for like two and a half weeks. That thing was fucking horrific. It was like a straight jacket. I've heard it's about 30% or so of his... You know, colon so it's or like, intestines, excuse me. That's, yeah, I mean, and you know how much intestine you have in there, feet and feet and feet. So 30% is a fucking lot. You're talking yeah, that's like 36 inches minimum. You're talking Joe's dick. Now, I don't All know. Right, let's, not, let's not get carried away now. 
<laughs> right, and I guess some of it is some Check of it. Listen. Some of it heals on its own. Some of the blockages are like still okay to like they can try to fix it with you know taking stuff and everything like that. So they're hoping to see what happens, and then after that, it's okay. What surgeries do we need to do? So I don't know. I, I so I don't know. I'm not a doctor, and I don't know his real situation. I wouldn't really want to speculate beyond that. But he's worn down. Cool. He's waiting, and this could be another. I mean, bro, this could be another six months. Minimum, because it, the recovery from surgery is like two weeks of non-intensive, like don't lift anything. Then you have two weeks of, okay, you can lift about five to maybe a little over five pounds, but nothing more. Two weeks after that, it's nothing over 10 pounds. And then post that, you can start to even think about going to the gym. That's crazy. I, mean, I had this done, what he essentially had. I had my stomach cut out. I only have 10% of my stomach left. Mm -hmm. So I know. I, I mean, I had to go through the whole rigmarole and bullshit. I dealt with my, losing part of my intestine before that. It's awful. The recovery is, is terrible. I had I mean, gastric bypass. It, it's fun, you know? I'm, I'm happy I lost the weight. That's for sure. I mean, being I'm still on one of the steroids with both the hormones and testosterone combined. And that's making me gain weight now, so I got to be careful with it. But did um, I don't know, and I, it's a. I just hope he's okay, man. I feel bad for him. He seems like a night, a real nice guy, you know. Whenever I hear from him, yeah. yeah, and you know, he's the type of guy you can get frustrated with because, you know, when you're well, like everybody's like in a fight and he won't take a side, and he's just like, oh, whatever, guys. Like, why do we have to? You know, I get that 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 it can be frustrating. You know, sometimes guys like that. Um, cause he's always like that. He, it's not like he's, you know, like that sometimes he just wants everybody to get along. And I don't think he understands, you know, it doesn't compute in his head to like, Hey, let's all fight guys. And you know, he doesn't want to do that. He seems fully genuine about that too, you know? And so that, that's what I got out of listening to him the other day. So let's go to the donations real quick because tonight guys, we might be getting hammered. I don't know. Jake's got nips. Crunk. How, where's Huge Boner? Can you believe? Yeah, where's Huge Boner? Where's Seabass the Beast? Uh, where's uh, everybody? I mean, to be honest. But um, we got donations to play, so let me play them real quick. Uh, Jake is drinking nips potentially tonight. That could be crazy. You, you donated oh, 50 oh, bucks. Shit, I'm going to take my oh, dick shit. out because you donated 50 bucks. You donated 50 bucks, motherfuck boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. And the Boston Bruins have ended the Pittsburgh Penguins season on Penguins Ice. Oh. Final score Bruins 6, Penguins 3. Yes, D. Welsh, the Bruins win! Thank you, D. Welsh. Um, sorry, Pittsburgh. Um, Is hockey I, season already over? Oh, hockey's not done yet, baby. Hockey's oh, okay. not done yet. We're going to Fenway tomorrow. No, no, we're not. I'm actually not going to Fenway tomorrow, but I want to. Um, no, um, he, oh, he, Kenny Omega ate too much sushi. Jesus. I mean, I guess uh, that, that could trigger it, I, I suppose, if you're eating... Uh, it's not sushi, Joe. He's eating slanted sushi, if you get the drift. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus he does have the yellow fever, so... Oh, oh my God, And that's how he gets to book the women's division. Oh, my God, brother. Oh, my God. Uh, we, there was an NHL player that got was here. stretchered off. To... What? Uh, some NHL player got checked and was stretchered off the ice after five minutes. In the Bruins game? No, in the Washington oh, Capitals. Capitals. Oh, my God. That's D. Welsh's really? team. That's Welsh's Justin's team. Justin's getting torn up here. Holloway is just fucking him up. He's bleeding from the nose and the mouth. Like Holloway's fucked. Casey, Casey's not looking good at all. Let me see who's winning. All right. Here, that's a 50. So, Joe, we owe a shot. We got to do a shot. I got to get my shot glass. Um, all right. Get your shot glass. I'm waiting. Let me go get it. I got to I got to run upstairs to get it, actually. All right. Guess you run upstairs and grab it. One of these cold ones. We're in between rounds. I've got mine here. I'm waiting for Joe to get back. We'll take it together. So I've got my mixed drink here. I'm one shot deep, and I got four shots to take. We'll be how good. crazy is this, man? We got Jake here, and he's doing. Sh who would think you would be doing shots? Just for you, baby. Jake's not actually sick. He drinks alcohol. That's the Twitter that's handle coming tomorrow. That's, that's the uh, that's the headline. That's the Twitter handle. I shouldn't be, but. I'm breaking the rules. That's okay. Jake is breaking the rule. You shouldn't be doing this. And drinking stuff with cyanide in it, Celsius. Yeah, I know. Mm. And carbonation. That's another no-no. That's why I never, I haven't drank soda or anything carbonated in eons. So these things are like treats, but they're also like really uh, flavorful. I'm Jesse's here too, man. Jesse, what's hey, up, what, baby? How you been? Up? Jesse's looking like a whole fucking snack there with his head shave. Look at that. 
Looking like Scampoli. Well, look at, well, look at his chin. He's got that full definition going right there. He's got he's he's definitely jaw max in that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, someone max, said my my jaw. And, someone said what type of jawline is that about me? Because I have like no jaw. Oh, I know. And he's got the chiseled jaw over here. Look at Jesse. I didn't know he had that ultimate chin. My God. You're like Johnny Bravo <laughs> minus the hair. Huh, huh, huh. Thank you very much. Jesse, if you told me you were the leader of like something, I'd believe it right now. All you're missing is the Joe, outfit. Really quick. Do you remember that show? Johnny Bravo? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that oh, show. I, I made a joke about it now, but think Bravo. about that. That would never fly today. The guy right. went around and was just the, the biggest misogynist in the world and harassed hot women and then, like, forced them to kiss him. <laughs> like, he would, Johnny he would put them in, It was great. That's terrible. Yeah, like, that's fucking, weird. Johnny Rapist. Remember the original Turtles? Like, fucking, I have a message for you. And then he just smacks that bitch. Yeah. Fuck oh, it. yeah. You couldn't do any, any of that shit, man. I know. Like the 80s were great. Oh, 80s and 90s. Coming right at the females. And you know what? Joe, I want to get your opinion on this, too, when I when I know you're all set with your shot glass. Man, I think right, uh, going, to what, going to what y'all were saying, I don't think most of the shows from the oh. 90s, y'all, like, that we, we could have anymore. Like, they, they complain about fucking Rugrats. Oh, my God, where are their parents? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got Karens for everything nowadays. I, I've said this stupid rant before, and I'll make it super quick. But, like, I, I failed to see when it changed, but I know it changed. Because when I was a kid, it was all about celebrating everybody's the same, everybody's equal, there's no difference, skin color doesn't matter. And in the last decade, it's like, yeah, skin color matters. You have to celebrate your skin color and celebrate your differences. And then everyone's divided again and fighting. So it's weird how it changed so drastically. I don't know if it's the addition of social media that really moved everyone to be so praised. I mean, that's definitely part of it. Think about it. Like bullying. When, you got, when I got bullied in high school, you know, or middle school, I should say. It, it stopped when I went home. Then I had to deal with my abusive parents, but I didn't have to deal with that. You know, I got I, I went through their bullying, but not the school bullies. You know, yeah. but uh, yeah. when you left school, you were okay. Now, you know, at Danny's age, they leave school and they they have TikToks being made about them, and they have fucking you know fake accounts catfishing each other and nudes being shared around the school because they yeah. catfished this one and got this. I mean, like it's 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 like a MTV reality show, but it's really. They just never get away from it. The bullying, the the stress, the harassment, if, if they're attached to a cell phone, it never does not cease to follow them. It's insane. I never saw nudes in school, damn it. I know. Uh, we had a, a very slutty English teacher, and she went ahead. She used to not wear underwear, and she would know when the guys would look. Like She would purposely do, like, the, uh, you know, Sharon Stone leg swap. She would, she would do those things on purpose. So she was the drama teacher, and she had a stage in her room. It was a very small stage you could practice on. Well, we go ahead, and from the stage, we were all talking about her one day, eating our lunch on the stage. She used to listen to us from behind the stage door. We didn't know. So all five of us are sitting there, all guys, talking about how hot she is and going on and on and on. And then she walks into the stage door, and she's all beat red and smiling. Eventually, she got fired for sleeping with a student, but nobody saw that. Oh, it's like, uh, that's my boy, like in real life. It was, she, was, she was fine, though. She wasn't a, uh, a bad teacher either. She was actually a really good English teacher, good teacher, which sucked because it was crappy to lose such a good English teacher. She really cared about the students, and she exactly. cared about their. She cared. Yeah, she cared a little too much. Yeah, she cared really good. Sharon, she cared a Sharon. lot. You know, I actually have kind of a very funny and weird story about that, which is why, like, I, I stopped uh, doing the nude shit in high school. So th this is going to sound really bad, but one of my okay. friends, we're, we're not friends anymore. Um, it, it was my birthday. My birthday was during spring break. And he was like, hey, happy birthday, bro. And sent me a picture of this girl. Kids at home, do not do this. This is this is very bad because now now it's revenge porn. Yeah, but, now it's revenge uh, and sometimes CP if you're close to that age. Exactly. So here here's where shit got crazy. So um the the chick i find out a couple of days later is actually in my uh like she's in my class like my first period class in the morning and so um we're, we're not going to talk about what what i was doing the night before and why the picture was readily available on my phone the point is <laughs> that 
the the next morning I'm walking into school saying what's up to everybody, high five. And um, of course, like I said, I still had the picture on my phone. So she comes up behind me, hey, how you doing? Gives me a hug, looks down on the table and just just stares at my phone. And I was like, oh my God. He knows. This is like, how do you explain that I got this? And I, of course, I'm not giving nobody's name up. Like, I'm just going to have to take this L. Yeah, like, you're oh, just God. Good. <laughs> So a buddy of mine went ahead and went to go and send his girlfriend's nudes to his other friend. They were going to trade their girlfriend's nudes. And then, without realizing it, he sent it to his friend's girlfriend. So she got the oh, news. Geez. And then she told the other one, and he almost ended up having to deal with the cops. It was like a whole big thing in high school. Christ. It was crazy. Yeah, no, that's... They, that's they take up. that shit very seriously. Once you text somebody images, it's considered, you know, like, uh, not trafficking, well, but distribution. Yeah. Fucking it's some bad whoever, shit. What fucking party pooper was going to call the cops, cocksucker? I know. Max is getting hurt. Very little, you know, he's got a couple body shots that kind of slowed him down, but not much. He's pretty much been dominant, yeah. and Justin Gacy is just getting tore the fuck up. His face looks like it's been through a meat grinder. They stopped the bleeding with Vaseline, but he's going to get slapped once, and that thing's going to leak like a fucking virgin on prom night. And the, These guys are both honestly... UFC greats to be oh to be absolutely really, really them. They're, they're teeing off on each other. I hate the shit where you get the guys. I I like jujitsu. I I get it. I but when they're on the ground and they're waiting and they're waiting and they want you to you know in, encroach their guard, it's like get your ass and stop dragging it on the mat and stand the fuck up and fight. If you both yeah. go down to the ground, then use your mat knowledge. But don't just immediately start fucking dragging your ass on the ground looks like you're wearing a fucking diaper i hate that shit so much <laughs> yeah, i also see people punch each other bust them open i don't see some blood that or when they just go just ahead and they hug them. each other you know and they, it's like oh you know and they don't separate them or stand them back up and they're just on the ground no one's gaining any momentum or positioning they're just fucking just boring just rubbing on each other exactly i'm like exactly. i watched enough of this in my fuck uh, i mean never mind yeah but i want to see death <laughs> It's so funny that Justin has his last name tattooed on his back. Like, I, I think that's just uber gay still. I'm sorry, but. No, I think if it was a lesser man, I would definitely be shitting on him. But because I mean, he's like. Max has wings, so I can't say much, but. Hey, Jake, isn't it weird that, like, some of the bad, the most badass dudes in the world will have the most questionable tattoos you have ever seen? I isn't know. That, like, Either some of the crazy. worst ink ever or some of the most questionable ink. It's never good and it's never. It's never sensible. It's always some. If it's decent, it's crazy. And if oh, he got hit in the temple there. Jesus it's Christ! So he can remember it when he forgets it. When he yeah. I told you his fucking nose is gonna open up. It's a good point. Spread ego, Pico. Yeah, I think I needed the money, but I had to buy the photos, and they were not cheap. Three fifty for fucking him to go ahead and sit on an eagle. Damn. Well, yeah, I wanted him to hatch that bird naked. Yeah, man, they, it'd be like some six foot eight fucking bald what's <laughs> <Condor. ass> dude. <laughs> you like, man, so, well, what, what's with that tattoo right there? Oh, yeah, man, I just love rubber duckies. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I shit you not. So I, I think I've told it unmonetized this, so I'll give you the rapid fire. But I have a tattoo on my right calf that I got from my father when I was really, really blackout drunk. I've only, gotten, I've only gotten blackout to that point drunk. Three times in my life, and I know the three times. The time where we all woke up with tattoos, the time where I was in college and I went to go visit my love interest, and then she didn't tell me she had a boyfriend, and her boyfriend came up for the weekend the same time she invited me up there. So I was very, very, very yeah. drunkenly upset. And then this past year on my birthday, I actually we went out to drink. I went out to eat. I got three drinks on my birthday. First time I drank since I had the gastric sleeve. I do not remember coming home. When I got home, I had two shots. So I had three single drinks when I was out. And then when I got home, I had two additional shots. I do not remember the night. Apparently, I fed Milo a bunch of chicken, and he threw up because I kept feeding it to him. I took him for some long-ass walk. I did a bunch of shit, totally blacked out, have no recollection of it. So then is the point that I realized I cannot handle my liquor anymore. So I'm serious. This is going to be fun. 
It's it's I used to I don't I'm not proud of it, but when I was like drinking in college and shit, I used to walk around. I, I was like John Belushi where I could tip back a fucking bottle of Jack Daniels and chug it. You know, and that would be oh, all I'd drink, but I could do that. We could do waterfalls of whiskey. It it was no joke. And now it's like, oh fucking I I can barely tolerate a sip so it's gonna be interesting but yeah we went ahead and i was the first one to get this like heart tattoo on my calf and when i woke up the next morning my calf was sore it stung a little bit and i'm like what the fuck and i look down and i see i got a band-aid over it and i, I look move the band-aid and i'm like ah. Oh. So my buddy Justin wakes up, and he's like, you fucking idiot, you got a tattoo. You're such a fucking moron. I'm like, look at your leg, Justin. He's like, oh, fuck. I'm like, <laughs> you got a tattoo, too. So as we woke up people in the house from this party, there was five people that got this tattoo. Five guys and one girl. The girl ended up getting it covered up years down the road, funny enough. I saw it in a tattoo book a friend of mine sent me. Uh, he was at a tattoo shop, and they had a book of cover-ups, and it was her tattoo that got covered up. But That is hilarious. Yeah, but everybody got blackout drunk. We we made a uh, sloshed watermelon with grain alcohol, and Ooh. yeah, so we let it sit for a few days, and people were just eating watermelon, and by the time they got through like a slice and a half, they were fucked. That's like six, seven shots of, of you know, just straight rubbing alcohol <laughs> yeah it was not good that's it that, that's that it was effective that's that, p, that's that p diddy surprise right there <laughs> that's right yeah i really liked this girl in college her name was liz and uh for the first month i was up at school at johnson and wales every night we sat next to each other you know she'd play with my hair we, we would tickle each other you know the flirting stuff yeah. we were we were always inseparable always you know smoking cigarettes together like, like we we're getting high we we're getting drunk whatever we were doing we went to the bar together we went to concerts like whatever the fuck it was it was her and i and it was great and then it was the night of my birthday, so I went ahead and I go outside and I'm do I'm bringing people in upstairs one by one to do shots with me up in my dorm room. I'm like it's my birthday, we're doing shots. So everybody's coming up one by one, having a good time. And I go down and I grab Liz and I bring her up into the hallway and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm like coming to do a shot. And she's like, I don't think I'm drinking. So I was like, I'm gonna go for it. I leaned in to kiss her and she turned her head and that's when she told me she had a boyfriend. And I was fucking heartbroken. I was like, this whole month I felt used. It was just a really shitty feeling and especially reeling from my last awful relationship ending horribly it put me in a really shitty state of mind so i went in the fucking back in the dorm room and i chugged a bottle of captain morgan uh, i was, uh, it was uh, not the not the fifth the one the size smaller than that like the 22 dollar bottle you know what i'm talking about bigger than oh yeah yeah bigger than the pint bigger than the court that's, but not that's the still hand, a lot yeah, that's like, a lot, bro. <laughs> it's like what? A liter? Something like that. Yeah, I chugged oh, that. Yeah, yeah. I went downstairs, and it, the last thing I knew, it was 3.30 in the morning, and everybody was getting home from the bars, and this girl went ahead and said she was cold. I gave her my corn hoodie, and then the next day I woke up, and she was naked in my arms, and that was it, and I never got that you hoodie back. Corn, huh? She she woke up the next morning and you could definitely she looked at me and regretted her life at that point like she was a knockout and I was just like ha, ha, look you, you fucked me <laughs> Happy aren't, birthday. You, aren't you upset <laughs> doesn't your life suck huh <laughs> her roommates are just looking at me I'm like I just gotta find my pants it was so awkward so awkward. Hey, Jake, you, hey, Jake, you should have looked at her and been like, it only goes downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do I bill you? Or are you going to call me? Or, uh, never mind. Yeah. I'll, I'll clean the stains. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. It, my, my ex fucked me up real good because uh, we were together for almost four years and it was a week and a half before prom. I had a huge concert at my grandmother's house. My grandmother had a finished basement that was getting remodeled and my grandmother and her uh, husband, were, my step grandfather, were going away to celebrate their wedding anniversary from forever ago. So they're going to Niagara Falls. So I threw probably one of the biggest ragers ever. We had about 65 people in this small little finished basement downstairs. And this is when I was still in a few bands. So we played a live show in the basement. 
and we had the drums in the kitchen and everybody else was kind of like in the the living room slash garage area to listen to and then put the pa system on so it was it was a chaos but they had a heated pool there that thing was mint we had two 100 gallon propane tanks to heat the pool so the pool was always like 80 uh, 90 degrees it was like a hot tub fucking perfect so we had this huge ass party everything went great and at the end of the night, a bunch of people are going home. I made sure I set up rides for everybody. A friend of mine's mom was driving vans to pick everybody up. Like, no one's going to drive fucked up. It's good. And my best friend at the time, my girlfriend and I are fucked. I mean, we are destroyed at this point. So all three of us pass out in my bed, which we've done many times before. Never a problem. Everybody, you know. And I had a, a gigantic bed there. It was like a lumberjack size. So there used to be like six, seven people that would crash in my bed at one time. It wasn't an uncommon thing for people just to pass out and be like, hey, you know, it was just it was just how it was. There was always people at the house. So I go ahead and I woke up halfway through the night to them having sex in my bed next to me. So I was just like, ah, I just kind of got up, walked out, walked outside, started smoking weed again and just... Didn't know what to make of it. It was a it was a real shitty betrayal and fucked a lot of things up. So that fucked with my head for a long time. Took a lot of self esteem issues and bad shit. It's funny how girls can fuck your head easy, huh, guys? Yeah, oh, absolutely. True. I mean, men can do it too, no doubt. But I feel like women are are better at the mind control and playing games. So all, I went ahead and I gave away our prom tickets, and she was ripping piss because I wouldn't give them to her. And I sold her Ozfest tickets for a pack of cigarettes. So, Sweet. Yeah, I had bought them. I'm like, I went into the cafeteria that Monday. I'm like, if anybody wants to go to Ozfest front row, I just need cigarettes. I'm like, either, Michelle, give, me, either give me five bucks or uh, 2005. Oh, dude, fuck yeah, man. That's a, that was a really yeah. good year. That was my Little first, switch. no, that was my third house, yeah. Was that, that the year with Slipknot awesome. on second stage? I think it was. Uh, the that year slipknot only played at where i'm at it was like the only one they played that year yeah because they that played the second they stage for one that. year and that was incredible to see yeah. them that close we were front row for that but, oh, yeah. yeah yeah that one had that, um that fuck. shit was, was fucking it? brutal though fuck with my head for a long time I mean, I mean, young, lot, yeah when you're young you so that, that one relationship is everything you know yeah, you y'all already know. I I I can't I can't speak ill about anybody's bad relationship. Y'all watched my last yeah, one. Yeah, we've down seen how that happened. <laughs> we saw how that happened, bud. No doubt about it. Yeah, there was a couple of orgies, but no, I'm just kidding. No, honestly though, uh, these two have beaten the hell out of each other. On a side note, they are just teeing off on each other. He's like stand up. Segue right into that. Maxes. I know. It just last. Oh my God! He knocked him out with two seconds left. Holy fuck! Max Holloway just knocked out Justin. Two seconds left on the clock. Teeing off on each other. The place is going fucking oh wild. I did not see that coming. Holy fuck! Let me get a replay. He went down like a sack of potatoes. He slipped on the. Oh my God! Mat and went straight out. Max and fucking Justin going head to head, teeing off on each other. Three seconds, two seconds, knockout, buzzer. He went down like dark on right. his daughter. Holy shit! Lady Sorry, I got really animated with that. That was intense. My <laughs> God! Him. Gage him. is down. He is <laughs> unconscious, still not responding. He's just waking up in La La Land right now. Joe missed one hell of a fucking ending. That was one of the most incredible endings I've seen in a long time. That was wild. I mean, I just was figured they're going to keep teeing off on each other for the last few seconds. But no, a knockout. Let's look at this. They're slowing it down. Hits him with the right. Go. The right misses again. Catches him with the left a little bit. And then right coming up. Gets underneath, body shot. Oh, right hook, right on the chin. Good night. Wow. Justin goes Jake down, did. sack of potatoes. Oh, my God. He he hit him straight flush in the jaw. The jaw moves. The nose gets hit. And then he hits his head so hard on the mat on the way down, too. His body just completely collapses under his weight. The ref doesn't even need to stop this fight. Max knows it's over. Rip OJ Simpson. It's done. The glove does to not fit. Kill him, finish the job. <laughs> Take him down. This man, Justin Gaethje, show, I want my shot. This man, um, Justin Gaethje, almost broke his fucking neck falling. Did y'all see that? I know. Like, he oh he literally, he, they, he, he, look how hard he hit his head on the boom, and then he slides like, him down. 
That's a bad fall. I mean, my reaction, I want to hear back, but Joe Rogan with, looks about how I felt because I yeah, did was... not anticipate an ending. I, uh, yeah, as if you just smashed a can of beer over his head. I, I lost my mind there for a second. I'm sorry. I don't know how I sound. If I'm too loud, let me know. I apologize. No, you no, sound you're like right. you're doing play by play. Yeah, with the mic was... issues, it's it's been rough. So <laughs> that explains why I was playing Hell Divers and I was yelling to my team. They're like, "Whoever just Great activated game. the fucking, uh, you know, extraction, we're gonna kick you." I'm like, "Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm just looking." I was, yeah, they kicked we, me. I'm like, "Well, we need to run. Me. We need to run now together, man." Oh, we'll we will. We're going yes, to. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. I'm on Destiny will. right now, trying to get my uh, my Titan build done. Oh, there you go. I, I'm myself. I'm excited because they're mixing so much shit with it. It's just gonna be like here. You can do everything. Fuck it. They're going to take the balance and just stick it up somebody's ass. Yeah, they're letting you have fun for the last, like, DLC. Because they know yeah. that they know a lot of people are, song, are so. done playing yeah. after this, too. So People aren't going to come back. People are long gone from Bungie Studios as well. So There will be a Destiny 3, though. It does sound like they are going to do a Destiny 3, which yeah. I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. I don't, I don't think but they are anymore. Their and, team and... has talked about it already, like... They, I, last last they heard, they slowed development to finish this and to go ahead and work on Marathon. And that was reported by, um, uh, what's his name? Paul, uh, the guy on Forbes. Whatever, Pornhub. Paul, whatever. Yeah, Paul uh, Pornhub, that's his name. And I watched something Wrong. about Bungie, like some video they put out, and they were talking about Destiny 3. And everyone's like, oh, we're going to get Destiny 3. I'm like, I don't know why they would. Yeah, they're they're not as of what we they last reported anyways. They should just Paul add Tassie all, is his name. Tassie T A S. Add all of D1's content to D2 and just yeah. They said it's them. really difficult to do that because they have they can't just add it. They have to like rebuild all the lighting and. They need Wrath of the Machine, yeah, and no Icebreaker, shit. and we're good. Yeah, and then a good game. Jesse, are you still here? I was hoping he was still here, but yeah, Hell Hell Divers. I love Starship Troopers, so Hell Divers yeah, is a ton of fun. Uh, have you seen any of that Hell Divers game that came out? What's that? No, I don't think. All right, so it's on PlayStation and Steam, and it's literally the movie Starship Troopers. You have to fight bugs that look just like bugs in that game, and you look like the armored soldiers from there. So you have to go and spread democracy and liberty, and it's very Starship Trooper esque, where like. You know, go and spread liberty, soldier, like that kind of thing. And it's your life for super Earth. Like, you know, so everything is for liberation and democracy. And you're, you're going to go ahead and fight for your government. So they send you in a drop pod like Halo. And you crash into the planet. And then you go and have to fight either gigantic, scary robots that have saws and flamethrowers and all sorts of weapons. Or they have crazy bugs that look exactly like the bugs from Starship Troopers. Mm -hmm these big nasty things and they have massive ones and you can call in airstrikes and turrets and all sorts of explosive weapons. And it's a, it's a crazy fun mess, but it plays out just like starship troopers. It's incredible. You would love it. It's it's been the fucking old school starship trooper game from back in the day. Just, uh... <laughs> that shit was not good. Did anybody have Sega CD growing up? No. Uh, yeah, yeah no, I, I think I know what you're. I think time. I know what you're talking about. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. I'm, I might still have it somewhere, to be honest. But I know what it, if I think it is what it is. I'm pretty sure you guys. Yeah. So there was this game on there that it took me forever to even figure out how to play the fucking thing as a kid. But it was called Sewer Shark. And oh my god! You used to have to go it ahead. And, it was a movie that you would interact with. So it was like one of those real time movies, and oh. you would be flying a ship. Uh, in the sewer, basically, and as you flew your spaceship around, it would give you coordinates. It would be like three, niner, niner. So then, when a right turn came up, that meant three. You had to go right. Niner meant left. You know, so it was three, six, nine, twelve. And you had to remember, you know, three, nine, six, nine, four, three, one. You know, that kind of shit. And then it would, and you had to remember the path to go. And there was alternate, you know, ways you could go, and you could unlock secrets and all that. But it was all just on these CDs and it was all just real time, quick real time events, you know, quick time movies. So those movies would load as you would, you know, crash into the wall or whatever. So you weren't actually playing uh, a game. It was just a movie 
as a game, but it was like, you know, the, the start of DVDs. But yeah, you had the Sega Genesis console, and then you added a CD-ROM drive to the side of it, and that was for Sega CD. And it would play CD games that were like really uh, high def for that time. Yeah, I remember then, playing Sonic CD on the Yeah, on Sonic CD was badass. Right that was like super 3D. That was that was uh, Mario 64 before Mario 64. Yeah, I'm a big and Sonic guy. I played all the games. So I, I used that. to be too. Uh, uh, you know, Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, Sonic and Tails, all those I played as a kid. Um, <laughs> I, I used to get, my grandmother spoiled me with my Sega. She got me the Sega channel. Oh. Anybody remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh wow! I used to plug in this device into it, and it hooked up with a coax cable, a, a cable wire like you would hook your TV up to for cable, and it would it would broadcast and stream games that you would pick from a list like on demand back in the day. Oh. But it worked for Sega, so you could pick Sega games. So if I wanted to play like that's how I played Earthworm Jim. So I would have to go, and then it would download the entire game, and it would take hours, and then you would come back, and then you could play for as long as you had the subscription for. No, you didn't dope. have to buy any games. You can get like brand new games on demand. It was really cool. I was always Way wondering. Ahead of time. I was always wondering about that. I didn't know. Unfortunately, I didn't have it, and then I didn't know anybody that that had it either. So like, I can never. I was like, my grandmother did... worked at uh, at Kmart, and they had, was in the restaurant there. So it wasn't part of the Kmart. The re the restaurant was separate, but it was under the same corporation. If that makes sense. Yeah. And one of their sales rep guys was was also a, like a uh not a cable dealer but he sold like cable for big companies so he heard about all these deals and plans so he got this at a discounted rate for us to be like on a trial for it so i was not like a full-on beta tester but that's how we got it i was like a tester to see if the connections worked in wallingford and that kind of thing you know and you'd have to do it like certain times of days it would cut out and but it was crazy to to think that back then uh, you know, the technology to stream games on demand was there. Sorry, I was uh, gone. I got in an argument with Leah, but <laughs> I went you upstairs and I, oh boy. I was like, I, sleeping, so I, could, I avoided that. I was like, I was like, Leah, look at the, um, look what's happening. Like I was showing her the, I was, I was showing her the drone attacks because earlier I was saying, I was saying this to all you guys. And I said this earlier this morning, I said, I think it's good. It's a good thing that I ran is sending these the, like the the U, it's the biggest UAV or whatever drone attack in the history of the yeah. world by the way um I, and i said well this is to me this is kind of a good thing in a way because they could have done something terrible but they did this kind of goofy thing that it isn't really doing well, they're showing their force without attacking they're, they're showing like, hey, force can... without attacking and they also warned israel and warned america about it like in a way like like hey we're going to be doing this yeah, Look this is out. what's happening. You can't stop us. But Speaking no, of you can't stop us, Joe. You missed the craziest not... ending to that match, and you really it was it was two yeah, seconds was... left. Justin and fucking Max Holloway, they're pounding the shit out of each other. They're just wailing on one another, and then Max gets a, a lucky kind of right and unconscious. Justin Gaithy goes head smashed down into the canvas, face down, unconscious. Oh Total my god! Knockout knocked him the fuck out insane two seconds left they both were just teeing off on each wow. other in the last 10 seconds and he just caught fuck. him with a perfect right hook and it just just came out and straight across the broken nose and Dude, the jaw if anybody has the clip of that i can't fucking believe i missed that all the other shit i've seen tonight if anybody has a um a, a video it's, of it it's on trending twitter on twitter right now it's number one trending on twitter right now if anybody has the video yeah. of it tweet it to me because i'd like to i yeah. want to see it i missed it um, that was literally fucking insane. No, I, I, are we gonna do our shot oh, yet, Joe? Yeah, let's do the Take shot, shot, baby. Class. Let's do you the ready? shot. Here we go. And I stroke it. Let's launch it. Stroke it. Out. Oh yeah, it's oh, burning oh. the teeth, baby. Oh my god, brother. Tito's. It's warm. I'm gonna have a hangover. I will have a hangover tomorrow. Now, I mean, just three sh three shots now will give me a hangover. I almost think there's something wrong with me, but. You know, you want to mix muscle relaxers because I right. do. Yeah, so that's that's what it is, man. Nobody wants a war. <laughs> so I, I was trying to explain it to Leah. I was like, I was trying to tell Leah, and she's telling me like I'm an idiot or whatever. And I'm like, maybe, but I'm like, I'm explaining to Leah. I'm like, listen, you know, Gaza, right? The Hamas Gaza people like attack horrifically 
Israel, 150 people butchered, then like maybe 100 other people and hostages and stuff. So then Israel kills like 20,000 something or other Gazan people. And it's like a, it's kind of a genocide type of thing. Um, but like they're sick of being attacked forever. And so they're like, yo, we're going to do something crazy. So they do it. Um, and, and, and now everybody is like, whoa, like, yo, Israel, what happened to you is fucked up. But, dude, you got to stop killing these people. This is fucking crazy, even though, you know, what, what are you doing? And and I so I so Israel is like, fuck you. We're going to kill one of your generals today. So they kill one of the Iranian generals today. And it's like, so it's like, dude, what is, Iran has to do something. They killed one of their generals. They've done all this stuff. They were, I, a couple of days ago, they were like, hey, let's have a peace treaty, finally stop this. And they're like, no, and we'll kill one of your generals. So it's like, okay, it's escalating and escalating. And Iran is like, yo, they just killed one of our generals and they're still doing this stuff. We have to do something. Otherwise we look like pussies and our people won't like us and whatever. So they do this drone strike, but it's nothing. And they warn us all about it. Cause like, we got to do something. It's like when your girlfriend gets like attacked by something and you're like, well, I got to do something. You know, I don't know. It's like, so they had to do something, So, they did but they could have done something way worse. It could have been way worse. Right. So it's like that to me, that's like, it's a good sign that they're not like, let's do something. Fuck, let's fucking do something crazy. They didn't. They did something that was like, we're serious. You want to see something crazy? The chat wants me to pull a Sean's view. You want to see my dick? Oh, my God. Show it to me. You want to see my dick? We all want to see it. This is so bizarre. You Like, why? Why? what is going on? Why are you so horny tonight? Because I'm uh, already feeling the liquor drum. I'm getting loosey-goosey over here. Oh, oh my oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> feeling it, baby. You want to you you make... make some coke? Well, yeah. I think we use those new teeth on which You want to call? Man. You want to threaten? Call, call Leah and threaten her? Again? Ah, uh, it's too early for that. We got We got to wait a little while. Wouldn't that be funny if like like Leah was getting threatening like whatever, and it, it turned out to be you? Like, cause you're just the like whole time weird. Just, I'm the one calling. Right. You're just nuts. I'm sending it to you, Joe. The knockout. Oh yes, Listen, the knockout. Bitch. Send me the knockout, baby. Hey, bullfrog is a moron. Let's go. Send <laughs> me, Joe. Kermak. <laughs> Kermak! It's called Battle of the Belts, but Roddy is in a non-title match versus Rocky Romero. SMH, get it together, Tony Khan. Oh my God, bro! Nobody even knows what's going on over there. I mean, what's the rating going to be? I don't know. Is it going to be that good? You know, to oh, be no. honest. Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that go, good. Jeff. Thank you, Kermit. Yo, I sent it to you on Facebook and Twitter, so there you go. Well, Facebook, I sent it from. I've been going to wrestling back. shows for over 30 yes. years. Never in all that time have I ever oh, felt yeah. until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Now listen here, you chingy, chink-eyed, banana-looking, testosterone-lacking, <laughs> goony oh, no. you. <laughs> you will bow down to us, Pinos. AJ Adams, you will dance like a monkey while Ed's view bows down. Who's a good puppy, AJ? Good boy. Oh, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> corporate Santos. I mean, that's not very corporate. I mean, HR ain't going to like that. Yo, did like, you order me a pizza? Fucking knockout. What's that? Did you order me pizza? I could. Oh, all right. I, I thought you already did. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh my God! The ghost from the coast. Buy me a mask, Tommy and C. I'm kinda fat. Monetize that. Buy me a mask, buy me a mask, buy me a mask. Do you have 150 bucks? Buy me a mask. Oh, he spelled it. Buy me a mask, buy me a mask. I can ask, I can ask. Buy me a mask, I'm Tommy and C, and I'm gonna buy you a mask. Monetize that. Buy me a mask, buy me a mask. The ghost from the coast. Get on like black. Drink cunts lol Kevin Scampoli is funny. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, Kevin can be a pretty funny bastard, I'll tell you, man. Even when he's attacking me. Cunts to drink, Joe. All right. Drink, you got that a drink. Was- Ghost from the Coast just made me feel so good. When I hear these these classic donations, it just makes me so nostalgic for that 2016 era we had, you know? Right. You and I didn't know how good we had it then. Even when I was formerly fat, still. 
That's right. Goddamn. Here's it was a crazy to the time. Community and Ghost from the Coast. Thank you. That's true of you. Here we go, baby. What's up, Chad? Hit that like button, baby, and you can donate too. The ghost with the biggest bomb of the night. Daddy made me come. <laughs> That's what Dork's daughter said. Mm. Oh. <laughs> You know why I call my kids fuck trophies, bad. right? Gay porn. Oh my god. I'm gonna spit that you out everywhere. I'm gonna fight these offenders because uh, according to Luke chapter 17 verse 9, um, although I dwell with some, whatever the fuck he had going on, now he was, oh my god, I was about to kill myself. You know why I call my kids well, fuck trophies, oh, with, right? <laughs> with him reading his proverbs and, and fucking prayers. Oh, here's the Googles. Yeah. They're coming out, Joe. We're good. We're, you're right. Oh, shit. What's up, baby? Let's do it. Oh, here's the knockout. Yes, that way. Oh, my God. Swing, swing, fucking swing. Oh, my oh, God. He's dead. Oh, my God, bro. No, that's, Boom. That's what we thought. Like, on the button, Joe, like, right hand, landed flush. Perfect. Couldn't have been any fucking better. It could not have been any, not even lucky. That was skill, but could not have been any more perfect. That wow. hit was insane. Oh, they, they don't need to, to lube her up. She's already greasy. She's, she's, I mean, look. That is. She doesn't need the Vaseline. That's just, that's just mean. They're just making fun of her now. Hey, Jay, no, no more hanging out with Jesse before the show starts. All right. Well, well, I told me to shave my head, but I told them I'm already losing my hair. That's one of the meds. It's, it's funny because they give me one med to be like, here, let's promote hair growth. And the other one's like, oh, it causes hair loss. Bro. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> Which that, one do you want to take first? That knockout is nuts, bro. That they were Isn't like, that, I went nuts, Joe. You'll have to go back and hear my reaction. I actually lost my mind legitimately. Like I was not exaggerating. I wasn't being hyperbolic. I legitimately flipped the fuck out. I I did not expect a knockout with because they were just teeing off on each other. So there's two seconds left, and then he just collapses. I did not expect that. Oh my God! Kim Jong Un made the arena go dark. <laughs> the arena is down right now. Landed on his nose. Bathed in red light. Landed on in his probably broke his nose. Says Danny in the chat. Yeah, that's he broke what's crazy. His nose and almost his neck. I mean, he's fucked. This looks awesome. Oh, this yeah, arena. Well, D. Welsh uh, was the top donator, but T. D. Welsh is getting moved over for the ghost from the coast who just dropped one hundred and fifty dollars. That's a big one from Ghost. That's huge. That's why we did those shots. And, Joe, I'm not one to talk about wrestling usually monetize this, but really quick before I forget, did you see the pictures from Collision? Oh, my God. They only sold, I think it was like 1,300 tickets. Saz, Baz Phoenix sent me, sent me the tweet before. How many? And I think it was 1,300 tickets altogether. Oh, my God, bro. Collision. Yeah. It was not good. Wow. That it is... was bad. And then uh, somebody tweeted out a picture of Cody Rhodes' baby with a TNT title and then with this WWE title. And somebody asked, is that the same child? And they're like, yeah, she was only months old in the first picture. Now she's two. And this guy said, it took a minute for the color to come in. Oh, my God. So now Cody had to defend himself, and it's like, that's so messed up. I mean, come on. His kid's holding the belt. Why do you have to be that way? Yeah, I'm like, what? Somebody get Kevin Scampoli off of Twitter, all right? Yeah, I <laughs> It mean, wasn't Kevin for one. And then right. I wanted to know your opinion on this, Joe. This was trending worldwide. Canada is being forced to perform the payment for a transgender <laughs> surgery being sent to Texas. So a transgender diaper fetishist has won his legal bid to force province of Ontario to pay for a surgery that will preserve his penis and craft a vagina near his anus. The man we've flown to Texas on the taxpayer dime for the procedure. But why does he have to come here, though? Like, what, what non the fuck? It says right here, non-binary man who fantasizes about wearing diapers will get new lady parts paid for by taxpayers. By what taxpayers? The Canadian ones? The Canadian taxpayers. And American, because they're getting flown to Texas, so both. So A trans-identified man in a diaper fetishist in Canada who identifies as non-binary 
won his legal case against Ontario Health Insurance Plan, mm-hmm. OHIP, to have them pay for an experimental surgery that would leave him with both a penis and a vagina. Ontario taxpayers mm-hmm. will now be forced to spend $70,000 flying him to Texas for the surgery, and Texans will be up at $40,000 due to its unavailability in Canada. What the you... man 33 was simply huh? identified as KS in the lawsuit, and his penis preserving vaginoplasty was covered by the province's <laughs> public health scheme. I mean, bro, listen, so the, if it, the it, court it, ruled it, the three people, to, uh, four to three, so only three people, four people agreed, three people didn't. So, what people are going to have to do is they're going to have to do something terrible that I can't say on YouTube. Uh, if you want your governments to stop doing this, the, the people that voted, did you say they were judges that people did not elect? Yes, people did not elect. So judges, judges that people in didn't Ontario. didn't elect are making decisions on the taxpayers' they came money. Four to three with those judges, so it wasn't like a landslide, but what it wasn't is going to be on? like a, a victory. I hope he's so, unbotched. The so, court originally ruled three to zero oh that he was entitled to have the surgery. Then it was four to three after he had demanded that it was gender affirming. So what Weird. people are going to have to, if they don't like it, and they don't like the fact that people they're being charged taxes when they didn't vote for these people, um, what you're going to have to do is something probably terrible that I can't say on YouTube, but um, it's going to come down to some old school shit. You know, if you want to stop that type of bullshit from happening and take back your country, um, I I don't have a problem with the surgeries happening. If people want to get a surgery, go ahead. But on the taxpayers dime, that doesn't make sense um, for that. That goes under. It's not likely, but like, what if he wants to go back? Because that happens often. Well, what if he sues that... them for doing for making like being like they imbe- they they encouraged me to do this, and now I hate it. Now I'm going to sue them. That's happened a ton. Yeah, too. no kidding. And what sucks is is that you know there's people being denied cancer pain medicine and people being denied experimental treatments that might help them get rid of their cancer, or people being denied just regular care. And we got to give this person a surgery that is not medically necessary. Just because you mentally feel like you're both sexes, we have to make you have a vagina as well? That's ridiculous. I can't even get my medicines paid for most times, but this person wants their vagina covered. Right. I, I don't know. This makes sense. It's it's the priorities that, that I don't that I don't get. I mean, you know how much I make for disability each month? It's seven hundred and ninety dollars. Right. That's what I'm supposed to live off of. Seven hundred and ninety dollars and three hundred and ninety food stamps. That's it. Three ninety in food stamps, seven ninety in cash. I don't even have enough to pay for all my bills. You know how many fucking hookers I have to blow to get my fucking cut? <laughs> right. I mean, what seriously, I'm always fixing computers, and if I'm Ugh. sick and I can't do shit, then I'm fucked. It's like, you know, it's horrible. Oh. We all have to scrape by because that's how this state runs. But guess it's what? For You can true. spend forty grand on chopping something up or whatever. So wait. Exactly, but I need the insurance. So I'm fucked. If I don't have the insurance, I can't pay for the medications. I mean, one fucking medicine I need alone is fucking, what, $4,900 when I showed you the receipt? It's insane. Yeah. So yeah. The aim of big injectable is, this... is $4,900 once a month. That's, That's why they got to get the war going. They got to get the war started so we stop thinking about all this stuff here at home. We got to start thinking about going over there somewhere. You know, they got to get I'm, that going. Is this not considered an elective surgery anymore? Like, because it's gender reassignment surgery? Like, is it, is it, you know what I mean? Like, because I thought most insurances, most things like that wouldn't be covered. That That's something you have no, to pay for. No, believe it or I, not, they're, they're doing it because they're being pressured. If they don't do it, then they're viewed as homophobic or sexist or misogynist. It, it's all that bullshit. It's DEI. At its gender retarded surgery. Yeah, they're, but they're getting approved left and right, and it's happened in Connecticut over and over and over again. I've seen Hartford Health turn out people like you would not believe from their plastic surgery department, but yet they're refusing people to be transported into their liver transplant or their organ transplant ward, excuse me, because they don't have enough funding for that right now to pay for people to get the organ transplants. But they're covering the cost of the vaginoplasties. Wow. That's crazy. So people need a, people need organs transplanted to to live. The organs are available, but they're not covering the payment for their surgery. But they'll cover the payment for the gender reassignment. How so? People are gonna die if they don't get these organs. They're on fucking Unos. They're on the list. They're up there. They're not drunks. They're not alcoholics. They're not drug addicts. None of that. They're cleared for every fucking thing. 
They need these transplants, but they can't get them because somebody else is getting the money that they need to get their yeah, gender reaffirmed because that fucking senator, that DA, that whoever wants to get reelected. So they're saying, oh, let's take care of the trans people. It's bullshit. It's not required. If you want to get it, then do it as an elective. By the way, Novanix with a banger thumbnail. I just wrote that in the chat. That uh, Loving this thumbnail. Yeah. Great stuff, Novanix. Yeah, hey, we got this thumbnail is a moron. <laughs> Scissor me, Joe! <laughs> I've got to say, but goddamn, Jake, look at those fucking chompers. <laughs> look at those that chompers. That so good, donkey teeth. Jake's donkey teeth. I love it. <laughs> Jake's donkey teeth. Man, I'd love them to got, nibble on I got me. two more shots to go, so we better hurry up. Yeah, we got a couple of shots to do again, probably, because 50 times 3 is 150. Here you go, baby. Uh, goes from the coast. Here we Here you are. go, baby. Here we we are go. Getting, we're going to get fucked up and hurt somebody tonight. Woo! That's good, baby. <sighs> Let's go. No Vonix. That fucking makes some hair grow on my taint. I'm telling you what. My real taint, ladies. We're gonna see your taint. We're gonna see your taint tonight. Is that what you're telling me? You might. You want to? I'm pretty flexible now. You know. I can Show get your. Up there and, oh god. Oh. You know. Show. Oh, these pants Shit too. Bum. I got. I got to show these you off and later. Jody got to get back together. The bald co-host he had was a softie and abandoned him because of the controversy. If you I two had to a be show, new co-host. United States dollar. Thank you, Alex Oli. I really appreciate it. I doubt uh, that would happen because I don't think he likes me too much. But uh, Joe, I, you don't want to be his co-host. You want to be his host. You want to control him. That's well, what he wants. He, he needs to be controlled. He, <laughs> he needs to be controlled. Um, he needs I, to be I uh, wish dominated. If, hey, you can. Everybody can reach out to him and ask him, or at least for one off or something. But I doubt he'll do it. Um, everybody say, uh, JD, where you at? Hashtag beer goons. Yeah, beer goons. Let's bring beer goons back. <laughs> it was one one oh, great episode. Tank. You guys had those great animations done of you two for it. It was so good. Great idea. You guys are going to review beer. Like, so perfect. I got this shot ready to go, so. All right, we'll get this Everybody's second ready. shot up. Um, yeah, it would have been cool. Man, you know what? Um, but, like, uh, but Man, I, did, I, I did speak to him briefly today, so I will say there was that. So, But I, I, I just <laughs> I don't, don't care what anybody think... says. Oh, sorry, Joe. No, sorry, I just sorry. I spoke to him on cell phone today briefly. Like he was responding to me, which is, you know, okay. But I, you know, I just don't think he'd be interested. Um, I don't think he trusts me ever again, and I don't think, you know, I just don't think it that would that will happen. I understand. How everybody. sad is that? You know, I know it's. Um, but you know, I was surprised that we spoke. So that that did happen. But um, I don't think. Yeah, I just don't think he'll do it. He would do that. I think he um and by the way, this this guy that left him Hey, thanks for the subs. I'll see you later. What right when it gets a little hot, you know? Thanks for all the subs, bro. No one knew who I was. Now I got a bunch of following. Hey, I'll oh, see you. Oh, she's gonna choke in, Joe. Your thing's choking you in. Choke it out. Choke Here her out. Here we go. She's gonna tap. Look she's at her tap. Or she's gonna pass out. Uh -oh. The ref hasn't called it yet. She's got that choking deep. Oh, she's going night night. She's going night night. Here we go. Good oh, night. She's done. Good Yang night. One. That's it. We're done. Yeah, that's it. Or is that Yan? It's hard to tell them apart. To she be honest, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I could tell them by the hairstyle. Oh things. wait, fuck. Oh. I got my next shot ready to go, Joe. Here go up go. to her and smell her and find out. All right, shot time, baby. Knockout. Shot time. Here we go. Tons of knock ready? tap outs, knockouts. Here let me we go. See you down that bad boy. Swanch you, motherfucker. Okay, ready? I'll let you down yours and I'll down mine. <clears throat> Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Here goes Jakey. <clears throat> I'm drinking Tito's, baby. Ooh. I poured the whiskey straight in that. Ooh. Give me some good. titties. Maybe I'll do Tito's later. What's up, chat? UFC's going down. It's crazy. Good to see UFC 300 uh, being pretty entertaining tonight so far, to be honest. I got to be honest, dude. That's good. You want it to be entertaining when it's a 300 like this, man. Yeah, so, 200 was great, even with Lesnar and Mark Hunt fucking each other up. That was crazy. You know, Lesnar got found to be on steroids, but Mark Hunt, that's right. 
I always fuck Mark that up. Mark Hunt. My, Mike Hunt. Mark Hunt. So I believe it's Mike Hunt. Yeah, it's Mike <laughs> Hunt. My daughter, dude, my daughter's having a sleepover. Gavin's having a sleepover. Everyone's having a sleepover. Oh. And so, like, they drained me earlier. Like, they're like, oh, we're, we don't have anything Whoa. to eat. Can we have something to eat? No, not like that. Uh, can we have something to eat? And I'm like, they're like, can we DoorDash something? I'm like, oh, my God, that's expensive to do that. So I'm doing that. And then Gavin's like, we have no snacks and things and whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'll get you some snacks. And I'm like, motherfucker. Like, yeah, getting... snacks aren't cheap. Now, yeah. Joe, what if Gavin comes to you and says, Dad, I'm not a virgin. I need you to buy any condoms. What do you do? I would say, well, it's too late then. <laughs> like, that should have been done first. <laughs> you fucking missed the step, son. What if he said, I need more condoms? There we go. I would, I, I mean, at his age, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, whoa. I'd be like, bro, we need to talk. Actually, Maybe but I had to deal with that myself. It's a little awkward. You know? Well, you know, like I was. Hint, hint, wink, wink, help me. I was 16. <laughs> I was. John I, here, Joe. <laughs> I'm hurting. Well, I was. <laughs> hard. I, I was 16. We let her boyfriend stay here. I'm I'm sure shit, you know, went down, but oh, I'm still having a hard time with that one. You got to pretend that you're not okay with it though. You got to be like nuts. I got to be insane, you know. Well, that's well, I look like an, I looked awesome cuz you got to sit ringside for Smackdown. So I looked like I mattered. I was important. But also think about this like what are the rules with everything like in the world? Like I don't even know. Like like back when I was 16 and my girlfriend was like 16, um, you know, her, I remember her dad was like, just, you know, whatever, when you, whatever. And I'm like, okay, so they basically knew we were hooking up, doing it in the house while you know, they were away. You and, know what the funniest thing was? And I shit you not, I swear to, on everything, I'm not exaggerating. I stayed over my ex-girlfriend's house there every weekend when I got out of work. I got to stay at her house because her mom thought I was her gay best friend. <laughs> we were dating. <laughs> But for some reason, originally, her mom thought, she was like, is that your gay friend? So she went with it. Oh, my God. Saved so, yeah. my fucking life. And then I got, she thought she was dating John, my best friend. And John would go ahead and <laughs> he would come over. And then he'd have to leave by like, you know, five, six o'clock. And I'd stay over. I'd be like, all right, later. <laughs> and then I'm staying over at my girlfriend's house. So it worked. But hey, whatever, you know, fucking terrible as a teenager. Well, I know your your kid's got a different situation when you when you have a kid who's you know about to have a major surgery and yeah uh, you know ki you know a kid is I'm trying to do as much or a kid uh, or a kid has cancer her, you know go to his yeah exactly like some kid has cancer at like sixteen yeah their boyfriend sleeps over they have terminal cancer or something it's like you're you're not gonna be like no you know you you're gonna try to let your kid you get away with more, you know, and do more earlier. You know, everybody's perfect. It sucks that I like him so much. Her boyfriend's so fucking nice. Oh, it kills me. We picked him up from JFK and it was a disaster. It's, it's only an hour and 50 minute drive to JFK. Right. It took us six hours. Oh my the God. The traffic was so Damn. bad. So by the time we got there, we couldn't find him. So I pull up in the departure lane, this gigantic Mark Henry looking black, guy security guard comes over to me and he's like what are you looking for i'm like oh i'm laying departure gate 11 he's like oh that's not coming in for another 30 minutes you're gonna have to keep going around i'm like oh my wife and daughter are going to the bathroom so can i stay here he's like if you buy me lunch you can stay here so i grabbed courtney's purse i took out 15 bucks he's like just put it in the mirror i put it in the mirror he's like all right i'm gonna say you're a lift driver and then you can stay in this lane so I went over to where Lyft drivers go, and he let me stay there until we picked him up. I had to sit there for like 50 minutes, but every time someone told me to move, he's like, no, he's with me. He's cool. So I <laughs> bought the security guard lunch, and he let me stay. Oh. <laughs> it was fucking great. That's crazy. But had I not gotten him to agree with that, I would have had to keep going around, and I would have lost everybody. It would have been a fucking nightmare. Yeah, they yell at you, JF Logan. JFK, and... yeah, they kept yeah. just screaming at you. Same, yeah, Logan, JFK, they scream at you. They're like, move, move. So at least this way, I was like, no, I'm supposed to be here. So he was like, no, you're cool. You're with me. He's like, if my boss comes over, just tell him you're with me. I'm like... All right, cool. When you're, it's like, <laughs> dude, people must just do loops all day because every time I go to the airport, it's like that. It's like you have to get there exactly, and then when you, you know when you miss them too, yeah, they go, there's oh, no way to time it out perfect because of yeah. the traffic. That's now that's what they need to do. They need a new app for that, like where like the person you're waiting for's phone 
or something GPSs. I mean, like, but you'll come by and you'll, they're texting you like, "Oh, I'm ten minutes. I'm still on the plane." And you're like, "Fuck! I just got here." So then you drive around the circle. They had him fly in as an unaccompanied minor, so we had oh. to go to the gate to pick him up. And I'm like, "Oh my god, this is like." It. So I let Courtney and Danny go in. And I'm like, "I don't want to leave you two going through downtown New York." But I'm like, "I got to stay in the car." So I had Milo with me, and it was just like if I had, if I didn't pay that security guard to stay there, I would have never found them. I'd, I'd still be there looking for him. Right. I, I kid you not. The parking lot was like at least three to four hundred cars deep per lane. Insanity. Have you seen? Um, going back to wrestling, have you seen the videos of people superimposing or AI? putting Chris Benoit like in with yeah. Cody Rhodes or something. <laughs> yeah. Dude, somebody on YouTube made a video. I mean, this is the future is just like you, It's th- so easy for them to put him in too, but it's yeah. so effective. But dude, I but died. it's it's such like, clickbait. Oh it's such clickbait because dude, it started with AI or or it started with Photoshop. They would go like top 10 celebrities that died this year and they'll show a celebrity and then they'll show a celebrity that's not dead. So people are like, "What the hell?" That girl's dead. I can't. And you click on it. It's a clickbait thing. Um, and now it's like they show altered things that don't really exist. And then they use AI for that. And now they're using AI for this. And there's like a YouTube video that's like Chris Benoit celebrates with Cody Rhodes in the victory or whatever. And the video has like, you know, like 500,000 views. And it's like, there's <laughs> yeah, nothing exactly. that, like, holy shit, bro. You want to know what's really weird? Somebody in the chat. So King Hunico Mundo just said, rip. Hueco Mundo. Alex, yeah, you said rip Alex Trebek, right? Right. Funny enough, today I found my grandmother's Alex Trebek and fucking Ken Dilda. Jennings autograph. When I was in college, Ken Jennings and Alex <laughs> Trebek came to college. And my grandmother was the biggest Jeopardy fan. So my, that girl that I like, Liz, she went ahead and she fucking had my grandmother call Alex Trebek. And then talk to him and Ken Jennings. So my grandmother thought it was a prank. She was like, no way. And then Ken Jennings started answering questions. And she yeah. was like, oh, my God. And she freaked the fuck out because she watched all of his appearances for all 70-something of them. She watched him even when she was at work. She recorded him. She loved him. So he came to my college for a seminar with Alex Trebek. And I got them both to sign to Joanne, who is Ken Jennings. And they both signed it. And I just found that today. So somebody's saying, Ken, uh, Alex Trebek. I was like, that is fucking weird. That's like psychic. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so random that somebody, <laughs> that King Unico said that in the chat. <laughs> Dude. I. All I'm... we had was Alex Trebek and Papa Roach. That was like our big thing for Johnson and Wales. They had Papa Roach come and play our, uh, our like spring day, spring break day. So we got to have them play in the campus. That was cool. I miss and the Mud, old talk shows. Mudvayne, Mudvayne too. They played. I miss the old talk shows where, like, they were um, just the, just the just the original hosts. You know, like Sally Jesse Raphael. Remember her? Oh God, that was a she was like a talk show person, right? Yeah, she was big time. Big, big glasses with the big red glasses. And she had the bug eyes. The big the big bug eye glasses. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I, I, mean, I would love to get a hold of Sally Jesse Raphael when she was like 30, you know, and just plow her out. You know, like, or like, yeah, like, you know what they're going to do with AI? That's what they're going to do with AI next. Like, you can just type in and have it do stuff. Like, type into Gronk or whatever, Grok or whatever it is on Twitter, and be like, show me Sally Jesse, Je- Sally Jesse Raphael getting fucked to death by Jerry Springer. And then, like, it's like rendering. I mean, <laughs> It'll take 30 seconds to render your video. And it then renders it's, even uh, faster than that. It's crazy. Uh, and it comes up with full detail, too. Right. And it's just Jerry Springer going, like, ah. Uh, it's and then Jerry you're like, this is good. inside of Sally's red glasses. He's just coming all over her glasses. He's like, oh, I'm going to finish. Right. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, as he comes. And then they're like, like okay, t- you know what? Now, and the, like, and then they add to it. They're like, and Jerry uses his microphone. To fist her, like, and then he's like, oh. he uses Bob Barker's little microphone to put up her asshole. Oh, oh that's my god! One. Damn, she's well, well, it's the big slow. <laughs> oh. oh my god! All right, let's go to the There's donations. I'm sorry, guys. Stop to be city. I got another shot left, Joe. So let's go. Jake has one more shot left. You should save it in case there's one more bomb. 
There's one more bomb. Save it for one more bomb. Guys, if you want to donate, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. It's fucking monetize this. God damn it, UFC 300. Monetize this 451. And if you want to super chat, you can super chat down below. Membership, all that bullshit, but the real link is up top um, for the Streamlabs. And we're getting hard, man. Jesse's doing cocaine. Uh, Triple M looks just, oh, my God, look at him. He looks like... Delicious. Oh, I was going to say deep throat the mic, but it's close. It's close, man. He knows what's up. He wants oh, to gobble that I got whole you. Thing. I got you. I like it. I like him. You should see what he sends me He's on gonna Facebook. Gobble and, uh, Real dirty, <laughs> Joe. You'd be jealous. Really? I'll show you what I'll send Oh, he can fit all of it down. Wow. Right down that gullet. It's impressive. Why don't you guys just start hanging out with Dork Knight already at this point? If you're getting I might need to send you this, Jake. For over you want to Oh, oh like, look at that. I can get you the pro Until last Sunday. Oh, it. That my security, my safety, Conan. my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Conan talked Brett the sharpshooter in the shower. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, here's the thing, man. What I want to do is, how about that time that guy died and I didn't know he was dead in the ring? I love Conan, man. Conan's the balls. Doomed, huh? Thank you, Doomed. We love Conan here. Big supporter of Conan. Um, thank you for the $3 donation, brother. Someone, where's the brother? Give him a brother, somebody. There it is. Oh, oh my, my God, God brother. brother! Wow, that was at the same time. That was creepily timed. You know, they said possibly. No one knows for sure. Oh shit! My bad. Oh shit! Allison Tuckwab is Mr. here. Just Allison. Oh my God, brother! Trump might start in now because Biden can't even do a speech. He's got Alzheimer's. His partner even left him because she was so embarrassed of him. Can be racist now his Trump is himself lol. <laughs> I don't know everything that was just said there, but um, Allison, yeah, Trump. Well, no, Trump, you know, Joe Biden said he was like, don't. They were like, what do you have to say to Iran? And Biden was just like, don't do it. Like, that's what he ice said. Cream? <laughs> yeah, you want ice cream? I'm going to go have some chip chocolate, chip, chip, chip chocolate. And then, but, <laughs> but, but Trump tweeted out like some crazy shit. He was like, don't fucking dare to do, like, he was like, like going exactly. crazy. Did they remove the Benoit Did video? Did you summon me, Joe? Oh, maybe. Yes. Hello, you Mr. Him? President. You said maybe, tr Mr. Trump, you could go read your tweet from earlier today. The, oh, yeah. the paragraph that you said on Twitter um, up to Iran, you could read that like in I want to hear what your tone was like when you wrote that. You know what I'm saying? So let me know if you can do can that, I Mr. Go back Trump. Back to the archives, Joe. Dig them up. You know, read. Yeah. Read it verbatim. That way you get it right. You know. Um, but yeah, it was a great, very interesting tweet. So check that out. And um, yeah. You know, what WWE did remove is. Uh... When you watch it back on YouTube, the Cody Roman fight, they edited out the whole Seth Shield entrance and getting beat up and that whole part. Yeah, because they, they didn't film it well. Really? They, they were upset that they Cena missed the shot of him getting in the ring. They, wait a minute, what was that? They were upset they the missed what? the shot of Seth getting in the ring, so oh. they ditched the footage of him in the Shield get up. Um, they only showed the aftermath. Oh wow, they were that. I mean, they they did kind of miss, but you know, to be honest, I even though they kind of missed it in a way, they they got the important part where where he hit him first, where he hit him afterwards. You know, they, I mean, yeah, they, the Superman they, punch and the chair, they got it both, but they yeah. just felt like they didn't see him enter the ring properly. Right, but you know People what though, thought it was Dean Ambrose because they didn't see Seth for so long. That was the only issue is that you couldn't tell exactly what was going on right away. But in a way, to me, edit it down. Yeah, it works for me, like because it made it even more weird, exciting. Because it was like, what is going on with that? It was crazy. I mean, I give them that much. People, but people did think it was Dean Ambrose coming back. Which yeah, is sad. That well, yeah. I well, get why people thought it though, because it was just so random. You hear the Shield theme, you see no one. You're like, what the fuck? And all of a sudden, Superman punch. He's down. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Would you? Has anyone had a worse weekend, a worse WrestleMania weekend than Seth? 
Jeez. Yeah, this is a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad showing uh, for Seth, unfortunately for him, and also kind of shitty that uh, Stone Cold, you know, apparently it seems like just was like, no, give me more money, like give me ten million or whatever, you know, allegedly. Yeah, he know. wasn't sick. Well, yeah, he was not to... sick. Yeah, in fact, the day after WrestleMania, he was posting pictures about like wanting to beat the fuck out of some ducks. Yep. He was like, "Fuck these fucking ducks." He thought he was just Probably didn't want to like, walk on that long ass people want, you can tell the spot was made for him. It made no sense but the Undertaker, the Rock and Stone Cold have history. What? You're going to go back to King of the Ring or some bullshit for the Undertaker and and the Rock? Come on. Well, Undertaker no. has history of the bloodline. Yeah. Roman Reigns. Yeah, Roman, I mean a little bit, he but but he helped he tagged with Roman Reigns. He helped Roman. Yeah. Take on uh fucking Drew and uh, Shane McMahon. So he tagged with goddamn Roman Reigns. Kind of so why would he not help the bloodline? It doesn't make sense. You know, it's all he bullshit. Lost to Roman. Is what it is, though, man. Yeah, no. D D J typical Democrats. Yeah, it's weird. All right. DJ Scandalous <laughs> does have a good point. I love I love I love I love DJ Scandalous's point. He says was random, but the callback to Rollins betraying Roman was worth it. That was really cool. Like, yeah, dude, was that so was good. that was a ten year story being capitalized on. Right. It was just Oh man, that was I mean, dude, that was really good. Like that that ending and was like, I, very I, cool. That alone sold me on night two better being better than night one. That right there was the best storytelling they've had in forever. Roman could have retained the title. He just had to hit fucking Cody and be done with it. Mm -hmm. He couldn't let go of his anger for Seth. And Seth said, I'll be your shield and fuck. If Seth was not there in that getup, Roman would have beat Cody again. It was going to happen. Yeah, he was legit the shield. The shields went down, and then Cody he, beat him. He saved him. Yeah, damn straight. So I can't wait to see what they do for Seth coming up. He's going to be gone for a little while, I heard, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe he'll wear the shield shit instead of that damn crappy <laughs> gay shit he wears yeah. all the time. Gunther had a title for 66, 666 days and 100-something defenses. Roman only had 21. Oh my God, Allison Tuckwab dropping another one. Thank you, Allison. Oh my God, brother. I don't know who is better, but getting stuff that is high trying to buy stuff like food. I don't know what president is good, Biden or Trump Biden, raising Christ or Trump lowering the cost of things. Yeah, I mean, it could be, I know. they could both be bad. I mean, you never know, but I would say that probably you want Trump because you, you probably want a conservative exactly. at this point, you know, to, to you know, I hate Trump, Trump and I say Trump would be better for us now. He was better yeah. for Are us. Are you saying you hate me, Jake? I you was really wrong. Me, Jake, no, I I was wrong, Mr. President. You were better. Actually, I, think I found Allison, my tweet, no. Joe. If you want me to say it, oh, I yes. regret I voting Allison... for Biden. I yes. do. I regret it. I should have voted for Trump to stay. At this point, fucking Biden has done nothing You're but damn screw right us over. There. At least, like I you know, Jake, Mr. President, Jake can admit that. You know, my wife would never. I admit. I wholly admit that because I hated Trump and I hated for what he stood for less than his policies. But when I look back. Unemployment was lower. Social Security was doing better. I didn't have problems with my insurance yeah. because benefits were better. Things were better. We were getting uh, the the stimulus checks. I mean, there was a lot of things that were happening because of him that we don't see now. Unemployment skyrocketing again. Yeah, I mean, um, exactly. It's uh, it's you got it. You're at this point. You're if you don't. It's like one of those things. If you don't really like him, it's like you're forced to. Unless you're trying to destroy the country on purpose. Like, no, go ahead, Biden. Keep the boat. Like, let's keep fucking it up. It's great. Um, okay, so, Mr. Trump, yeah, go ahead. Read your, uh, you were had a, something to say to Iran earlier today on Twitter. Really quick. It was, it's now 3.9% for the unemployment rate. It was 1.8 when Trump was in the office. That's crazy. It's crazy. Dude, he was, he was deal. signing, you were signing oh, uh, peace treaties um the everything was you were we were crushing it until covid which i yeah, really the highest so far was 14 percent unemployment during covid but that was this very start of covid 
but Trump had it as low as 3.6% at its highest for him. And that was, you know, the highest was 3.6%, with Biden is at 3.8%. So. Yeah, I would love Exactly, to vote and third the Democrats party, but... try to twist and turn it to turn it against me. Right, but they're always going to be wrong. Well, go ahead, Mr. Trump. Uh, Mr. Uh, go ahead and read your tweet. We'd love to hear it. All right, Mr. Cronin. To Iranian President Rouhani, never ever threaten the United States again, or you will suffer consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. We are no longer a country that will stand for your demented words of violence and death. Be very cautious. I love Mr. it. Mr. President, that was excellent. That's very great. Amazing. And uh, that was sent earlier. It's it's an unbelievable treat, uh, tweet. Uh, by you, Mr. President. It's so beautiful. I wanted to hear it on the air. Um, you think and, I'm a bird or something, Joe? Tweet? I'm going to tweet tweet it. Well, you're going to exit. I don't know. You X marks the spot. A decent man, Mr. Trump. Be cautious. I like that one. Exactly. Very, very good. Uh, and and now, now Biden agree with you, I think, but he said, he just said, don't. Don't do it. That's what he said. But they did. They did do it. But I don't think they really did it because I think they, you know, they they clearly, you know, put on a drone strike that was going to cause no casualties. Um, you know, Iran warned America and is and Israel about it. So it's like it's like, bro, like that's like a gang. Can you imagine? Can you imagine in America if like your gang is is fucking up somebody in fights, but then the other gang comes by the house and they just. They, they throw rocks at your house, but before they do it, they call you and they go, hey, don't go outside tonight. Stay in your home because tonight we're coming by and we're going to be throwing some fucking darts and rocks at your your house and your windows. So just stay inside. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, okay. All right. We got it. And they come by and they do that. And it's like because Iran can't look weak in front of their people. Like they, they, we just killed one of their, or I, Israel just killed one of their generals. So it's just fascinating to me. You know what I mean? It's fascinating to me that there, that there's this weird. How could you not be fascinated? Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, it's so like scrupulous sounding, and and with the delivery, it's like oh, there's a whole new meaning to it. But yeah, absolutely, it's it's very nefarious. Yeah, it was very weird. Like they could, like Israel. I mean, Iran could shoot. Iran could do a, a drive-by shooting. Or Iran could do. I guess the better analogy would be, hey, don't be home tonight. There's gonna be we're gonna drive by tonight. Go somewhere else. So you go somewhere else with your family, and then the gang drives by, and it's like just to like send a you know warning, but we don't want to kill anybody. That's what Iran did. You know, it's like and and, and why I bring that up is because when everybody thinks everybody is the most evil thing ever, like on all sides, it's like Iran doesn't want to go to war. You know, America doesn't, I mean, I, I, I don't know, like at this point, almost feels like we do, but you would think we don't want to go to war. Russia doesn't really want to go to a war, to a real war. You know, we, nobody wants to really get into that. Nobody wants the world war to happen, but everybody's fucking around enough that it's like, we got to do something. Oh, like, uh, like, okay, we'll do this little thing and do that little thing. And, but like, nobody wants to launch the real shit. So I don't know, the Germans might want it a little bit more. Why? Because it's Hungry. the return of Hitler. Okay, so you're just There's gonna so you're just saying you're, Gargutz is just saying retarded shit. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Good job, Gargutz. It's the typical Mexican here. I don't know if he's one of the undocumented ones, but we will see. Oh. Probably. What up, Gargi? Gargi's here. He's on the thumbnail and he's here. How about that? He's not high on quaaludes either. I wish. Once. Imagine that, exactly. bro. Exactly. Imagine you that know, they brought super soakers. Super soakers don't fuck around though, because uh, you know they originally said it was like a gang doing drive-by with water guns. But if he's got super soakers, Trump, he's gonna nail somebody. Right. Super soakers, like super soak that hole. Yeah, you know it. I'm going to blast them with one of those Fill super that soakers that you could find on TikTok on one of those advertisements. 
Imagine if you saw a super soaker fight with like like gangs decided to do super soaker fights, but with like acid or something. Or like I remember we used to go all out for super soaker wars, Joe. Like we would duct tape our neighbors and like fucking dunk them in coolers of ice water. Be like, you know, tell us where your <clears throat> friends are, kind of idea. Like we would have all out wars in the neighborhood as kids. It was nuts. Oh yeah, dude, that was the balls when we were kids. Like I don't even get it. Like. Nobody goes out anymore. The kids aren't doing that anywhere. No. Like it's like what? We grew up. My mom used to run a backyard summer camp for all the neighborhood Whoa. kids. And that's how it started. Uh, because she didn't want all of us doing wrestling. stupid shit. So she would have all of us together, and we would do silly things. One of the times we all dressed up in costumes at her camp, and we went trick or treating in like the middle of July. So people didn't know what the fuck to give us. We would show up at their door in the middle of July, be like trick or treat. They were like, uh. One guy gave us a bunch of, like, toothbrush samples from a dentist office. Other people gave us, like, just sandwich baggies and, like, crackers and random shit. <laughs> but it was funny, you know. But we would do stuff like that. So this way all the kids were together but doing something safe because there were so many kids. And if you didn't have any adult supervision, everybody would fuck off real fast. So I miss those old, like, we play, like, Relievio at night and kick the can yeah, type of laser stuff. tag all that shit we used to go to do a little park here and in the dark we would play laser tag it was so much fun now you go to the park and it's sundown the cops come up and fucking arrest you for trespassing like you can't do it anymore can't even walk <laughs> Ew, look at that i told you ding dong would win by the way um that knockout bing bong was officially bing one bong second wins. before the can we talk what bing dude jong. tonight's good bro but can we real quickly just like nobody mentioned how cool it was in my my news thumbnail thing nobody thought pw inside her was fun <laughs> come on hey i like it i didn't see That's it then the now i see it, it. pw, PW inside, her. inside her it's great i look so quick i didn't even catch it <laughs> That's uh, awesome. I'm a oh loser. they got the translator out oh the trans yeah they got the trans out there with the purple suit all right, let's see what the trend is. Is it an or a Decepticon? You're 25 and 3. How do you feel? She should stab herself right there. I lost Seppuku. She's not happy. Dunkachino? And she won. Don't mind if I do. What's my name? Matt Cologne. It's a whole new game. Dunkachino. What up, Matt? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate. Hell yeah, Matt. Let's go, JCS. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's go to a let's go to yeah let's go to a bar and beat people up right Gargots? We're going to Jesse's dungeon. Ooh, go to the bar and beat people up. I haven't done that in a while. Look at he's I cooking know. meth right now in his kitchen. I got into a couple of fights at a few bars and got thrown out. I can't see in him. College? No, oh, yeah, same. A friend of mine, no, yeah, her name he, was Adriana, he was and she house. was used to date one of my best friends, John, at the time. So John. Uh, another kid, Al, and I, we all went to a sublime cover band called Badfish. And we get there, and some kid stage dives off the stage, but he jumps towards, not at the middle where everyone's going to catch him, he jumps towards the side where that girl that I'm friends with, Adriana, is, and he landed right on top of her and took her down. So she walked mm -hmm. over to him afterwards. She was crying, she had bruises, and she was like, what the fuck did you do that for? And he pushed her. So I fucking snapped. I went over and I just fucking punched him in the face and knocked him out. So then his buddy swarmed me. And my two friends were like, what? What? What are you going to do? But they never got any fist fighting in. All they did was act like fucking, you know, chicken peacocks. The, 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 the what? What? Bullshit. Yeah. Like they're meanwhile, like rams. meanwhile, I'm swinging at all three of his friends. I'm landing punches left and right, but they're hitting me. I'm fucking, my nose is bleeding. I fucked two of the kids up. The third one kicks me hard oh, in the stomach. And I went ahead and I was trying to catch my breath. And then that's when security grabbed me. Fucking four security guards. They picked me up. One on each arm, one on each leg, and they carried me the fuck out. And I'm like, you're going to throw me out because he's hitting a girl? Fuck you, cunts. Fuck you, ass. Like, I was berating them. <laughs> I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I'm like, fuck you, assholes. You misogynist pieces of shit. You're going to let a girl get hit, you cunts. You're going to kick me out. A guy hits a girl and you're going to kick me out? Nice. I hope you fucking burn. I, I was so <laughs> I would have been losing. You cut a promo I was, on him. I was fucking Damn. so livid. I so finally, they take me outside. They put me on the ground. They walk back out. 
my buddies John and L. Eric come back in, they're being held like this by their shirts and being walked out. The guys had to carry me by every fucking limb to drag me out of there and not <laughs> kill the, the one remaining friend. I beat the, I knocked out the first kid, and I swear on Danny, I beat the fuck out of the other two. But I got my ass kicked, too. They hit all of them combined probably like 18 times. I got fucked up because there was three of them after I knocked the first friend out and they were just all of them just yeah. punching me at once while I was punching them. I was I, I lost like half a tooth and I got my fucking my nose was swollen for like a week, but I knocked out two of them and I fucked that third one up. I missed the last one. That's my biggest regret that I didn't fucking kill him. All right, that I'm a little is... hammered. Well, I'm glad you didn't I was kill him. Say, damage. I need to get on your last level. Shot How many at? fucking shots did you do? One more shot for Jake, and he might start, you know, diddle burying your anus. One more shot, All right, and shot. he'll be done. Let's hear from Tommy. What up, Tommy? Oh, my God, brother. Oh, my God, brother. Oh, oh my God, Tommy. Here, Joe. Oh, hey, Tommy. How you been, brother? Uh, I've been okay. I've been okay. It's just uh, I had a long night. Oh, okay. What happened? Oh, we know how that goes, Tommy. Acid. Very depressing, Joe. I'm sorry, Tommy. We love you anyway, even though you had a bad night, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, brother. So, exactly, Give me the AB brother. notes on what the fuck I missed. I, I guess I missed something. The fight? The UFC stuff? Or are you talking about like all no, the no, stuff no, that the happened? shit on you. Oh, Just um, give me the oh. yeah, I, I've been talking. I, I, I was at yeah, work. It was pretty funny. So Joe was getting attacked pretty bad. It was a fun day on Twitter, yeah, because I made fun of uh, Denise. And I don't have Twitter, so. Oh, yeah. Well, it's been everywhere. He originally made fun of Denise in a very, like, non-direct way. Like, it was pretty tongue-in-cheek, and then it got more direct as time went on because people kept pushing. Wait, was and it then, a clip from, like, last month? It, it was a clip from the other day, yeah. And then the yeah, funny, the, when the, we were on. The funny thing about it, though, is, you know, JD said similar stuff, so he was getting attacked, too. But then our yeah. old friend Kevin... Um, Scambole, went and yeah. called a he oh, called a God. black guy in NXT a slave, and then after he <laughs> and then after he did, rightfully <laughs> so. And then after he did that, so oh that, now now he's getting crap. Now he's getting attacked on Twitter. What that you know that one makes a little more sense, but he's getting attacked on Twitter. But then they're still going after me about all this stuff, and I'll ki people are going to kill me and cut me and murder me and all these things. And Kevin's like, yo. I'll get the heat off you. Don't worry. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then like a couple hours later, there's a video of him just saying the N word 70 times, <laughs> like in the fucking video, like calling the guy like a house N word. And it's just like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, it's we like, have a few of those here, Joe. Now there's now there's like <laughs> there's like videos of him like like, bro, there's like wrestlers reacting to him. Wait, hold on a minute. Here it is. Here, here, so here, here's, just, here's just a second of it. We've already all seen it a million times, but this is still funny. I do take it all back. He's not a slave. He's so much more than that. I think he might be a house <laughs> Oh, okay, That's your terminology, Wesley. I'm just considering him to be a future star. Him and Lucky what? Ali, I'm still going to call him by their independent names, and I feel that they are going to be the stars Wait, of WWE. What are you calling them, future stars? I consider them as the future <laughs> main events, yes. How is that better than house <laughs> Because they're actually going to be world champions like Cody Rhodes and they're going to their stories. Another house <laughs> you seen I, I'm I'm be 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 You understand. Now all the wrestlers are swearing. So now I'm the only guy who says house <laughs> this many times. About Sorry. specifically this wrestler that you remember the name of. Yes, I will always remember the name of Jay Malachi, the future athlete, the future star of this business, the next world champion. He's definitely the current house <laughs> But I don't know about Bye. what he's right. gonna do next. Oh my god, bro! The guy, the, the his co-host is like, well, I'm gonna call him by his name, which is you know, Jave, whatever. And he's like, well, I call him House. <laughs> He's a future bro. Uncle Tom. So, it's so, been less than 60 seconds. Joe's already up to five end bombs. And did you see Shibata tonight on Collision, Joe, by chance? No, Shibata, what did he do? ridiculous chopping match with whoever he was facing. Another black guy. What, it's not Lee, Lee Moriarty, maybe? Somebody. I don't know. Right. And they're fucking chopping each other. And it's the most, like, oh, he's Lee supposed Moriarty. to be, like, taking the chops and fucking taking it. Oh, oh, oh. But it, it looks so ridiculous. Especially <laughs> since they removed <laughs> Shibata's brain. Like, what else do they have left? I, yeah, I was watching. Uh, I was watching that right before I came here. Uh, no. Yep. How? So did you like it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Fuck no. I was bored of it. It was I, lackluster. I, uh, I think. 
yeah, yeah, it was definitely lackluster. I don't remember a damn thing. I, Thunder Rosa changed her hair. Th- that was exciting, I guess. She shaved her head. Shave no. I want her ass on my face. Hair. Oh my god, Tommy. Damn. Damn. Tommy. Yeah, I but Lee Moriarty sucks, it. and having him look like this makes him even worse. I mean, come on. Him and Shibata yeah. should not be evilly chomping each other and doing just a woo battle. It's fucking ridiculous. How are you going to be out there with a name like fucking Sandwich Grip of Shibata? And Lee Moriarty. <laughs> yeah, Shibata. He's a fucking sandwich, all right. I put him in a hot dog and mac and cheese and eat him up. It's fucking cunt. shit sandwich. You Smells cunt. like shit, but I'll eat it anyways. We'll send him to Iran. We'll be like, Shibata caused World War Three. Why? Because he's a cunt. And I ran all Because Tony paid him to be a cunt. Mm. I like how Tony says, I spent more money than I thought I would. And I'm going to keep spending more, but uh, holy shit, did I spend a lot of money. <laughs> He spent a lot of the money. Yeah, it sounds he said he right. spent far more than he expected to ever spend. So what, yeah, like he's just figuring that shit out. Yeah, he's, 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 coming he's really putting he's in like, a lot of money. It's a lot of money he's put into all these, you know, big names. Well, yeah, but he put a lot of money into sports that he never wins. I, yeah, too. I love how mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Oh, we love soccer." He's like, "You mean football?" <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. Football. It's a lot of money in those prostitutes in the back. They got mm. they got really close to um you know stuff with the Jaguars last last year. I, by the way, I got Hill in the main event. Just so everybody knows, I do have Hill, and um Bobby Hill. I'm a little late. Boy, I got I boy really Bobby. Kill. What I'd love to do right now, Bobby, come up. <laughs> Come upstairs and unzip my <laughs> damn pants. Come upstairs and make me taste your mother. I want to taste the damn butthole. Come here and play with my butthole. See, Courtney doesn't get it. She's like, I need a shower. I'm like, no, I want you sweaty. Ugh. I want you sweaty home from the gym. I want you fucking, yeah. Get over here. Hank, Hank. Taste those fluids, Jay. <laughs> John Redcorn's packing, Hank. <laughs> oh. I don't smoke food. You do kind of like Dale Purple, yeah, right? That's pretty funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, brother. Oh, my God, brother. Hill down. I found it. All right. Brother. Oh, my God, Hill. Oh, my God, Hank. The rock in his the 30s versus the rock in his 50s needs to be studied by scientists. Oh, my God, Joe. That would have been bad. What's the that? last time you what had me on brain? camera? I, honest to God, not realized that my cock was out. I got my pajama uh-huh. pants on, and had uh-huh. I moved just a little bit further back with my seat, like lean back, my cock would have absolutely shown on camera. Wow. Uh, show me. Right, right me. now, I have, I have my heart. No, look, I got my heart pants on with Milo's face on them. I got these for Whoa. Christmas. Oh, They're yeah. They're hearts oh. with yeah. the dog's face on them. Milo. Love it. So it's awesome. So I can fuck my you dog through cock? the cock. I got my like cock the, on my dog's the, face. It's great. Yeah. You mean it's all different hands. poses of Milo. Wait. Well, let's all thank God we didn't have the camera on but your thank cock. Thank God you didn't have the camera on me because my cock was uh, hanging out of the fucking... Hey, y'all did me shit pants. Dork and I did that on my shit, and I fucking hate it. But it, yeah, but hey, I thought that was a joke. He really did that? Yeah. I thought oh, that was a yeah, joke, yeah. our God. No, so he... It, he it no, was no, weird because... I didn't know that was legit. Oh my god! I this whole time I thought it was bullshit and just a story. He he wrote it out, but it was but it was weird because the microphone the microphone was perfectly placed like Adam's leaf over his dick in the fucking. Well, was he trying to be intentional though? No, he was drunk. No, no. Oh, oh, that's even worse. Yeah, Yeah, but he'll do it drunk. He got kicked out for educational purposes a month. Yeah, he will do it for educational purposes. Though. He'll do it on your. He's done it on other people's things before, for That's real. I'm fucked. not kidding. I was just kidding. I was just Dunk being a. Don't mind if I do. What's my name? Oh. Dunk it, Gina. Yeah. I would do it my cock with that. My wife be orgasm. You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Thank Let's you. Let's go, JCS. I think Matt Cologne. Yeah. Don't, he might have donated twice by accident. I don't know, but either way, thank you, Matt Cologne. We love you, Matt Cologne. Thank you for the donation, man. Keep it, keep it going. I want to get raped tonight. By the way, uh, Jesse, what did you say? You got cut off, Jesse. Go ahead. Jesse got cut off saying uh, he loves gargots. I have no fucking. Rem- I don't know. You were talking about Dork Knight. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It didn't matter. 
The father, he was ah, begging everyone. Dork guy fucking, wanted a mushroom he, he, dude, he begged like six different people if they wanted to see his dick. It was pretty. It, I don't know if it was sad or fucking hilarious. He said he was going never, sober, but he was begging me for sober money. money. Sober he money. Shot on it? Yeah, he went to get drunk. Oh well, shit, Sounds man. Sounds about right. He fucking. He, <laughs> I don't know, man. There's there's no success without failure on that kind of shit. Anyway. There should be a 13. I look, I look forward to him being the- here all this time. My biggest trigger in life is fucking religion bullshit because I dealt with just so much hell with my fucking father and aunt. And it was, it was always some fucking Bible beating. So when he started quoting Bible verses, I was extremely triggered. He was trying to be cool with it. And I'm like, ah, oh, you cunt. Why have all nights you got to pull this shit? <laughs> My what did I do to deserve this? He texts me Bible like, <laughs> like scripture all the time. I used to get fucking read scripture then beat. When I was sick at my aunt's house once, I had an actual <gasps> fever, and they got her church friends to come over. They prayed around me and took turns hitting me with the Bible till the demon left me, so I wouldn't be sick anymore. Like these people were. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. Demons. I like. I like what Frank Zappa said. He said uh, there should be thirteen steps. You get off your high horse, or you step off a bridge. Exactly. Wow. I was so abused by those people. I hear fucking religious shit come out, and I'm like, oh god, no, please. Ah, uh, so hearing him quote Bible scripture as he's claiming to be sober was a yep. fucking joyous occasion. That's why I said step off the high horse. And then I was trying to be funny with Luke. I know he was trying to be the heel, and I get what he was going for, but it flopped entirely. So. Yeah, Luke was just kind of going too hard. It was like, he what? Was trying it reminded to be the me of that time that Nerdy and a certain other person would always, every time Joe would leave, they would always do like a promo. Well, I'm going to get you this time for the boat. And then Joe yeah. would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Because, yeah, because, exactly. you, doing? you know, back in the day, the belt, we would just be all having fun and, and it'd be like, I'm, it wouldn't I'm really. taking it too serious. Yeah, it wouldn't be like that we were yeah. really getting into real fucking crazy fights or trying to work everybody, which, you know, Part of me doesn't mind some of that, but like it was just like we, you know, it got weird. But hey, um, it well, the problem is it got too uh, convoluted. Got, too many people got involved, and feelings got hurt, and people were getting fucked over by it. It was crazy. It turned into nonsense. You got people flip flopping. Turned me on. And everything. Mm. Oh, I like to oh, flop on you. I was an amazing That's champion. J- J- Tommy, you really. Tommy, you really were a good champion, Tommy. You took that belt all over and took photos with it. It was awesome. Tommy sent me a copy of his uh, comic book, too, when he sent me the belt. Did Tommy go yeah. out and yell at the to wipe my ass, but... and to acknowledge him? <laughs> That's what I would do. <clears throat> Use it to wipe your ass. It's even better. Who's our Gosh. current champion? Isn't it Jay Menace, right? It's the yeah, black he's... guy. <laughs> he's on the call. I am current. Hanging in here. I acknowledge Jay. I'm glad he's here, but acknowledge. he needs the belt. So, uh, what's Luke doing? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, he, he's in hiding right now. <laughs> I wish fucking I wish Gilbert Goffrey could fucking answer that. We don't know yeah, where Tommy is. Was is funny. He was just triggering us all hell, but at least he was funny. He he stuck to it so hard that he was so dedicated that it made me break quite a few times. He stuck to the scripture. He stuck to the fucking. He just stuck right to the script. That was, he was going. that was that was the way he really filled. Why does this guy's abs look weird? Like he's got two fucking ruptured abs at the top. It looks like yeah, like he had implants that then he got taken out. Yeah, is he the now rock? He just got the, is... He's got the, the the old shell. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Okay, so is is this the main event right here? It should be. All right, who who we got? Um, um, Pereira's been great, but I I, pi- I actually picked Hill in this fight. Hill, all right, Hill, the guy with the weird abs. Yeah, I don't think it's a strong all pick right. by me. I think Pereira's like he's pretty fucking good. Yeah, but... I know it kind of goes both ways. Huh? So, oh yeah, no, nah, I hate it. I He's guess I'm gonna go opposite. Of, yeah, I'm gonna go opposite of Joe. I'll go Pereira, and if you're gonna go the other way, okay. Dude, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say it's a. Uh, it's gonna come down to a decision. Ooh, I'm yeah. gonna go knockout. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say Hill if he's gonna go Pereira. And yeah. All right. So Pereira's the weird abs. Hill's got abs. Um, Hill's he- black. There you go. You can say it. <laughs> I mean, whatever, whatever Campoli fucking said, it's time. 
an Uncle Tom. Oh, Tommy. So if we're betting right can you bet on this right now? Yes, you could. You could bet up until Draft the bell teams. rings. I believe. Uh, you could have draft games. Sometimes it's 90 seconds before they close out. Some close out right as the bell rings. It all depends on the site. Some are closed out before it starts. It all depends. All I know is that all I know is that when the Special Olympics happens, I'm definitely betting on that shit. Mm. I used to bet on it. My mom went to the Special Olympics, not as a competitor, but as a uh, like an assistant, like a volunteer. Mm -hmm. And Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. was there. Mm. Yeah. And it was crazy how short he is. And right. he's all buff. He and was shit. the same height as my mom. My mom was like five, six and a half. He was like just ever so smaller, like higher than her. It was crazy. She took a picture with him and I'm like, Oh my god, the Terminator's tiny. Well huh? forget that member Stallone, he's really I'm tiny. Tiny Nader. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone's short too. Oh, Tom Cruise is five one. What? Really? Like, I thought he was five one, maybe five three. He might be like though. five four or five six or something. I, I but, wow. yeah, they say Arnold's six two, but that's bullshit. There, he had to be like five, five eight, seven, or five, nine. Yeah, five seven. He was like probably more realistic, but it's like I'm telling you, he was barely over. My, my mom is five four, five four and a half. He's mm. barely over. Oh, so like five, two, six, five seven is too much. He looks like he's 5'7". Well, Tom yeah, Cruise is 5'7". Yeah. They do that to Keanu Reeves, too, where they made him taller Dude, for the Matrix and for John Wick. Think about this. Nicole Kidman's 5'11". Tom Cruise is 5'7". They were going out. He was way shorter than her. Yeah, and Google says that Arnold's 6'2". There's no way. I'm a, telling you. He had to use a step he's ladder a to fuck I, in the ass. I always thought Arnold was tall. I thought it's Sylvester Stallone who's short. He's 5'5", five five or something like that. You know who else is, is smaller than you'd realize? Is Vin Diesel. Jesse? Yeah, Vin Diesel's a little <laughs> tiny. They look like little tiny Italian <laughs> toe sausages. Yeah, Jesse's uh, he's missing hips, you know. No, Vin Diesel's tiny too. It's it's crazy. He's not tall at all. Yeah, it's real funny that Jesse's in pain and in uh, hunchback. Great. That's it's just funny. his hips. He'll be fine. He can. He can. Pieces of shit assholes. Look at him trying to get into the cabinets right now. With his fucking <laughs> hobbit ass. Look at this. And you're making fun hobbit of this? around here. You know, I'm stuffing just things anywhere. Who gives a fuck what it looks like? Whatever it is, it's going down his gullet. Undisputed! Put your head in the toilet, Jesse. Oh, my bad, Joe. My bad, Joe. I'm uneducated. You're, you're uneducated? Oh, my Poor God. Tommy. Yeah. Oh, I thought oh, you got Tommy. your degree in science. No, just high school. Just high school, uh, the general degree. I got At least you. you got that degree. I don't got it, you know? Yeah, you're two steps ahead of Joe. Yep. Now what are you going to do with it? I didn't know Walter White Jesse was in pain. My bad. No. Oh, well, Tommy, I have a marshmallow field that you can uh, harvest and roast. What is that? We need no, toasted, mar we need toasted marshmallows. Pick that for me. <laughs> Tommy, um, tell me about, you know, which one of your mothers you prefer. Your birth mother that abandoned you that looks like a whale or like your, you know, your mother that lived off of, you know, your father's funds. Which one? Joe, we don't Ooh, have to choice. go that path. Both are very fine women. You don't see me talking about your mother and the loony bin, Joe. I know, but like you know, it's um, you can you can do that if you want. I'm just trying to compare. You could have you could have thrown the question back to me. You could have said, "Well, Joe, which one?" And I would have said, "Well, I don't know the other one, yeah. so there's nothing I can really say." Joe, where's yeah. your champion puke at? Where is he? He's not the champion. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, puke is not the champion. It's uh, you know, Jay Menace is the champion. He's here. Um, the one, and the only. Luke is taking a a oh, the break. Mayate. Oh. Yeah, Luke is starting this transition of a break, which is you know the typical co-host thing here. You know, you do you know you take yeah, a break. Yeah, he's, he's, he's I've been going to wrestling tour. shows for over thirty years. Never oh, doomed in all that time. He's going to go on I the world tour until last Sunday. That my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Why would they renew Strange New Worlds instead of Lower Decks? I don't. I'm assuming because Strange New Worlds is only on season. It's getting more money. Yeah, it's it's more money. First of all, Strange New Worlds is only on season three right now, and um, Lower Decks 
only gets about three hundred to four hundred thousand viewers. They said four eighteen is one of the recent numbers given. So there I don't you know go. how accurate that is, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's like not everybody watches the cartoon. It just doesn't. It's a it's it's an okay cartoon. It's funny. It's good. You know, it's good, but. I yeah. haven't followed all of it, so I'm excited for the boys to come back in June. I wish it wasn't that far away. The boys, yeah, what? Gen V was awesome. Is that Did season you see four? Any, uh, season four is coming up for the boys, and yeah. Gen V was season one, and it was about a bunch of kids in like superhero high school. It starts off with this girl gets her period, and she can control mm. blood, but she doesn't know it. So when her mom knocks on the door, the blood period blood down. turns into a sharp object and kills the mother. It goes through her neck. <laughs> so now the, now the mom's bleeding out on the ground. And the dad walks in and says, what did you do? And the, all the blood that's all over the place from the mom turns into, like, shrapnel because of her power. And now she killed her father, too. And her sister comes in and goes, you're a monster, and runs away. And that's how the show starts. Turns into iron. Yeah, that yeah. would that would probably rope me in. I'd be like, okay. It's fucking nuts. And it only gets crazier from there. You're talking like they pull the one girl that has a superpower to get small, she only gets small when she vomits, so she's bulimic. Like there's some real crazy undertone stories in this. Like the, it's not all the the typical like woke bullshit. Like they really go in on a lot of different stereotypes and whatnot. It's it's crazy good. Mm. The story is really, yeah, it's really intelligent. Like, you don't feel, re- like, when, when what is, things happen, it's not just shock for shock's sake. Like, things make sense. You're like, oh, my God, I never expected that, but how could I not see that coming? Things like that, so. Dude, have you, yeah, have shock you guys, factor uh, is definitely not out the window. Have you, have you Oh, guys, my uh, God, Hill about... went down hard. Wow. See if Rara gets it here. Oh, 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 it was oh, right. oh shit. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Oh, that's oh, it. That's oh my God. I lost that. That's all she oh, wrote, oh, Joe. Wow. You got it. Knockout. Knockout. No, I didn't You're get right. it. I, I picked Hill. Oh, you picked Hill? I th- oh, Never I, bet on the black man. I thought man you were show. betting on Hill. Like Jake, Jake hey, got look, it uh, with a knockout. Yeah, Jake, you oh, got, I it. got it. And I was backwards. I thought I had Hill. I had Pereira. No, All right, you cool. got it right. I won. Woohoo! I thought I lost. No, yeah, you crushed it. I <laughs> oh, knew. I was worried. Died. Bullfrog is Ooh, a moron. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sugar me, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Sasha Banks Mercedes would be my girlfriend? Don't tell her I listen to Joe Cronin. Thank you, Doomed. We love you, Doomed. Um, and I will have some stuff on my Star Trek channel for you. Um, no, you know, I don't think... Oh, yeah. I don't think... Not- yeah. Uh, well, not if you're white. I think she hates no. white people, so... She likes I don't think Asians. Sasha Banks would be She's hanging out with Asian you. guy. She's married to that. She's like the most. destroyed that easy, though. I thought Pereira was going to win it yet? backwards. I acknowledge Novanex. Thank you for acknowledging Novanex. He made a great thumbnail tonight. And yes, Tommy is also here. We've had Trump here. Tommy's here. Great thumbnail. Randy Viper, thank you so much, Randy Viper. You're a beast. What a great thank ending. You, Randy, Always been on a Brazilian. And it went late, too. That's a great point. I mean, usually the main event is at midnight, you know? So. Yeah, he'll, he'll get that soft look a little bit, you know? Midnight to 1230, anyways. Shout out to oh, Gargoyle Wrestling yeah, Show. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never oh, a oh, yeah. time have I ever felt but I am, but I am, until last Sunday he would be, that JJ my security, my safety, so. my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Brett Double versus J. Sean rematch at WrestleMania XL1. How great would it be if we oh, could have gotten God. a Brett Sean rematch anywhere? That would have been so great. But do you remember how bad the Brett match was at Mania against Vince? Oh yeah, no, though that was terrible. What was worse though, that or the Michael Cole Jerry Lawler match? Which one did you hate more? I honestly think the Brett one's worse. I do think the Brett one is worse. Having his family come in, it makes everything look stupid. It's cheap, and there's no wrestling at yeah. all because Brett couldn't do anything that involved Shit wrestling. Shit bomb, right? With his wrestling his news insurance. now is on the Mount Rushmore of clickbait YouTube site. I hate to say it, but they are nearing one M subs. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, Haystacks, yeah. Monet. We're trying to figure out that Chris Benoit AI video is still out there. I guess it might have gotten That's taken crazy. down. Yeah, um, it's Lords of London that had the insurance plan, so wait, you know, fucking an Brett AI couldn't video do anything. Yeah, you know what was, we should do not... is, you know. Hey, is that is that is that other one real then? If there's AI with Chris Benoit and Cody, is that other one real with John Moxley and him? I doubt it. It's probably all fake. I don't know. That's the problem. We don't know anymore. Like you can sometimes tell when things are edited in, but now and again, I've seen things and I'm like, "There's no way that's real," and then it turns I out to be real. Send me the photo. 
Yeah, I mean, it could be real, but I had people editing in into Mania, and they were like, oh, see, there he was. And I'm like, it, it looks real. But... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tom Brady Viper dropping the $7. Yeah. Best things about phone booth, that's what Superman used to fucking change the servers. Joe Cronin is the best show on YouTube.com, is he not? He gets President Trump on his shows with no notice who else can say that. He manages to bring back Tommy North Carolina and the bullfeg with the click of his finger. Do me a favor and donate to Joe. Thank you, Randy Viper. Appreciate the seven bucks, man. And yeah, hopefully we get some more help tonight and some more donos, but we'll find out. We'll have some fun here tonight, no doubt about it. It's one thirty three in the morning, right? Thank you, Randy. Hey, so did did he uh, did he retain or was he and new? He retained. Oh, okay. Oh my God! They're still doing the BMF title. Super chat party. Bad motherfucker. Biden is worse than Priest Diddy. I guarantee those unemployment numbers are fabricated. I've never seen more ah. people unemployed in my life. Well, the the biggest thing about unemployment rate is forget unemployment rate. Nowadays, you need two jobs to succeed. So the employment rate is actually um, the the numbers are inflated because everyone's working double jobs and they're counting the job. I think so. That's interesting. Hey, you're I mean, you're right, Joe. You're, you're absolutely right, Joe. I'm going to have to jump on chat this issue. Party. Right? Thank oh, you, baby. Sorry, sorry. Sup, Joe and Jake? Been a long a time. Me, how are you? Oh my God, Beely! Holy shit! Oh, Beely? wow, damn, Beely. Beely. Holy shit. Damn. That's an old school. Joe, it, when you said payphone and you sing that song, it always reminds me of standing outside a broken phone booth with money in my hand, the Primitive Radio God song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every time. I've been down harder, babe. Yeah. Remember their other song? Um, Ever since the day we yeah. had... That was huge Damn, in the summer shit, of 98, 97. Jake better not be telling like Hogan that. stories, brother. Smiley face. Yeah, don't let Jake tell those Hogan <laughs> stories, Alex Oli. No doubt about oh, it. I was rambling on before, Joe. The time I got laid by that guy in college that I said was a girl before. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned. Please. Yeah, I mean, it was Wait, all good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, dude, I, I miss those. How big, um, how big was that clip? It was, a, it was a frat party, and it was seven inches. When I was... Damn. Uh, God, well, I'm trying to think of how old I was. Um, so me suck it, trying to get your heart out. With, were you listening to Diddy Main in the background? Event, you all got. I'll be watching you. Um, we actually saw this. We saw this. <laughs> what do we have? Uh, I got. <laughs> well, no, we were actually. To be honest, I read this JJ Dono earlier. I saw it in the chat, yeah. super chat, and we all gave our picks at that point, and I was, I was wrong, very wrong. So yeah, we were, it was kind of a give or take, though, because I mean, could have ended either way. What? I definitely said that Alex Pajeda was about to beat the shit out of this man. 100%. You nailed it. You got it right. Super chat party. I was, JJ. Uh... Jake, Dork was the best part of 450. He was so good staying in character. It's just the character that triggered the fuck out of me. But yeah, he was great about staying in it and to keep quoting all the scripture. And he had great quotes to pull out too. So he definitely rehearsed some things. I give him so much oh, credit. Yeah, he didn't. I hey, just have such a I'm problem gonna, with religion that I was uh, a, a bum bastard afterwards. I'm gonna say what he did. Can't believe it was. He fucking he had he had the Bible online and he just typed in a few words in the search and he fucking says I'm gonna go with this yeah. quote. Well, this yeah, quote like goes blah blah blah. He was sometimes he said some obscure things. And I was like, dude, I can sleep to your facade. Damn it! And <laughs> I, I, that's why I told him I like you better drunk. The fuck he are read you doing? the ancient scripture. <laughs> now I'm in the closet. You want to know a little bit bit back uh, freaking locker room scene between me and Dork when it comes to that gimmick? Ooh. Better in jail. It was originally going to be with a Cody Rhodes type gimmick. <laughs> Grok, what? Grok is finally working for me, by the way. I can finally ask Ooh, Grok. Oh, shit. Me. You can finally ask questions. What do you mean? You listen listen <laughs> to this. Done? Listen to this. Ready? Ready? Listen to this. I, I, I typed into Grok. Mm -hmm. I typed in, I said, Grok, mm. um, Joe, jo Joe Cronin show. Um, tell me what you think about Joe Cronin show. 
And Grok on Twitter said, based on the context provided, it seems that the Joe Cronin Show wrestling podcast has garnered mixed reactions among wrestling fans and those in the wrestling media community. Some individuals such as these have expressed negative sentiments towards Joe Cronin, criticizing him for tearing others down and questioning his unique contributions to the wrestling media landscape. On, oh, the, other, on the other hand, other people... Um, have shared more positive or neutral comments about the podcast's content and the enjoyment derived from it. Given this information, it appears that the opinions of Joe Cronin show wrestling podcasts vary, with some individuals disliking Joe Cronin and his approach, while others may appreciate the content or find it enjoyment in it in the show's discussions. That's literally what Grok. Damn. I that asked Grok. Tell it me just what says that's, everything that's that so happened. Well written. That is full coverage. What the Damn. fuck is Grok? It's the new AI thing on fucking. Wrong. Yeah, it's the other AI. <laughs> yeah, on like t- bro, on Twitter. That <laughs> is crazy, dude. What the hell? Can hey, I... I'm not gonna lie, you got it spot on though. Now, I mean, Grok- that's pretty good. The... That is pretty good. Let's. Yeah. What What do you? Th- what do people think of Leah, Joe Cronin show's wife? Let's uh, let's see if Grok and will tell us about Leah, if we can even figure that out. He has a okay. nice butt, Joe. Okay, so when I ask, <laughs> wait, what'd you say, Tommy? I didn't say nothing. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so when when you ask Grok about Leah, based on the available information, opinions on Leah Cronin, wife of Joe Cronin. They're mixed. Some individuals express admiration for her, while others have concerns or criticisms. This this Twitter user commented on the intimidating presence of well-endowed women in professional environment, which may suggest an appreciation for Leah's appearance or personality. What the fuck? On the other hand, some users present strong stance against unrelated individuals, uh, possibly indicating passionate assertiveness to the woman. What? Overall, the limited information provided does not offer a comprehensive view of a public opinion of Joe Cronin's wife, Leah, but it does suggest that she's seen as a notable figure in the context of his show. So that's crazy. So there's so little information on Leah, which is probably a good thing, that Grok really can't come to a good, you know, uh, we should, I, let's ask it about Jake, right? Let's ask about Jake. I, I, I was going to say, ask about Jake, ask about me, ask about Jesse. State Farm. You should ask him about me. You're right. I should ask them about you. Please Let's, ask Grok. Please. Let's ask Grok Please. about Jake DeMarco. Okay. Here we go. Based on the information, it appears that Jake DeMarco is a co-host on The Joe Cronin Show, a platform dedicated to WWE wrestling discussions, reviews, and radio. However, specific opinions and details about Jake DeMarco's contributions to the show or his interactions with Joe and the audience are not provided in the snippets shared. Therefore, I cannot provide a comprehensive assessment of his role or the public's perception of him as a co-host. Okay, so you can't get anything on him. So it really had something on me because enough people are speaking Dude, about me all the time. that I'm may, try, I don't have it makes fucking it, Twitter. It makes God damn it, I can't sign into this shit. This is fascinating. I'm trying to fucking this is trying to see what it says about me. Very interesting. About the beef. Probably has a lot on me. <laughs> what do you think about the beef between <laughs> Ryback and Joe Cronin show? I'm going to ask Grok what he thinks oh, about the, no. the oh, beef no, Ryback. between Ryback and Joe Cronin show. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Grok spitting it out. Based on the information provided, it appears that there's a significant level of animosity between Ryback and the Joe Cronin show. It seems to have engaged oh, in, in Ryback seems to have engaged in an unhinged rant directed at Booker T and Busted Open Radio, which was highlighted by Joe Cronin um, on his Twitter. Booker T, in response to Ryback, challenged him to a fight. Um, furthermore, the mention of beef between Ryback and the Joe Cronin show suggests that there might be a history of conflict and disagreement between them, possibly involving other individuals or issues within the wrestling community. Um, Given the information available, it is clear that there is a high level of tension and disagreement between Ryback and Joe Cronin show, which seems to be a part of a larger conversation or conflict within the wrestling community. (laughs) Bro. I mean, you literally talked about it today. I know. It's come up. 
<laughs> it, it's just that's just pretty funny, bro. It's like there's some funny shit that you can do with Grok, bro. I don't have a Twitter. Bra- I figured out. Oh my god, brother! Thank you very much. We love you. Oh, it's the Jake donation. Guess who's back? Jake is back. Guess who's back? Jake is back. Grab your banana, peel it down, and pretend it's a nut sack and lick it up because oh. Jake is back. Yeah, it's stay sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Stay sexy. Sexy, sexy. You gotta stay sexy. You're sexy. Stay sexy. Oh my god, brother Jake. My dog's name is also Milo. Isn't that some goddamn shit? Now grab a banana, peel it back, and pretend it's a nutsack because Jake is back. Jake is back. Oh my god, bro. We've got to tell Jake. Oh my god, Jake just stepped away for a second. Boner, I will tell him in a minute. No, I heard it. Boner, fuck yeah, baby. Oh, I'm okay. listening. I'm here. Oh, shit. You don't have to rush back. Oh, I would have told him, but he's back, Boner. Oh, you no, I, I'm listening. Jake I'm is trying back. to take the dog out, but yeah, hell yeah. You got the same dog. I know. He's rocking the same name, too. Milo. Hell you yeah. Say that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Same His dog name is Milo Walter Damn. DeMarco, like Did Walter you... White, because he's a white dog. Milo no. Yiannopoulos? No. Close, though. You put a fucking last name on your dog? Yeah, yeah DeMarco. Damn. Gonna have the same last name, but it's it's I would just Milo, call my dogs like stupid ass names like Milo Walmart Walter or... DeMarco. It was Walter after Walter White, because he's a white dog. Good. Milo Walter. Good. Don't start. You got Quiet. a cracker dog? We we I do, I guess, and he's a little racist too. He barks at my black neighbor all the time. Oh. They do oh, that. It's like a fucking a good goes, dog he goes after Jeff help. constantly. Hear him? Probably one that. of the, the raccoons outside right now. Yeah, it's definitely a coon outside. Minus the rah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Tom. God damn it, Tommy. What the hell? Oh, my God, brother. Oh, oh my God. Brother. <laughs> so I guess you don't want to fucking see what it's about me? Mm. There's no information on you, Joe. Right. It just It just says nothing. It just says cancer. Let me ask it how old I am and find out if it knows. Says it's gonna. Your birthday's coming up. That'll be weird if it knows how old I am. How old is Joe Cronin from the Joe Cronin Show? I'm sorry, but like the information Brock provided has no is not included. about me or you know mo- most of it. Leah, nobody, you know. Milo, you wanted to come lay on me now. You're uh, whatever. I don't have that shit. Fuck. Fuck AI. It. You know how, AI. how racist AI is. AI is the most racist thing I've ever seen. You type in Mexican with long hair. And, and you type in George <laughs> Washington and it brings up a black guy. Yeah. You type in anything that's uh, with the race in it and it fucking gives you I, like a Nazi or something. I know I was probably supposed to wait, but I took that last shot at the Jake Stay Sexy donation. So now I'm like seven in. Yeah. So we're good. Yep, and I sent a video of me smoking the bong a minute ago. Be Jeff. careful, Jake. You end up in rehab like Dort with Dort. Uh, I don't need rehab. That's for quitters. Yep. I take my addictions uh, straightforward. I tackle them on one detox at a time. He takes a dick. One, yeah. One, yeah, that's what one I said. One detox at a time. That's right. That's how oh, you guys, work. I got something crazy to share with you really quickly. Um, Is it my I- dick? No, dude. Yeah, it's so it. I have another AI-generated thing that I signed up for that I'm a part of. Actually, these guys reached out to me to whatever. And, dude, it's not necessarily the thing. It's not necessarily the video that's oh, impressive. Oh, my wife's dick. No, what's impressive about this, guys, is I typed in a couple of sentences. The video was done and rendered in 20 seconds. I asked AI, the AI video generator. I said, tell me, show me a show me a." a a wrestling what would happen if a wrestling ring was on fire wrestles wrestlers wrestled while a ring was on fire that's all i said and in 30 seconds the video was done and it crazy. dude it was it so crazy quick. that's all i wrote look at this think about how long it takes to render a video already oh my god oh yeah 
Oh no no that's not it. Hold on a second. Hold hold the fucking phone. Wait a that's minute. That's the aftermath. No, like oh here it is. I'm sorry. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if the wrestling ring was set ablaze? Imagine the thrill, the intensity, the adrenaline rush. Today, we delve into the hypothetical world of fire wrestling. What? Think back to the early days of wrestling, where the sport was a raw, brutal, you and no holds barred spectacle. It was a time when the wrestling ring was a symbol of pure combat, a place where warriors clashed in epic battles. Over the years, the wrestling ring has seen countless matches, rivalries, and unforgettable moments. But what if we add an element of fire to this mix? Picture this, a wrestling ring encircled by flames. The wrestlers, like gladiators, locked in a heated battle, not just against each other, but against the fiery elements as well. The stakes are higher, the danger is real, and the thrill is unparalleled. The heat intensifies the match, adding a new <laughs> layer of complexity to the combat. Every move, every slam, every hold becomes a dance with danger. The fire not only illuminates the ring, but also the raw courage of the wrestlers. Now, imagine the strategies that would come into play. Wrestlers would need to be mindful of their surroundings more than ever. They would have to balance their focus between their opponent and the encroaching flames. Every step, every leap, every fall could mean the difference between victory and defeat. And death. But let's right. not forget the spectators. The sight of their favorite wrestlers battling amidst the flames would surely be an unforgettable spectacle. The roar of the crowd would be as fierce as the crackling of the flames. <laughs> the atmosphere would be electrifying, making each match an event to remember. In this world of fire wrestling, the wrestling ring transforms into an arena of survival. It's not just about strength or skill, it's about resilience, courage, and the will to overcome the odds. To summarize, fire wrestling would take the sport to a whole new level of intensity. It would redefine the meaning of the wrestling ring, making it a battleground where not just physical prowess, but mental strength and determination are tested. Fire wrestling might be a hypothetical concept, but it surely ignites the imagination, doesn't it? So the next time you watch a wrestling match, think about the fiery possibilities. Because in the world of wrestling, the ring is not just a stage, it's a battleground. And when you add fire to the mix, it becomes a spectacle like no other. And that, dear listeners, is the fascinating world of fire wrestling. A world where the wrestling ring is ablaze, where every match is a dance with danger. And where the thrill of the fight Again? is as blazing as the flames he themselves. Just, bro, you know this is AI because it never gets anywhere. It just talks yeah, he just it. he's just rattling off like stuff, but you you keep listening. Yeah. It's like and then the and then the the cold was as frozen on your Marco's fingertips. He's drunk and he could fucking get to A to B. This guy's just like uh, sounds like a politician. Gonna happen. It sounds like a Something politician. Trump, <laughs> dude. But look, dude, that video. Well, now the video wasn't the best because the videos didn't quite work out that well, but the audio was very good. Um, and you know, if I, I could just make Sound videos like, like that, Planet Earth. Yeah, like the gazelle went into the forest where it found it a tree. It fucked a fucking wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I should have been more specific and said like, and get angry at the end of the story, <laughs> like, and see what it does. And you know what? I want to see people murdered in the fire, and it just starts screaming. I don't know. Do it, it again. Weird. You said it only took thirty seconds. Yeah, I could do a whole bunch of those, but that's I should start a whole. It's like I just spoke to the chat party. <laughs> that's right, Julio Guzman. Are you sure it wasn't Franco Colombo you met, Jake? Maybe Jake met Franco Colombo. Yeah, it could be what it is, uh, Julio Guzman. I'll ask him when he gets back. Like He's Franco Colombo. I don't know. You never know. And yes, I can get from point A to B. You're right. Yes, you can. Uh, what? Who the fuck is Franco Colombo? Um, no, weightlifter. I thought he said James DeFranco. The fuck at first. Weightlifter, like New subscriber. subscriber. You fucking mark. Oh. Meadowlark. Paul, yeah, thank you for the donation. Said, I probably met him instead of Schwarzenegger. Or thank you for yeah, subbing to the channel, man. I appreciate that. Remember when Rocky got ripped for Rocky Three? How much how much ripped he looked between Rocky Two and Rocky Three? That was the guy who like trying to Super chat. Oh. Joe Jack me off. Okay. All right, JJ. Mm. There you go. That, that just that's happened. A one, a two dollar jack off. Two dollar jack off. Me. That's how quick it is. When you only give two bucks, that's how quick it is. 
man. I had a delicious. Two that should be a two hundred dollar jack. I got a pee. Right there. If it's that quick. I mean, you know how? In like thirty seconds, if you can. Super chat party. Super chat. All right, I'm seven shots. Joe, why didn't the WWF do something with screaming Norman Smiley? Smiley face. I don't know why they haven't done stuff with him before when he was the trainer and doing stuff with them, Richard Slater. Um, they could have done stuff with Norman Smiley all the time, man. They really could have. Rich, Richard, thank you for the four ninety nine, man. Isn't Norman Smiley still a? Isn't he still training? Isn't he still working backstage somewhere? Yeah, I thought so. Super chat party. I was waiting on Gargots to tell us a CGI story on how he dropped people in a bar fight. Let's hear it, Gargi. We okay. want to hear it way. Let's hear it. Randy Viper uh, wants the AI Gargi story. Bar fight. Okay. About two years <laughs> ago, I went to a bar and they fucking roofied the they wrong you. person. And uh, I ended up getting in a fight with the guy who did it because I knew what the fuck he was doing. He was doing it to the chick next to me. And I got the fucking shit. And uh, the guy tackled me. And when he tackled me, uh, spear style, I got him you in a his finger headlock. up your ass? Yeah. Well, I got him in a headlock. And then he hit his head on the fucking, on the, on the curb that you park at. Oh, parking no. Parking curb. Yeah. And then he knocked you out. You killed him. And then his... And then his friend fucking uh, started kicking my ass. But uh, I got Yeah, because his friend's freaking went... out because you just killed his buddy. Well, <laughs> and no, I, that, parking, that parking block fucking hurt my back. I was fucking bruised forever. But uh, I, I ended up w going back in the fucking bar, and all I wanted to do was get my fucking my card. And they stole my card, so I had to cancel my fucking uh, my, my, my whole bank account and put it on hold. I called Jesse that night to help me out get home, and uh, he wasn't. He, uh, I don't think he was. He didn't answer at all, so I ended up waiting for a bus, and then got home on the bus like at five in the morning. And I was fucked up because of that roofie. Oh, but I, I bet. figured it out what was going on because you always look at your fucking. At least you had the tolerance to survive right. through it. Some people are fucked; they can't breathe. Mm. I knew exactly what happened right when I fucking got it. And I just, I put it down. So, and I fucking got in a fight with the bar. But that, that's a CGI story. That's, that's better than any AI story. And then, and then he got lost in the bar. He couldn't find his way out. He had to fight his way out. Like John claude Van Damme in any fucking bar scene that he's in. I remember we were in college, and this girl was like, this guy's following me. I want a new drink. I left my drink when I went to the bathroom, and I don't trust it. And her drink was barely, like, two sips gone. And the bartender's like, no, I'm not getting you a new one. You're just trying to get another drink, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, whatever, yeah. I'm leaving. And he's like, no, you can't leave. you got to pay your tab. She's like, I'm not paying for a drink I didn't drink. And they kept arguing. And another girl there had tester strips. And she's like, let me put it in. And come to find out there was a, a, something in her drink. And then they called the cops and turned into this whole big thing. But it's a good thing she didn't fucking drink it. Go figure. When she went the, to the bathroom, the, somebody slipped something in it. The the craziest thing is that uh, this fucking bar that I went to ended up being on the news, or not on the news, like social media and then the news, because social media was fucking boosting it up, saying that there was a bartender that's there that roofies people. And yeah, it was him, and it turned out to be the owner as well. There was a college bar in Providence when I was at Johnson & Wales that had that issue, too. Yeah, dude, it's fucking... All the young girls would come in, and he would hire, like, 17 or 18-year-old girls to be the shot girls. So they'd have to go around and drink shots while they go ahead. And he would accidentally, you know, slip something into a couple of the shots so the girls would get fucked up, and he would try and take advantage of them. It was awful. Why are they taking shots? Because people would buy them shots as well. They would have like a tray of 50 and a bunch of the guys would be like, oh, I'll, I'll do one with you here. You know, it's like $2 a shot kind of idea. So they keep downing them. But they had to drink yeah. theirs from a certain side and that side always had at least one or two spike drinks. I got you. Yep. He would prep the trays. So, But the trays had like anywhere from 50 to 100 neon glow-in-the-dark fucking shots. 
It was like two to five dollars, depending on if it was a large or extra large. Yeah, two, like a dollar fifty down here, dollar, dollar. It was, it was like three five. shots in one for the large. So you were getting a triple shot. It was like three Whoa. different liquors in one, and usually it was something that tasted good, so it wasn't like a terrible. Slut or something. Something like that, you know. It'd be like a. Oh, uh, Yankee, my wanky. The cold the cranberry mix, food. you know, where they do like a dash of cranberry juice with like fucking triple sec vodka and gin, you know, shit like that. It, it would be all like all I mixed. You said and... the cold ground mix. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get the coffee grounds in there. Oh god. Uh no, but they, but but it, if you wanted like a regular mixed drink, a small like one single mixed drink was like twenty two dollars at some of these places. It was nuts. That's why I never wanted to go to the bar. I'm like, I could spend so, twenty dollars for a bottle and sit in my dorm room and play Half Life, you know? Fuck you guys. I, I go, I go to bars. I'll like get laid when everybody life. comes home, all fucked up. I don't need to go hunting. I just get to stay home and yeah. reel in the so, fish. So, Jake, Jake, I, I when are go you to gonna these bars that have like, uh, it's it's half off uh, for people that, uh, uh, you know, like. A, People that work at a certain place, like industry bars, that's where I go to. Industry bars. I get you. So you you instead of um, I, I see people all the time to get like four shots. They're like thirty two dollars. I go, what the fuck? That shit was like seven dollars on my tab for four shots. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Mm -hmm. So well, they give you more than half off. So I go to those bars and meet a lot of. Meet a lot of ladies. Mohegan Sun, you figure would be outrageous, but it was not bad at all. It was really not that expensive. I was shocked because when I went downstairs, I had no idea we were going to be in the front like that. So when we got taken to our seats, I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, you guys want a drink? So I went to go grab Danny and her boyfriend a drink, and it was fucking... They had, like, a private bar downstairs. So you didn't have to wait with any of the peons in line upstairs. So I was like, oh, look at us being rich. So you go to the bar, and I'm like, oh, mixed drink is $8? I'm like, that's not bad at all. And it was like a pretty good cup. Beer was like yeah. 6 Well, when we went to, uh, I, I've been trying to do as much as I can with her before brain surgery. So when we went to Suicide Boys Wait, are you in giving Boston, your kid fucking beer now? No. No, she won't drink. <laughs> no. No, like, hell but Jake, yeah. when are you going to? Hell yeah. You, you owe me something to eat, Jake. I'll, I'll pass over whatever you want, baby. You want some Denny's? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking Denny's or maybe Bunny Hop or IHOP or whatever. You, you should called. go ahead and get Denny's maybe. and then you can pick up the bacon from McDonald's again. Th that that does sound like a delicacy. Yeah, I, I give my kid weed, not liquor. Out of it. You know, that's about it, Gargots. I give my kid weed, not liquor. But she's been smoking all my weed lately, oh, so it yeah. sucks. Yeah, you, you've, been, you've been saying that uh, about the weed shit, and it helped her tremendously. Yeah, well, That's they kept good. wanting to put her on. She was in immense pain, and they wanted to put her on fucking oxycodone. And I'm like, you're not putting her on Percocet oh, for a short-term no, thing. No. And I'm like, you're not going to make her into an addict because I said, and I dealt with it for so long myself, and I became dependent on it. It's awful. And the pain meds do nothing but mask the pain. And I'm like, so when she has terrible vomiting spells and headaches, she smokes a little bit, she's good to go. I say, what time is it? She goes, what? I'm like, it's bong o'clock. I mean, That's what time it is. Let's go. I mean, shit. When I fucking had my shit going, all I did was smoke weed. And I, I told, I told, so I was living back in family because there's no way I could fucking pay for shit. So I just told them, hey, I'm gonna smoke a lot of weed in my room. I'm sorry. They're like, we go to we go to Suicide Boys, Garguts, and this will, will coincide with your, you know, whatever yeah. staying in the room. I went to guest services before you can even go upstairs and go through anything. I took us to guest services. Didn't have tickets. Yeah. So I told the lady there, hey, you know, this is my issue. I'm sick. I was trying to get my daughter better seats. All we see available is way up in the balcony. Is there any way I can buy upgrades from you folks? And it was these three older ladies in their, like, 50s or 60s at the desk. Like, they don't fit in with any of the crowd for Suicide Boys. It's just, it's just goth girls in tight-ass fucking fishnet clothing and guys in hoodies everywhere. Well, there was a couple of whales that... I couldn't help but laugh at, but you know, it was a sight to see. You know, the whales wearing fishnet leave a lot to be uh, not desired because it, it's nothing to the imagination. But besides that, it was fun. <clears throat> so I told Danny, I'm like, watch this. So when you go to guest services, I'm like, can I purchase ticket upgrades from you guys? Because all we see available is all the way in the nosebleeds. 
And she's like, hold on. I'm like, yeah, we're doing it. And it was for Danny's birthday. It was legitimately her birthday. So I wasn't bullshitting. I'm like, oh, it's for her birthday. That's why we're here. And the ladies are like, oh, really? They're like, hold on a second. So they go in the back. We wait like five minutes just standing there. I'm like, I bet you they're not coming back. All of a sudden, the two of them come back. And I'm expecting. They got I, it for you? Well, I, I had asked to pay for tickets. So I'm like, all right, let's see. I was like, how much? She was like, no, don't worry about it. Have a good birthday. So she slides us the tickets. And I was like, oh, my God. So we got right before the floor. We got those private box seats because it's in Boston. So right where they have the, uh, the, like, the bench area for the basketball state like seats like there that's where we were in seats on our armrests they have qr codes you scan it and then they bring you drinks from the bar there right to your seat like that's how private these boxes were it was crazy but they went ahead and they gave us those seat upgrades for free so i was fucking stoked danny was out of her mind happy to be that close so that was pretty cool but anytime you go to head joe's not here i would let him talk Anytime you go ahead and go to a concert, though, and you, you got shit seats, go to guest services and give them a sob story. It's always worth it. Hey, Jake, I got a question. Yes, sir. Are you familiar with an antibiotic by the name of azithromycin or something like that? Azithromycin? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that one. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've taken that antibiotic. Uh, I had a really bad bacterial infection in my neck oh, and no. my lymph node. Mm -hmm. And um, I took it back in December. I was, like, really sick. However, my stomach has not been the same since then, so I'm kind of a little worried and scared because I feel like currently right now I am I have symptoms of IBS where I have, like, a lot of stomach acid and I'm always in the toilet all the time, so I'm kind of a little frightened. Hey, I got the same shit, man. I got colitis. So. And I do a lot of gagging, too. <laughs> they said if it causes any it stomach was... pain, it's very rare. If it happens, it only, only happens when you're taking it, and that leads to something more severe, like a sign of liver damage or uh, deficiency. So it, it often doesn't come up. It says antibiotics wreck my gut. What to do next? It says you can go ahead and take a few things to fix it if you think your gut is out of whack because of the antibiotic. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna take something that's gonna damage your liver even more. Yeah, it says antibiotics have a long lasting reputation for being safe. They are, but they are prescribed for symptoms caused by viral conditions that are rarely affected to treat, like sore throats not caused by strep. So the consequence is your body can't fight off simpler infections and be reliant on the antibiotics. So that's a problem. And it says frequent use of antibiotics uh, can go ahead and can cause a condition like Crohn's disease or inflammatory bowel disease. So it can happen with the oh, antibiotics. Right. So I could it says it, IBS you, or... Yeah, you could have IBS or Crohn's because of it. It can cause severe cramping. It says to diversify your intake of fiber. So eat legumes, whole fruits, not juices. Eat vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower. Do not eat oh, root no. broccoli. It says uh, eat root veggies like beets, garlic, onions, and sweet potatoes. You can have cauliflower, squashes, and asparagus. Oatmeal, whole wheat, barley, nuts like peanuts, cashews, almonds, and walnuts, seeds. But you I'm need allergic as much... to nuts. <laughs> okay, well, at least you got no nuts on your chin, but you need as much fiber as you can. You and it says take up take a prebiotic if you can, so you don't disturb the gut's microbiome. Like Not a probiotic, a prebiotic. <laughs> They're like different the types of colitis. Because, dude, like colitis, you cannot eat anything with f fiber in it because it's going to make so, you. Yeah, that's the thing. Prebiotics are fibers, I believe, that for things we can't digest. And probiotics are for the enzymes, I thought, but maybe I'm off. And it's kind of funny, too. Like, I lacked a lot of fruit and veggies in my diet, but ever since I've been introducing, like, more fruit, like, every morning I eat a cup of raspberries and blackberries and a bit of grapes. That's I've been eating it now. With you mean insect jizz. <laughs> yeah, jizz. But, um, yeah, I just eat in the morning, and I feel like I feel good throughout the whole day, like, I just have to immediately use the restroom in the morning to make room, but after that, I I feel good. It's just sometimes That's when good. I eat like a little like fast food or something, my stomach's just completely fucked afterwards. And like I am completely fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the 
do a bunch of drugs and then be good. It could just be a residual thing from the antibiotic that doesn't last long. It made your gut push out of its normal biome, so every time you start to, you feel like you gotta go, it can cause more cramping, but it won't last. Ugh. Yeah, most definitely. Like, I don't get cramps. It's just weird. I feel like... You want a way to fix it? Like honest to God, anytime yes. you have gut issues, you drink uh, tea, straight, nothing in it, maybe honey, if you can't really tolerate it black. I hate tea, so it kills me. But in the what? morning, you drink one. I, I know. I hate the taste of tea. I you were not from the South. I love I'm, tea. I am not, so. I love I bet you I'm in North I England, love buddy. Soda. soda pop? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not a soda popper, but family mm -hmm. is, so yeah. I can say. No, honestly, yeah. Popper. I'm not a soda popper, but can't like go I got family that is. Can't go wrong with good... Can't go wrong with a good yerba buena. Mm. Yeah, really. A great tea. What the fuck is that? It's a great tea. Yeah, uh, but you go tea. ahead in the morning, you drink one full tea bag worth of eight ounce glass of hot tea, as hot as you can take it. Then the rest of the day, you only drink water. For dinner, you drink eight ounces of chicken soup broth. And then you drink more water. You repeat that for day two. Then the next morning, you wake up. You have a normal cup of coffee, you eat breakfast fine, and then you wait till dinner time to eat something small again, but that'll like clear out the basically detoxes your body from all the bullshit. So you're putting in liquids and you're still getting a little bit of fiber, protein, and nutrients from the from the broth and from the original shit. So you get a little bit of both. Yeah. But it, what, it'll what clear you, out your what system. Would you do? Would, would, would a hot toddy clear out your system? No, you gotta tea bag yourself first. Oh, uh, I'm down. <laughs> I mean, I thought he could heard, do it if heard, you get it. If you get it, you know, a little bit of a, well, like I mean, a like a hot apple cider. If Virgil could do it, I think I could do it. You could definitely do it. Yeah, I'm almost there. You know, I just gotta lose it, that little fucking rib in between me. But uh, yeah, I, I I didn't get to pick your brain at all, Gargoyles. But besides them embarrassingly showing the punk footage. I hated this week's dynamite, and I hate saying that too. Oh, but it, bro, it was I horrific. Am, I, am, I am wearing the fucking young book shirt, the fucking uh, Matt, Matt, uh, Nick and Maddie shirt. So I'm gonna say this: they've always been known to kill the business, and they are doing just that for heels. Yeah, you're not wrong. They, yeah, it's great. I fucking think it's great. Fuck it, like. Why not? Why not get all go all out on that shit? Tony Khan is they not needed, a booker. They needed they need a, a they needed a wait, what? What? What'd you say? TK needs a creative team. There's well, no here's the booker. thing. You Did start you off with he Adam had, Copeland it, and he he faces Penta for no reason. It's just an open challenge, so Penta accepts. So there's no you obviously know Edge isn't going to lose. There's no reason to even think Penta has a chance. And then all the bullshit that happened afterwards with him needing to be saved by a woman made him look even worse. Hook and Jericho and Shibata taking on, who was it? A go-go, Solo, Colorado, Taylor. They did, they did the same thing. They did the same thing with, uh, it kind of sounded like a Mark Merrill kind of uh, situation. Yeah. No where, kidding. Where, where Sable gets uh, power bombs, Sable bombs fucking Mark Merrill. Uh, and loses it, and it makes no sense because he's got he's got Stone Cold uh, on the on the uh, pay per view coming up. So you know WWF did shit in the Attitude Era that didn't yep. make any goddamn sense. A lot, but I feel the like they've learned from that. They know a lot of mistakes not to repeat. And the thing is, a few years ago, WWE was so unsuccessfully awful. I mean, everything was horrid. It got not even just with COVID. Before COVID, it For was really years. bad. And AEW fucking saved wrestling. Everybody was about it, and then now they just they just turn their backs on it like it's not. I'm just, they debuted with like, 1.4 million people watching. They had a thing, and then people were were so fed up with WWE that any alternative on a big stage, you know, TNA wasn't going to be able to recover the numbers that AEW could have, and they had you know almost a million and a half people to start off with. <laughs> that was you know two two point five you know, percent off of being just about close to raw. It's like, come on, you know, you can add another 250,000 fans and a quarter percent here and there, it goes up. Point being, though, it was like, uh, oh, my God, why are they doing this? All right, you didn't show the punk footage. All right, you would have been better off. You did, you look like fools. But then Mariah May and Anna Jay made no fucking sense. And all those spooky bullshit with, you know, fucking afterwards, I, I, whatever. 
I had said that it was gonna the punk footage is all gonna be a work into a match somehow. I thought so, and but it, it's not. It they didn't want to work into a match. Yeah, FTR and the Young Bucks. But I'm saying they yeah. could have done something originally. This would have been the hottest feud ever had they booked Punk and FTR taking on the Elite. You know, Kenny Omega back, and the Young back, Bucks. Back when oh it my happened, God! Like yeah, it would have been ago. huge with the original yeah. brawl out. Now, think about it. Will Ospreay has to cut a promo in front of Renee, who's still friends with Triple H, and talk about, oh, you only slept with the boss's daughter, <laughs> and Tony Khan, you know, is compelled to have me deliver Bro, some type of I response. He was so fucking irate, I could not understand half of what he was saying. And then he Mercedes that, that, is not wrestling. She's talking and doing nothing, Garguts. Absolutely nothing. She's not wrestling yep. she to double or fucking me. nothing. She's going yep. ahead. She's this month. She gets to see who wins the title, Willow or uh, fucking Spooky Bitch. And then if, if Willow obviously wins, which is what they're going for, you're going to have Willow take on Sasha. And who gives a shit? But she's not going to wrestle for another six weeks. Are you, You're paying her all this money to have her come out. She can't cut a promo. She can't talk on commentary. She's good in the ring. Just throw her the fuck in there. What are you doing? I think they're, they're, they're trying to pull away from her getting injured again. By these people that have not really wrestled her. Because there's no fucking training facility. She's got to fucking work up a match in the back with these people that she trusts. And I don't think Yeah, Julia Hart, by the there. way. That's who that's her name. Yeah, yeah it's Julia not Hart. it's not just that too. One of the main factors is with Sasha, Sasha's contract or whatever you want to call her now. Um, she just does. She just wants to get paid and do nothing. That's pretty much in her contract. Tony, that's Khan's what like, she's celebrating. Oh, yeah, Will Ospreay just... is pissed off at Triple H because of it, but she's celebrating it. Yeah, well, uh, Will Ospreay could kiss my ass because who gives a shit about Will Ospreay? I, I wait, don't, wait, for a fact. I, I'd probably rather I do Hollywood. Will Ospreay. I really like Will Ospreay. That motherfucker's a good talent. I don't care about a but guy named is, after a bird, that, okay? <laughs> but the thing is that uh, uh, fucking Triple H... Nah, Ospreay's a beast. did the shots first. Uh, Triple H made the shots first. And then he just responded with it. Why is everybody getting... Why does he have the heat? When he just responded to something that Triple H said. Oh, not like the other guy. Because it makes AEW look stupid and pathetic when they what do made stuff fucking like that. WWE like, oh, let's bully stupid, WWE right? again. Like, what's the point? You got to focus on making your product better for us Wait, to watch, what, not what, go what is, downhill. What, is w with what CM was Triple H? What was, Triple H was really butthurt that Will Ospreay didn't go. That's what it was. And that's why he fucking made that comment first. He shot the first jab. You're not going to fucking just let it fucking... Yeah, but the, but the show starts off with fucking Orange Cassidy taking on Alex Reynolds. And I'm like, oh, my God, here comes Johnny Hungry on the side. The best friends are broken up. And we got Johnny nothing out Hungry. of it. All we got was Cassidy talking about Trent. And then, you know, Trent came down and he was like, oh, I'm going to hit you. Then he doesn't. It's like, what the fuck was that? And then yeah. we had Julia Hart taking on Layla Hirsch, which was only three minutes Legit. long. Legitimately, three minutes. Three minutes, zero seconds. That's the exact count. Bell to be, the bell. She used to be the legit Layla Hurst. It's like, it has. Yeah, MMA she's a TBS background. champion, now, Julia Hart. And she only got three minutes in this yeah. match. Paul Turner looked like an idiot. And now, you know, we're like, oh, Hart's injured. That's what the issue is. Mm -hmm. She's injured. Well, then what the fuck are you doing? Why does she have the belt? And then we got Angela uh, Parker taking on Zack Knight. Who? No one gives a shit. Soraya's right. out there. Oh, it's my brother. Fuck you. We lost any faith in you months ago. Wait, so Angela Parker and fucking uh, Big uh, Daddy Magic Matt or whatever it's fucking called, they split up or are they still together? I, I don't know if they're still together. They were doing a thing together, but I, I don't know. It's weird. And then Zack Knight, obviously, that's Soraya's yeah. brother. You know, she slept with him first before Xavier Woods. Wait, that's his, that's her, oh, that is her yeah, brother. Yeah, that's her brother. Then Jay White takes on Matt Seidel. That sucked. Mm. It's like, what What are we doing here? We just saw Jay White and <laughs> well, Billy Gunn. Let's put it this way. Matt Seidel hasn't been good in a long time. A like, and then that was it. It was like, um, okay, that's a dynamite. You for AW, are you kidding me? He bought a goddamn moon, a moonsault. Yeah, four matches, 11 minutes, three minutes, three minutes, and, and eight minutes, and that's all you get. Yeah, that's it. Suck. And and what was the rest? Uh, nothing but uh, promos. Oh. 
uh, I'm just gonna say that what was uh, you know the the go home shows too with that with all that wrestling. There was like what like they didn't have any of the big matches? stars there. No, no one was. It wasn't Brian Danielson. It wasn't Osprey closing out the show. It was bullshit. There was nothing. It didn't feel important. No, at it was all. Not for WrestleMania for WrestleMania as well though. Oh, was WrestleMania was great. I thought they did a great. There was job. a lot of there was there was a whole hour promo of fucking Cody and goddamn the Rock. Oh, the Rock! It was like forty four minutes, one of the longest promos they've had, especially in the modern era. But I still was captivated to the oh. whole thing. I want to know what the Rock, you know, handed to Cody. I, I, I even when it was awkward, the, the belt exchange, it was still you know, fun to watch. I, it was much true? more interesting than anything on AEW, and that's oh, sad because I want to like them. Is this true that Dusty might have sold the Rock? An old Rolex, and just to pay for Cody's. Uh... Yes, yes. He okay. didn't sell it to the Rock. So... He pawned it. He pawned it off, so and they went and, and found then the it. pawn shop kept it. And then years later, they found out the pawn people still had it, so they bought it from them to give to Cody at WrestleMania. It was Bruce so Richard you... and everybody. Uh, Tony. Um, Nick Nick well, Khan Nick Khan Nick Khan and, Br- okay, and Bruce no, no. Richard. So that was yeah. the watch that they gave him that was something like and it, there was It was his dad's watch that he watch. his dad pawned so that his, him and his sister Cody and his sister there's... can go for acting school. See did did they say that for the WrestleMania one? Yeah. I didn't, yes. I didn't, I didn't read that one. Yeah. I just said that uh, I just uh You sound like you're okay, lost. Then what the fuck did what the fuck did he fucking give him then? A dildo? Oh, no, Nick. So you don't just, gotta open it up. So you were saying it's, it's a beat in the necklace. Dildo. Nick Khan and Cody said something tonight, but I didn't catch it yet. So Nick Khan and Bruce Pritchard went apparently and hunted down this watch, found the real watch, and gave it to him. Now whether it's the real one or not, that's the thing I haven't fully heard yet. If it's confirmed that they went and got him, like a, the exact. I think they got him a replica. Well, yeah, we don't know the real watch. They, apparently, it they're could, saying it was the real watch. It's the real they one. Is on what Twitter. they're saying. Yeah. Everybody was asking, is it a replica or the real, the real authentic one, the actual one? And apparently they hunted down the real one, whether they went apparently to the pawn shop. Apparently the band had some type of engraving on it, so that's how he knew it was that one. Yeah, whether they went to the pawn shop or they found the person that bought it from the pawn shop years ago. I don't know how they did it and what happened, but... They say the pawn shop never got rid of it. That's crazy. What a waste. They buy this they thing off him. Rick Harrison, they held on to it because they, they like Dusty. Pawn what? stars and shit. Damn. Apparently the pawn yeah, shop supposedly Rick held on to it because they so, like Dusty. I feel uh-huh. I feel like they gave him a watch that was something like his his father's, and then they gave him the real watch and didn't fucking have him reveal it. It's gonna be something like down the line. But well, uh, that's what I was getting off of. Oh, okay. You're speaking, oh Bimbo Baggins dropping seven dollars. Bimbo Baggins. Yeah, baby. When you when you donate, my dick gets hungry. My dick is hungry. Sorry. So I'm hearing people are already turning on that SJW donk fucker Cody Rhodes with booze and chants. I'm not surprised. I hope when WW3 starts Brie Larson suffers if she doesn't become a casualty. <laughs> I'm not sorry for this, by the way. Well, I agree with a lot wow. of that. I'll agree with a lot of that, but I don't think they're turning on Cody yet at all. Bimbo Baggins. Gotta be honest. The fuck you guys gets Brie Larson. She's got, she's sexy. Oh, Who fuck cares Brie about Larson. Her she hates no. white men. She might be sexy, but she's a yeah, cunt. Well, I mean, I, and, and? And, and word, what? You want to touch you. No. <laughs> Shit bomb. <laughs> ha ha, a donation. I wanted to write something great, but I'm brainless and don't have an opinion on anything. Mm-hmm. Please don't take away <laughs> my press pass. Oh, hi, Denise. <laughs> How you doing, Denise? Um, appreciate it. Jay Swiss, thank you. I thought this was Denise, but I guess it's Jay Swiss. That's hilarious. Thanks for becoming a $5 shit bum. Yeah, well, you know, she's probably married to a white man. That's the funny thing. All these people are. No, even... no, she's married to a DEI extraordinaire. It's a female oh, that yeah. identifies as male. Oh. She's yeah. married. Put it that way. At least she's living the gimmick, you know? That's the important thing there, I guess. So she's a transformer. You know, you know, you know when she was here <laughs> last year, I should have fucking, I should have got a video with her and be like, hey, Joe Cronin, yes, 
I'm your number one fan. Yeah, man. I had, something. I had to upgrade my mom's phone at Verizon, so I helped Super her out because she can't party. handle any of that shit. Joe, I would pay to see Ryback read Dr. Seuss books. Smile oh your God. face. Sam, I am. I will not eat the ham I am, Sam. Like to be crazy. Richard Slater, hell yeah. <laughs> That's a oh fire God, name, by the way. At... Yes, it is. So she went ahead Richard. and, you know, we, we got her the new phone, but, uh... Mm. The, the lady there that helped us, she was very, very nice, but she mm. was a lesbian. And at one okay. point in time, I was talking to her, and I'm like, yeah, my wife does the same thing. She doesn't back everything up right. And she's like, yeah, my wife. And, she, and then she looked at me like all quiet like. My wife. Thing. And she's like, my wife does the same, like all whispered like. And I'm like, it's all good here. And she was like, oh, I never know how to say things. I slip. But some customers are really rude about it. And I'm like, it's terrible that people are still that way. That you have to be uncomfortable to say anything, just to you know feel like you can't join in on the conversation. But I get it, being reserved. Mm. Yeah, People sometimes it's funny to think how much things have changed, and even in the last ten years. Yeah, sometimes I get okay. like I, I do a double take for a second, but then I'm like, oh yeah, like, yeah, no kidding. That's it, you know. I'm just like, oh yeah, okay. It happened all the time in service, you know. My wife's coming. Oh, ooh. and then you want it, you almost want to say hell yeah, and then you're like, oh, just pretend like it's normal, which it is. But it's don't just, give it in. Don't give into the hate. Oh, that do- that that last uh, donation remind me of. Uh, remember when Norm Macdonald talked? About, oh, I mean, he did a lot of OJ jokes, but he's like, mm. hey, it's like that Dr. Seuss, um, green eggs and ham, and OJ definitely did it. <laughs> And let's not forget, O.J. murdered a guy. <laughs> it's still funny how he released a book called If I Did It, but the family sued him and bought, like, got the rights to the book. Yeah. So then they released it, and it says, I did it. it but it still says, If I Did It, but the if is like super, super tiny. So it just looks like it said, I did it by O.J. Simpson. I did it. <laughs> well, we all know that Jason... Uh, For The Rock? ...was the one that did it. No, J- yeah, no Jason, uh, his, his, uh, his son is the one that did it. Mm-hmm. We all know that. What? Yeah, it's been. What you never seen this? That's a big theory. It seen... makes a lot of sense. The gloves, all of it. Yeah, like uh, the and knife. It was his was son, found... and he was covering for his son. Yeah, why? And that's it... why there's no evidence of him like ever doing anything. They're just a little bit. Of... They they found two droplets of blood in his fucking sock, in the inside of the sock, not on the outside. Why? So why? Like, how old was OJ's up... son? I think like twenty seven. The, the guy killed himself like in two thousand two, so yeah. he's never been indicted. He's not gonna be indicted. Never know, questioned. There's no way. Why yeah, would he? Why would he kill her? You all. think maybe he banged her and she t- said she was gonna tell him? Yeah. There's a lot of speculation little... that they've been hooking up for a while, and then all of a sudden he wanted to make it like more serious, and he was like, "Leave OJ. I want you to be with me." And she kept and saying, then like, she "No, no, Goldman no." There. Yeah, to as protection. And then Ron Goldman, Ron Goldman does the whole infamous his last words, "Hey, hey, hey," and then uh, that's when he fucking gets stabbed like thirty two times. <laughs> yeah, by 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 the weapon. Okay, so they found the weapon. Um, it turned out to be Jason Simpson's um, locker in like a, a storage unit, mm. and he had just left it there, and he had already died. So they were selling it off. And they sold it off, and this people they found his diary, and they found the the weapon. Yeah. And then it it made sense that because it was a brunt, uh, like it was like a weapon, like a it was like a a, a knife with like a little uh, protector around the corner. So yeah, you, it's like one of the safety the chef knives. Yeah. What yeah. the safety hell? Sh- and he's a sh- and he was a chef. If and you don't get cut. He on also it. he also he he had to go. He didn't clock out of work, so he had to go back to work. And everything was off, so he penciled himself in, uh, clocking out on this clock out card, instead of uh, doing the whole like electronic thing. Oh my so, god, bro! Uh, yep, he didn't punch out, so everything led to this guy being late, not at work. Oh my god, where'd he go? He had access. He had the tools. That's fucking mm-hmm. crazy, dude! I don't. How have I never heard this? Take a look around, oh. Hillary, and see. Oh yeah. Everyone loves me. Take a look oh, around. Jimmy. Everyone loves me. Oh, it's Everyone Mr. Trump. Everyone loves me. Took a long look. A long. Everyone loves the dawn. Take a look around Hillary. Everyone loves me. Oh 
my god, Denise Baby Eater. I would like to confess that I'm not the best person to get your wrestling information from. He's a poor Joe. Oh, Tommy. She's a I'm joking over here. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Tommy. What's wrong with you, Tommy? She only gets views because she only gets views because her titties are out, Joe. No. Oh. Oh, Hillary. Oh, my God, brother. <laughs> oh, my God, Denise exactly, Baby brother. Eater. What a crazy donation uh, that was. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Tell Sean to donate next. my baby arm, Joe. Oh, ugh, oh, my God, Tommy. Your baby arm? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, Jesus Joe. Christ. You're a sick person. Would you, You'd bang her, though. Come on. Well, yeah, for the clout on YouTube, Joe. Yeah, see, I knew it. No. Uh, so, are you gonna bet on the on the retard? I mean, Special Olympics. Oh my God! You can bet on the special. Word, Joe. Oh, I didn't yes, know that wasn't me. Special Olympics this year. I will. Oh my God! Yeah, there's two of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bet on the one who grunts the loudest. How about that? Yeah, I gotta check on Danny. I'll be right back. You got it. I I can't believe you're still here. <laughs> Jake was like, "I'll come by for a little bit tonight." He's still here, dude. He's he's having what a fun. legend, dude. So we love Jake. So I'm down. I'm down to bet on the Special Olympics. I think you can do it on DraftKings. Mm, you can I'm do it on Draft. I'm a, I'm not allowed to be on DraftKings because I made multiple accounts because I didn't like I lost my old password. And then I tried to get on my other password, and then like they were like, "What are you doing?" And they like locked all my things, so I have to like call them and then submit some all this info and shit. And it's like, oh my god, I really gotta do all this. Well, still makes you an account. Oh god damn it, I can't do it in Texas. Fuck. Really? Oh no, it says there's no legal in the United States. Really? That's what it says. Fuck. So we can't do it in the United States. Uh. Wait, so like in China, they're betting on our on our tards? Like they're like, oh, oh no, 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 that is true, and I know you love those Godzilla movies, so at least you'll be happy, you know? Yeah, That's all they're that fantastic, Joe. You really love them. Do you love all them right. because you're as fat as Godzilla, Tommy? Joe, I've been fat working Zilla. out No. You've been working out? Yeah. Well, Godzilla works out every once in a while. Eats yeah, a if, you want to talk, if you want to call someone fat, you can look at the bullfrog guy. I don't even know where he is. Walking haven't... to Wendy's and the fucking Denny's isn't working out. But I get it. I don't work there, Joe. Quit bringing it up. That was Gargots. Oh, I thought it was you, Joe. No, that was Gargots that said that. I didn't say that. Oh. I could bet on him on Special Olympics, right? At least. I I think he would be. I think he could qual. He would qualify for Special Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Just do like sumo or like a you know eating contest. All right, imagine that, a baby-eating contest in Hollywood. That probably goes on in those Satanistic Hollywood basements. Like, baby-eating uh, contests. It went in on P. Diddy's fucking basement. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what oh, they that do. that and fucking Marilyn Manson, too. But uh, I think Marilyn Manson got acquitted of everything, and he's going on tour now. Right. So Marilyn Manson fucking said, uh, there's going to be another guy that's coming up very soon that you'll see that it's going to take all the heat off of me. I was like, Marilyn Manson, didn't you fucking have a, a masochistic fucking video? Or what, he had a snuff film, right? He played a snuff film in, like, 2001 at his party. Yeah. And everybody walked out. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, weren't happy. That shit. Well, it's not as bad as the Neil Patrick Harris, Amy Winehouse cake after she died or whatever, the corpse of her. That's Wait, weird, bro. That. Somebody dies, and then a year later, and then at your party at Halloween, you have her corpse there, and you're eating her? That's weird. Wait, yeah. they made a whole cake out of yeah, her like bro, in, the, it, in the tub? They made an Amy Winehouse cake and they he had apologized. He had to apologize. It got out. Pictures of it got out and he apologized for that? it. Neil Patrick Harris. Doogie Hauser. NPA. The gay bing, guy. Bing, 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 bing. 
God yeah. Damn. Isn't that crazy? Like, what the fuck? That's weird. I always love that. Doogie Can you imagine if Tommy though? Tommy oh. died and then we all ate a Tommy cake like a couple weeks later and then blood ritual? Well, That'd be weird. Yeah. Sure, that would. That's too that much would cake. Be disgusting. It would be. I wouldn't do that to you. You know what I mean? Cake, 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 cake. I mean, maybe when your uh, mom dies, I do one of her and eat her pussy, but that's about it. You know? Bro. Um, <laughs> how, much, how, much, how, much, how much hair would Don't be leave coming Tommy. out of that ass? What? How much, how hair? much hair would be coming out of his ass? Oh, yeah. yeah no, that's we, Crystal. We, that's her uh, ass, man. Ass up. Well, that'd be Crystal. Uh, I'm hopping off the show. You guys have a good night. Oh, Tommy. It's uh, come on. It's uh, not that he, big a deal. It's okay. No, we're kidding you around. And the beaner he's just talking. talking. Smack about me. Just, I don't appreciate that. You just called him a yeah, beaner, well, you Tommy. You just yeah, called he me. deserves it. it. He keeps talking about my friend. Well, oh. now I'm going to talk about your grandfather. Oh, no. Oh, come on. The one that said the N-word? Why don't you go, why don't you go yeah. suck some alcohol out of hand sanitizer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. First of all, I'm surprised that you know what hand sanitizer is. It's made Second out of. of it's made out of. That's pretty good. Yeah, what it's made out of. That's pretty. That's good, Tommy. You've been studying your Google AI, <laughs> haven't you? That's that's a you you, you got well, me right there, told right? Me that joke. Tommy, we'll look you up on Grok later. Hey, you know what, Tommy? I want yeah, you to you fucking should. grab some. You have hand sanitizer. I want you to grab it. I want you to fucking put it in your hand, and then I want you to touch your balls with it. Touch what the, the tip fuck? of your dick with it. Yeah, I'll be thinking of your mom when I'm touching my balls. Jesus. You'll be thinking about having a fucking hospital after you do that. Just do it. I'll wear gloves. I want to hear you fucking yell. Safe. Jesus. You, gloves, gloves are going to work on that. That should be your new lubricant. Just fucking hand sanitizer for that shit. Spit on it, it too. Shot. I'm not too sure. Tommy, how fast would you say you climax when you pleasure yourself? <laughs> I, I don't do that, Joe. I don't believe that. Because he can't reach. Mom does it for him. I'm an edger, Joe. I'm not a gooner. <laughs> oh, my God. You that means he can barely get the dick out of his edge of his fucking belly. Tommy, I'm worried that that's giving you, you like got. pent up rage, and that's why you go into these rage fits and stuff because you don't release enough. Do you know what I mean? Like you're supposed to do that in well, nature. Yeah, because you and your cronies keep troll haters keep making fun of me. And it just <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Man, don't God! Don't make fun of him. Come on, he just bashed. You his... make fun of yourself. He just bashed his desk in, Tommy. Yeah. That was his desk. I thought he bashed yeah, his I'm fucking... Yeah, I'm in my studio tonight, Joe. Oh, that's beautiful. Special occasion. That's not your studio. Olympics. Where the fuck oh, is Nova? Oh, Nova. Nova. He broke oh, in. Yeah. Nova. He broke into your house oh, again. Oh. What is Gargut's talking about? The... Tommy's hey guys, been breaking into what Nova's happened? fucking... Tommy broke into your fucking place again. Did he leave banana oh, peels? Again. Oh, no, he stole your dildo too. He was fucking. He was. Really he like was. He's. He was probably fucking banana peels, again. Yeah. At least he's getting that potassium, but. Uh, yeah, I think I think Tommy needs to go and time out. Time Tommy out. Tommy yeah. out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, somebody. I come walking in my room. And somebody's banging on my desk. I'm like, what the hell happened? I thought it was a ghost or something. But it'd be nice to hear from your uncle. Where's your uncle at tonight? Probably in hell. Hey, uncle? You know, your your uncle, yeah. He likes snakes. Uncle, what are you talking about? He likes snakes. <laughs> oh, snake oh no! You, you got to talk to Joe about that. He knows him. <laughs> oh yeah. About Uncle Robert. Yeah, I fucking smoked this. I, I, no, no, fucking goddamn Jake the Snake! You fucking got. Damn, that's what I said. Butter. That's what Uncle he's Robert, talking about. Gargus, you're retarded, Gargus. You really are retarded. I gotta call you out, Gargus. <laughs> are you on fucking retard pills tonight, Gargus? No, I can't hear him. I don't you, know what's wrong with you your fucking literally... Discord. Every yeah, time do you do you Gargus you... know. do Gargus have... knows yeah. how to kill a bit. I'll tell you that. It's just internet. Check oh, your... I'm calling I'm, I'm... fuck yeah. I think I'll there's something wrong with your internet. 
killing the business. There's something wrong with your internet. Going Ukla. So you can't even formulate a sentence right now, Gargas. You're like, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, 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 See, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on a lag then. You, no, yeah, you're, no, your brain's on a lag. You're like Rastafi. You're like, I didn't glitch. Like, I, I mean, I glitched. Yeah. That's what it was. It was a glitch. I All love, right, I love you, Gargots. It's, I think it's the weed. I think the weed's made you, you know. I have not smoked retarded. the weed yet. Maybe that's I the problem right now. now. Okay, that's the issue. Something's up with you. I'm going to bet it's that. It's the Maybe weed. Yeah, probably. It could be the it could be the Discord too. It could be like kind of both, like all playing into Dude, it. So. I can never hear shit on Discord. Yeah, like Discord's like that. On yours for some reason. No, that's what I want to know. Do you have your shit on uh, priority? Where it's only priority to you, and I can't hear it. It dips down everybody else's volume. Maybe. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, if you're on priority, it reduces everyone else's volume. Really? Yeah. I think you that's might what be the on Discord priority. does. Well, I put myself on priority. I can turn that off. Yeah. Let me I see if so. Let me see if I'm on priority. Um, yeah, because it, it, it does Cron. that shit. It dips down everybody else's thing, and I I hear it, and I go. I am. Um, the fuck is I am not on priority, from what I can see. Um, it's uh, Gargut's side. I think Gargut's is on priority, probably. Somebody's on priority. Gargut's is, Gargut's is focused. I have him focused. It says on Gargut's. It says focused. It says unfocused. This person. <laughs> Huh. So Gargut's is actually focused on. Ah, uh, that's interesting. That is weird. I don't mean, know. I guess I'll just raise my volume all the way up to my blow my ears out. God damn. But it's well, weird because I, I remember I, how we'll be here sorry. afterwards, and I it's still the same thing, and then it's crazy. Anyways, keep weird. going. Keep going. We'll figure it out. No, oh yeah. By the way, I, Joe, remember how you were asking on how people with the whole inflation numbers, like people have to work two jobs and everything else. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Well, currently, right now, it's been tough here too. Like under Trump and everything else, I was making good money, really good money, with just one job. But now, my hours got cut. Now I have to get a second job, and now they're taking their yep. sweet time to hire me back, and it's just been a pain in the ass. And, yeah, yeah, We're all suffering out here, man. It, yeah, it's and it's but like you got to. I'm not a. One I'm a. You know, it's like I'm not a Trump crazy person. It's like it's like I, yeah. you know what I mean. And it's like I I can see though who can handle, you know, some shit better. I mean, are there some things I would like change? Yeah, but. Um, really sorry, I, I heard definitely... everything you guys were saying. I heard about you know slipping on banana peels and gargoyles and mm. everything else. So I'm glad I could stay in the loop. Tommy left. I heard as well. He he got a little upset. He was up. He was not. Tommy yeah. was not happy. Yeah, I sort of can't blame him. I mean, I'm yeah, me out. What are you gonna do? What I said about his uncle. Yeah, he super br- chat oh. party. Oh. If you could go back in time and bone one person, who would you bone? Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! It took him four. Seconds. I would go get the girl from Paramore in 2006 or seven. Oh, or the one that showed her tits on Twitter. She what? She she accidentally leaked a pic of her topless. Really? Let me Google time. Yeah, back in like 08. What? And she Super tweeted it out. And she deleted party. it, but people had it, and it wasn't a great photo or anything. But I'm a still. Joe Cronin, Yappy Tommy. Thank you, Randy Viper. It was a big thing because she accidentally tweeted it out and she was like pissed at people for looking at it. And I'm like, you tweeted it. What do you expect? <laughs> but not think... long after that, they took uh, Misery Business out of their set list because she didn't want a single line about somebody being a whore anymore. Yeah. She thought they were about that. So they went like super woke after her titties came out. Wow. So she tweeted this picture out by accident that she clearly must have been sexting to somebody. She was sexting to somebody. Yeah. It's her holding her tits. I can't find the picture though uncensored. Oh, yeah. oh there it is. Oh my God. Oh, I found it. Thank you. Richard Slater. What up, my skitter? Just oh, think, shit. Joe, in an alternate universe, WCW won the Monday Night Wars. 
right? In some alternate wow. universe, WCW won. And Vince McMahon went into making pornos. <laughs> Rigid Slater. Shitting on people. Bukaki. Anna Kendrick in that picture. What? Hey, the chick from Paramore. Looks like Anna Kendrick. Um, the- Haley Williams? Um, yeah. Man, she's... Uh, that's... That, this is awesome. I, would, I, I did not know about this. I, I'm going to answer that uh, other question. Uh, I'd go back and fuck Jennifer Tilly. Hmm. <laughs> thought you'd say Selena. Oh, wait. You can still fuck Jennifer Tilly right now. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. You don't have to go back for that one. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, well, you go back to where it's tight. <laughs> or it used to be tight. I mean, that photo she traded <laughs> out with her tits. You know, she's got her hands underneath them and her nipples are out. I mean, goddamn. Wait, the, who the Tilly? No, Haley Williams from Paramore. Oh yeah, that that's was a great leak. That's that's they call her the redhead slut without clothes. I wonder why. <laughs> redheaded slut. It's a good drink. Yeah, the the chat they want to see. I, I got drink. you, chat. Follow the link. <laughs> What's crazy is I have another picture Damn, of ha- I have another picture of Haley Williams that's um. That's interesting because it's not it's not that photo, but it is this one. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good one too. I might use this Wide one later. Oh, Joe, what is your celebrity Damn. crush? Like, if you had to pick one or two, like, oh. you know, I know it's hard to. I gotta be honest. Photo. I I I just said Haley Williams. It would be Shirley Manson, like nineteen ninety six. Nah. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah. What, what were you gonna say, Jake? I'm, I'm, I'm curious what your celebrity pick would be. It, 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 it might be Shirley Manson, like in the in the like mid late nineties. Yeah, that's a good choice. She Mine... was smoking hot, drunk as fuck. Oh, getting off tour. Bus. I got it. Mm. Jennifer Love, huge tits. Yeah, not a bad choice. Yeah. I would take Katy Perry from when she was on SNL with that Elmo shirt. When she was that weight, her tits were gigantic. It was perfect. Or Gina Carano. But that's like, all she's got is picture the titties where she's in showing it. her ass, Gina. You know, and she's got the booty shorts on with the reindeer ears. You know oh. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, man. Right. But... Hey, hey, so, uh, would y'all... She would can, y'all, she can uh, talk Nate... about much right-wing rhetoric she wants. I'll eat a mile of her shit to see where it came from. Well, that's what I say about Brie Larson. Hey, yay or nay, though? Ashley Simpson oh, before or after the nose job? Before or after the nose Before job? Before the nose job, you can still have fun with it because she whistles. Just <laughs> <laughs> She can stick that fucking nose in your ass, too. And then, uh, She's good. I mean, that's orgasm. You, lip you, milk the you could fart right? on her. Oh, jeez. You, you fart, you're blowing out a sinus. Yeah, the infection. That's her close fucking she is. Come on, give me some more... Uh, what do, oh, I got, I got another one. I got uh, who another is your, one. who is your um, first celebrity crush? Because somebody asked me this like weeks ago, and I was like, Ooh. I, 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 I can, Rose from the Titanic. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, Not God. Kate Winslet, <laughs> the old one. Yeah, she was mine. Um, I know older, exactly. Right? I, I was in love with the Pink Ranger. Hmm. Uh, okay, that's. I was, I was about to say something about Power Rangers. I like Trini. I like. Uh, Dewey Young. Damn, that uh, is. Dewey, Dewey Train. Dewey right Train. That makes so much sense. So, I feel is, like I know you yeah. so well now. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was in The Crow, too. You like the slanted pussy. And, I got you. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 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 It smells like fish. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. More than a mouthful is a waste. More than two handfuls. You could be creative. That's the only thing my dad ever taught me. No, oh, dude. There, uh, you know, there's... Your dick can only go so far into a pussy, so you know there's probably like twenty thousand miles of unexplored pussy in your I dick. I bought might one be of those magic ones, you know, the, the hand massagers, the big ones. I'm telling you, that thing's orgasm. Well, the average the tiny. average dick is six inches. The average pussy is eight inches. So that means there's at least twenty thousand miles in the whole world. I should explain it like that for you. That, that makes sense. So if you're saying your vagina is eight inches, and that means I'm like six inches off. All right, keep going. There, there's, there's twenty thousand miles ex- unexplored of pussy. Yeah, it's a lot of tunnel to clear. Let's get Elon yeah. Musk with his tunnel boring system. 
Mm. Yeah, you just got to be uh, above six inches. It's great. All the all the fucking pleasure areas are only like three inches in. Yo, a biological male just won the girls' two hundred meter varsity in Sherwood, Oregon. And by the way, set the rec- set the record. And you know how all the girls are running in a pack, kind of close to each other. This yep. girl, or it's really a guy, um, was Big ahead shit. ahead of them by like a hundred feet. <laughs> There's oh two guys my. in Connecticut. They went ahead, Joe, and, and they, they, were, they could not about it. place they on the men's division, no matter what they did. They could never place even like bottom bronze in the men's. But they looked at their times and they're like, oh my God, we trump the women's. Like, we're, we're going to house them. We can trunce them and no problem. We're like four minutes ahead of first place. So they never took steroids or, or hormones or anything. They just said they identify as female. And then they went ahead, they got to run on the track on the female side of things. And of course, they broke record after record after record after record. And they were trying to take those to college with them for a free ride. And then shit blew up and it turned into this whole debate. But I mean, it's just that's not the good movie. Too far. Yeah, Until they it's start crazy. boycotting and nothing's going to happen. Yeah, they got I swear that's a movie already where they identify as women, but they're dudes, clearly dudes. It is. It's oh, like Juana it's a, Man. Yeah, there's a there's movies like this, all right, because it's just not possible. So like, all the girls need to literally quit and be like, "I'm not running. Yeah. We're not running this with this person." Right because... here, it says on CNN, no Federal Appeals then, Court. Like... Oops, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, if there's no competition, then there'll be no event. Yeah, no you know, kidding. Right here. That, hey, that means. Hey, does this mean that fucking men? Or the better... Yes, then because then it will be all trans men running, and then it will just well, be all yeah, men in every thing. sport. It, it, really, it, it doesn't mean they're better. It just means that there's different... Men, 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 It says right here on CNN, uh, <laughs> federal <laughs> appeals court throws out case brought by Connecticut high school girls, in quotes, challenging trans-inclusive sports policy. So the federal court appe- appeals court threw that out. They didn't even want to see it. They're like, fuck you. This happened a little over a year ago. And then it went nowhere. But they were trying to sue the school, these two black gentlemen, saying that, oh, I identify as trans, I'm female, and we should be able to compete, you know. And it's like, fuck you, you're not getting any more, you know? Yeah. It all turned into just this crock of shit. It's like that that one dude that fucking went crazy at GameStop. I'm a ma'am, not a man. Right. And that's that actually, even, exactly. even though that's unhinged and whatever, that's more understandable than... These people running in this race and destroying. The lawyer's it. claim was that they were um, well, there's- evaluating all legal options, but they said that they were they were simply did not have. They have been deprived of a chance to be champions. That's their oh, that's what they're battling. They don't even try. They won't even shave their chest. And, and so there's they're they're making yeah. fucking poli- uh, They're making uh, sports even more political. Even great. Yeah, well, they're, and they're there's like a lot of girls little, right now. They're, they're finding a lot of loopholes. It's not a loophole to make it that legal. Saying, we don't want to do this. There's a women's pool team, you know, like table billiards, and they all stepped out of the competition because they didn't want to face a trans male that turned into female because he's better. Why? Because his reach is longer. So he can knock balls that they can't hit into pockets and stuff. And it's, 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 it makes a difference. His bone structure is bigger, wider, his gait's different. All of these things you know, gives him advantages I, on billiards. So they all refused first, second, and third place didn't stand on the podium. They all backed down. And now, you know, um, that blonde volleyball player, the one that's been leading the anti-trans movement, basically she's gone, well, at least in sports, she's gone ahead and met up with the girls too and, and turned it into this whole thing now. But it's because that girl almost got killed in volleyball by a trans athlete because he gave her a severe concussion by spiking the ball into her face. Right. Yeah, I, I saw that one. Happened, but um, this has happened over and over. Crazy, so they, bro. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't wait till they make a movie in Hollywood, probably done by WB, to fucking get their fucking studio up, and it's gonna be this girl that fucking goes against this trans guy. Well, that's going on in real win. life. It's gonna be the UFC. What? Well, no, UFC, yeah, like UFC <laughs> style shit like that. Yeah, exactly. Picks him in the Joe nuts. Knows. What? No. Yeah. Well, that's it's literally what's it happening. Was. South Park made a joke out of it years ago. Yeah. And the, game, and, oh yeah. And now you're seeing that the women getting their faces bashed in and stuff, and just it was it was a wannabe macho man. Oh, okay. oh shit! Mirov, oh my god, Mirov. 
hair up. Doesn't he owe you three hundred and sixty? I'm a fucking phone booth. I miss phone booth. I miss phone in you. I miss phone in you from a fucking phone booth. Fuck Palestine, burn Palestine and all terrorism. Oh Fuck LGBTQ. Jeez. Fuck feminism. Fuck pronouns. Trump 2024 hashtag Joe Cronin versus punk. I will Ooh. take punk on anytime you want, Mirov. God damn it, Mirov. Thank you for the $7. Huge donation there. Big one. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Remember the time Mirov um, donated you $316 instead of 316 Yes. Oh, yeah. What a throwback. I, I, if I remember, didn't he... He did. Didn't he say to keep he it? He said keep it. Yeah. I yeah. Think he said he keep it. Yeah. Crazy enough. Yeah, I think so. I don't. Man, remember. That was like two years ago. Fuck. I don't remember if I sent it back to him or not. I mean, there's been some people that's happened, and I've been like, okay, I'll send it back to you. Which um, you don't have to do either. Well, yeah, it's, you're right, it's, but there, you don't. You, it's it, the way it is. The transaction, you have no say to get a refund. It's it's as is because it's considered a, a transfer of service. So. Yeah, no, no, but um, I, I don't think I think he said keep it, if I remember. I think he did, like a badass. Yeah, he sticks did. by his uh, his mistakes. So I love. I've done that at a restaurant of... before, where I really? went to go ahead and yeah, I counted the total wrong. So when I used Courtney's debit card to pay, I was like, I'll leave cash on the tip, and like, oh, you know what? I want to leave him a little extra, so I used the card. And when I added things up, I didn't add it up right. I wasn't paying attention, so I had like forty dollars or fifty dollars over on the tip. And he came back over to me, and he's like, oh, I printed you another receipt so you could fix it. He's like, I figured it was a mistake. I'm like, actually, because you were honest, don't worry about it. Go take it. So he got, like, an extra $50 for a tip. Wow. Fuck, yeah. <clears throat> because he was honest, he came back to me. <laughs> yeah, Tommy doesn't. <laughs> you know, Tommy, Tommy don't believe what, what, in what that. Are you, what are you, fucking Mr. What are you, what are you, Mr. fucking Orange or whatever his name was? And, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, I, 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 I give him a tip, like, uh, be sure to tie your shoes me? next time. Yeah. He's a cow tipping with your mom over. Get a better. Oh, <laughs> yes. get a oh, better job. Oh, look at Walter White being so smart about things. Huh? I, told him, I told him to get a better job. Did you see the announcement? Like, for... my, my... Oh, what, what announcement? No, the no, USC like, oh. 303. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't see it. No, uh, McGregor's comeback fight. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Really? No, yeah, yeah it's June come back soon. Yep. June 29th. Wow. Oh, wow, the day after my Great. birthday. It's my birthday night. That's Danny's birthday. That's Danny's birthday, That's Danny's birthday. yeah. Michael Chandler. Yep. That is... That's my ex-girlfriend's oh birthday. God. Yeah, Joe, he was in uh, the the remake of Roadhouse, and then he's also doing a remake of Popeye the Sailor Man that's coming out soon. Oh, my Christ. Is that real? Because I yeah, saw he AI eats, shit. No, no, it's true. He eats spinach and... Fights like he means it. he's Popeye the Sailor Man, too, too. Yeah, it's crazy. Wait, he's gonna be Popeye. And then June 29th he comes back. What? That's crazy. He should be a fucking goddamn X Men fucking villain. I swear. He hasn't fought he since he, he boxed. Be Sabretooth. They've been saying that he should be Sabretooth lately. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Like you, you. When I saw him in fucking Roadhouse, I was like, dude, this guy. I didn't think he could act. This guy's fucking great. He did good. Roadhouse yeah. wasn't terrible. The remake? Was I good. thought it would I suck, but Jake Gyllenhaal yeah. was really good. He fit the role perfectly. I watched it, I watched it three times. After yeah, that. Roadhouse uh, was a good movie. Three times. That was even better. <laughs> but no, I was expecting it to be like a, a farce or a full-on Patrick Swayze jerk fest. Like it was going to go heavy one way or the other. But it wasn't either. It was a serious movie. It had some like crazy fight scenes, but nothing to be like way like, oh my god, that's bullshit. Like people get hurt, people get beat up, people are sore. The only thing I wish they had was Jimmy Vaughn, Stevie Ray Vaughn's fucking. Oh uh, uh, yeah. You couldn't yeah, have Jeff brother. Couldn't and I thought him. they were gonna have Jimmy Vaughn and nothing. God damn it! Unless I missed him, if it was like a cameo or something. I didn't but... see it online anywhere people would have mentioned it and look at his look oh how he looks. oh look at this look, look. At his look how he looks look at his 
look, he looks like a crook. Look at him, look like he look. Look and look at his look that he looks. Look what he looks like a crook. I'm coming for you, crook in the nook. I'm coming for you. I look like a crook. And look at his look. How he looks. 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 Look at his look. You get shook, shook. Look at his look. You get shook. Look at his look. How he looks. Look at his look. He looks like a crook. Look at his look. You get kind of shook. Look at his look. Look at his look. How he looks. Look at his look. You get shook. Joe JD is looking for a new CEO host for his Titans TNT show on Tuesday because Andrew Baydala left. You should be his CEO what? host. Well, BTW Boston will be out of the playoffs before round three. You son of a bitch, Mirov. Mirov, though, you should have been here earlier. We did a whole thing on that and a whole thing on everything going on. Oh, man, Mirov, you got to watch the show back from the beginning. You'll love it. But, um, yeah, I'm aware. I actually talked to him earlier today on the phone. Um, I don't think he would ever work with me ever again, especially on his thing. But um, I appreciate that and feel free to tell him, but I doubt he'll... Uh, I doubt he would ever want to do anything with me ever. But, but he well, is. Joe, if you need a diplomat that could help ease tensions, let me know. Did you see uh, JD's ex co host there, that uh, Bay Dalla guy or whatever? He tweeted out beforehand, or retweeted, excuse me, this tweet that says, Jerry's too toxic. My wonder is oh, this shit. with both of Jerry's parents having been and actively are abusive alcoholics for decades. Why is it that all JD talks about is his own alcohol consumption? Wait a minute. Because no, he, I, he didn't He didn't say what? that. No, he retweeted it. And he said because he already tied one on before every one of his shows. Oh, I, well, but uh, well, then he well, came out in a video. Maybe not to be a drunk. And then he comes back and he's like, wait, this isn't true. But he shares it. So it's weird. I don't what the? I don't know what he's doing, but he's he's in for a, obviously he's turned on him and he's a coward and can't say why he really is leaving. Which is fine, you know. You know, JD don't JD screwed me too, and he don't like me and whatever else. But you and then know people what? were saying he's a shareholder of WWE. That's why he had to leave. He said that's false. And then people said it's because of the Denise situation. What a shame! And I'm a like, shareholder no, of WWE. No, he, no, no he, dude, he, he left. left so no, he left because he's fucking friends with with Denise and fucking Cyclops. Yes, Sean Ross Sapp. He says it on his. Uh, on this videos on the streams that he's no, he, good pals with Sean. He's and... he said that before, even when they've done. I I I don't know that much about all this stuff because I don't watch him that and pay attention to him anymore because obviously we have things. And listen, I've done this a million times, dude. He he will. I I will. I I just. I I I I know what kind of. I know what kind of person, you know, JD is for the most part, and I know that. One of the things about him to me that bothers me is that he's very self-centered about himself, only himself. I know I probably come off like that a little bit too, to be honest. And so the two of us, you know, are are on our own thing, but he really doesn't give a lot as far as when I, like, I, I, that's what I notice. But I, that being said, just some of the stuff I see done is, is bullshit. And as far as I'm concerned, this guy was a nobody bald piece of shit. And all of a sudden now, yep. he, oh, I'm leaving now. Thanks for the subs. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. You're a fucking boring, lame, fucking nerd piece of shit. And you would have been nothing if you weren't on a show with somebody who had like over 100,000 subs. You'd be nothing. You'd be fucking talking to nobody in a wall or something. And all these people know about you and you act like you're fucking cool and shit like that. And you're fucking stupid. So fuck yourself. Thanks for the subs, stupid midget. And I'm out of here. That's basically what he did. Um, as far as I'm concerned, when the going gets tough, boy, the fucking pussy get going. Thanks for the subs. I'm out. So I, I that's how well, I he see fucked it. That fucking fat, ugly bitch anyways in Florida. Well, I'm talking, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about his bald co-host that left him or whatever, you know? So like, oh, that fucking dude. Uh, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know that much about him or that whole situation or whatever, but I just see it as, you know, okay. You know, some, there's some heat here. So you pussed out. But then the other part of it is, well, you know, this guy's crapping on your friends. So I maybe that's I know. But how come you don't yell at the other dude for stuff? So I don't know. I just see it as I don't know, man. Fuck it. I'm taking his side. Even even though we don't get along anymore, we don't do a show anymore. We had a falling out and he barely talks to me at all. 
And quite honestly, he's insulted me several times for real. It's not like when I call him like midget fuck or something. He literally goes, you know, only I have good takes with Solomonster and somebody else. And he leaves me out of it all the time. And he makes little shots about, oh, Joe's a dead channel. And he's a loser. But you know what? I don't care, bro. I, I don't know. I don't care, I guess. Fuck it. I just see that this guy fucking thanks for the subs. And he disrespected this guy that gave him all this attention and this fan base and stuff like that. And he legit just disrespected him. You could say that about me and JD, but it's different because JD was missing. I've been going to wrestling shows, shows for over 30 years. Ooh. Never in all that time have I ever felt oh, until last five. Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. I hate Andrew Baydala, that bald bitch. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> that guy that guy takes himself even more seriously. Like if you think like if you like my issue sometimes is like I used to think JD, you know, took himself a little too seriously in my opinion, and that's fine, that's just how I feel and whatever. But you know what? Taking himself very seriously got himself very successful. However, the other guy, Bald Baylor or whatever his name is, he takes himself really seriously from what I can see, but he just took this other guy's audience, so Fuck him and um, whatever. That's how I see it. If he doesn't see it that way, feel free to reach out to me and tell me hey, I'm it wrong. Sounds like, it's on, it sounds like a fucking or, or, uh, what's called uh, a snake eating its own tail. Right. And here's the other thing. I mean, listen, JD sent, you know, went after me with lawyers. I mean, legally, JD, you know, but like, you know, and or I reached I reached out to him earlier and he did talk to me, you know, so he, we, we had a little talk earlier. Wasn't anything crazy, but we just had a little talk. Um, and just, I don't know, man, like I'll come if I, I'll do my best to try to pick the, you know, the right person in the situation, but I don't really know what the real situation is. So really, we don't really know what's up. So I, I, you know, I, I don't think it's anything major because it's not like he's like sick and has to step away, something like that. And I don't even know. I don't even care. I don't listen to them. I don't know what the guy does. So whatever, but I don't know. No, he replied. No, it's like you're picking between a, a midget with anger issues, a fat, bald guy with oh. a talentless whore that has fake reactions. Yeah, I, I agree. What a decision. I agree. I, I know what you're saying. I, I, I Here's the thing. He's not going to get back together with me because I know there's been a clamoring for it today. There's been so many people that have mentioned it. But it's and it's just one of those things. He's not going to do it because he's so much bigger now than he was. When we started, he had 50,000 subs, and I had 18,000 subs when we started together. Um, and eventually he went to 78, and I went to like 40 or 30 or something or something like that. I mean, he's just not going to do it. He's now, I mean, I have 70 whatever I have, and he's got 160 or something. He's just, just not going to do it because he's going to look at it as... He said anyone as big as me or up and coming. Right. So, like, I don't fit in. First of all, I don't fit into that category. And second of all, he already knows me. He doesn't really, I don't think he really likes me. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously, he doesn't, like, hate me to death or he probably wouldn't have responded to me today. But he doesn't like me and he's got a reason to not, you know? like. I mean, I hate you and I deal with you, so... Right. I don't know how to take that, but I agree. I mean, <laughs> I, never, I mean you... You never really give us a fucking straight text. You go, suck my dick. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like. Yeah, that's me. Right. Lick my balls. And, I'm, and we, we, we do the same thing. Yeah. I've been going to wrestling okay, shows for over bad. 30 years. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. Joe, if you don't get back with him and hash your issues, then his CO host will be Tommy for God's sake or his cat. I Save know. him, Joe. I would love to help. I would, I would one hundred percent help. I would do anything I could to help. I yep. uh, for sure. Yes, it would. It would there obviously goes. help me out too. If 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 that were to happen, that would help me out. He, he would. I mean, I don't know, but he, I don't think he'll do it because I don't think he wants. I don't think he wants me to. You know what I mean? Uh, like, if you do, if you do, beer well, goes. Well, you never know, oh, yeah. Joe. You know what they say: time heals the greatest of wounds. So I don't. Anything I, could happen. I don't think he'll never count yourself out. Broking. They said it to my grandmother, and then she died of a heart attack. Right. I think. <clears throat> I think I'm too toxic <clears throat> for him, or whatever. I think. Yeah. If you're Jake, the Popeye trailer is fake, by the way. The oh, the trailer's fake. They put one out already. Yeah. Don't it's, use that word. 
There's I only saw a screenshots of it, so I didn't see the trailer. Oh, yeah. I've I've dedicated. Yeah, it's, it's, by the way, I've dedicated. I've dedicated videos to to coming to his aid. Like I have multiple videos where I legit come to his aid. They have and but the problem is oh. even even when I made a video like defending him and and really doing a good job of showing why he's right or something, he probably it didn't matter. he probably sees that as me using him for views and not any not ever seeing it like oh look, you know he's got my back. You know it's not like that. He probably sees it as oh well he's just using my name. But he wanted you to be used as police to keep bullshit away from him and, and not have him ever get harassed or made fun of. Not, you were supposed to be like this protector and keeping all that bullshit away from him. Well, I just think he has a higher standard, too, for like what he would accept and block. And, and he stuff. wouldn't tolerate anything, and everyone was being blocked, even like you know paid members and patrons and all that shit was bad. So. Yeah. I get it. He's just, we're just, you know, I don't think it would work, unfortunately. I mean, I, people I would, were like, what beer do you have? What are you drinking? He, they'd get blocked in the chat. I will do it. Like, I'm telling yeah. you, like, I'm saying I will do it. He will not. All right? You, you know what I mean? You'd really have to, there'd have to be some kind of campaign. It, yeah. There'd have to be a massive campaign by all the listeners to really try to make that happen. Um, and I don't think... Let's get it. Let's get it. You get all these listeners right here. Let's go. I bet you Sith could get it done, but I don't know. He'd have to do Let's something go. crazy. I mean, I thought you were talking to him uh, not long ago. I talked to him today. Really? All right. Well, there you go. Are you, there, what there are you, you fucking... You, did you, you not, not hear what I just said? You're what kind friend. of drugs are you on tonight? Everything. Yeah. The good ones. That's the answer you would to, have. Joe? I'm talking to Gargos, talking who's to fucking wall. retarded tonight. I said like hard, four times. I'm like, hard, we talked tonight. Guys. Uh. Oh well, he he went to go take a poo poo. <laughs> oh man, I I would love to I would love to do it, and I'd love to get you know I'd love to just sort of, I wish I could prove to him that like, like I don't, I, like I'm not this bad, like this yeah, like I don't want to be bad, and I and I appreciate everything that we did, and you know what I mean. I I didn't try to turn on him to thanks for the audience. I'm out. It was more like I was upset that our yeah, show you appreciated was getting ruined. Anal. I was mad our show was getting I, ruined. I just I just think there needs to be a middle ground in which way both of you have like proper communication, where both of you don't neglect each other in some way. Yeah, something basically neutral. Basically flaking out. Maybe. Yeah. yeah so if you need anyone, like a, if you need a middleman to help branch out between the communications, just let me know. I'll yeah, you three, three or four of us try and be in the possible. middle. Yeah, I just yeah. think um, I would. Exactly. I, I think the other thing that could be done is like a couple of one-offs. You know what I mean? Like where we don't have something regular because yeah. maybe that's too much of each other. But like we do a couple like yes. you know, getting back together things or something or whatever. But I just don't think he'll do it because he's in such a you know when you're in a much more powerful position and there was someone who kind of wronged you before. And they gained from it. And what did you gain from it? You know what I mean? Like, and he did, but it's just like, I don't know, bro. I just don't think he's going to do it. But I, I really, I will definitely do it. And I'm always open to doing it. But I don't think he will. Just, just give it a shot, though. You no, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I've already asked. I've, no, I'm, there's no give it. I'll give it. A, I'm already telling you I'll give it a shot. I've told him. Yeah. But he doesn't, he's, you know, he's not going to do that. I'm, I'm telling you he won't do it. Never and he's he told might. me he won't do it. Might change his mind if if enough people are already turning on him per se due to this controversial stuff with with that whore. Yeah, I know the whore, Ooh. but um. Well, a lot of people have turned on him before. A potential. He's, there is, but I don't yeah, think so. There I, might I just, be a potential reunion. I don't you think never so. know. I mean, if, okay. If um hell, if hey, Bret uh, Hart could come back to the WWE, I'm pretty sure anything could go, happen. I don't mean it. Change the subject, but I I do mean to. we gotta change uh, it. We've been on this too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, have you seen the new Fallout shit? The, no, I haven't. I've seen a trailer for it, but that's it. I haven't seen it. So I just trailer. posted something in the in the in on hold uh, the the text shit that we can the private chat. Uh, worst dialogue you ever. Know, I think it's just think fucking girl. Is just, it's just it's just fucking. Oh, wait, hold on. It's just fucking girl. That's it's it's a. Terrible dialogue. This fucking girl just says, "You want to have sex?" And this guy's like, "Well, every time I do, my 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 cock gets nobody. hard, and it burst. What? It burst into a pimple. 
Yeah, it's the weirdest dialogue. It's stupid. Yeah, I can't hear nobody talking. I hate... Wait, what? I'm watching you reset it now. Me. I would yeah, never oh watch that show. Worst dialogue ever. After Halo, bro, I just can't do it anymore. Shows are dead. The first All season shows. of Halo was so bad. It had so much promise. Oh. And he, he's talking... He's like, every time I, I, every time I have sex... You raised a piece of shit! Oh. Bruins are going to the depths of hell. <laughs> hey, Kane, how you doing? <laughs> Bruins are going to the depths of hell. No, we need to do well. We need to do well. We need to win the Stanley Cup, Kane. Come on. I was watching Florida today, and she was getting good. Two and two, and then it got really busy at the fucking restaurant, so I couldn't fucking concentrate on it. But two and two. God damn it. She that was the worst wild. dialogue ever, really. It was the worst dialogue, right? Ever. So and I'm awkward. like, people love Fallout. It's terrible. Yeah, I don't. I've heard. So, I've heard it's not very good. The one good thing about the show is it's bringing life back to Fallout seventy six, the game. So a bunch of people well, are playing it right now. That's a good hope game. Hope it doesn't piss them off. But our brother but likes people the show. He was watching. It. I've, heard, I've heard. I've heard better dialogue in AEW. Fucking shitty promos. Like this was the worst. I like the pull game Fallout seventy shit. Yeah, no, I just man, I, Jake, I that horde mode, whew, that's fifty waves is long. Yeah, I bet. Seems like I broke, a long time. I broke my back carrying these people for the last hour, man. Oh, oh I bet. Oh, right life of a gamer, dude. <laughs> I is had something similar in Hell Divers. Oh my god, god brother! Oh my god, brother! Thanks, Tom. Uh, or democracy is, and liberty. Is just me or Jesse turned into a left-handed bass player. Was Super yeah. Earth? It's amazing. Exactly for Super Earth. Playing, though. It's so crazy because we used to. Always I want to hear, hear Jesse play, playing. But we used to hear him play over all of our conversations, so we couldn't hear each other talk. But we heard Jesse play. Now he's silent. I think I kicked him off the show for that. He's one. muted. You you kicked him off a couple of times. He would just start playing <laughs> guitar or bass. You'd be like trying to make a point about Raw, and he'd be like, bing, 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 bing. You'd be like, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Seinfeld that shit or what? Close don't, enough. Don't, don't, it was pretty don't, good. Bing, bing, bing. Joe, sorry, my phone vibrated a few times. Did oh. you come? I know. I right? think it was, was 9 11 playing Petco. behind you again. Oh. Yeah, why do you keep watching the 9 11 videos? What's up with that? Oh. Who, me? Yeah, you, Tommy. What's wrong with you? I, I don't always watch them. I, I just think Godzilla is breaking some buildings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just think Godzilla's breaking some. I can buildings. picture Tommy running into China being like, fuck you. <laughs> Godzilla. It's not China. It's, it's Tokyo. You hey, dingus. Listen, it's Japan. I'm sorry, Tommy. I, I fucked up. Yeah, get a ride, Jake, from I'll State take my Farm. Lashing. Go put on some khakis. I'm not wearing any. You're lucky I'm even wearing, wearing pants any. at this pace. Not wearing any, any. Oh, I, I think you should lose the pants. My dick was out before. You missed it. Jubbly. I poured whiskey in my juice. Uh. I'll be back, my brother. You should add semen. So, the the second time that I blacked out, I think I've told Joe before, but I used to, anytime we drank, I had a bottle of Gatorade mm. that I would keep for the next <sighs> day. So we could wake up and drink the Gatorade, not have this mess. I've been going to wrestling shows for over 30 years. Never in all that time have I ever felt Tony until last Khan. Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger at a wrestling show. I was afraid of my life. CM Punk almost oh. leapt on me. Did you see that footage? Tommy, stop moaning, you green as grass fuck. Oh, oh my God. Thank you, Tony Khan. Well, Tony the Shao Khan could fear for his life. I hope CM Skunk takes a dump on him. <laughs> Imagine if we find out Tony's been like hooking up with Britt Baker. Yeah, right. Imagine the scandal that would happen. Oh yeah, with that. he's baking in her oven, New subscriber. Joe. You fucking mark. Oh, <laughs> baking in her oven. You won't touch it. You know, this might help us save bandwidth if I turn my camera off. RJ Paintner, thank you for uh, subbing to the channel, man. What's up? 
you doing, brother? Good to see you. Look at Jesse's riffing out on that bass, man. Look out. He's fucking jamming. Look He's not actually up. playing anything. He's just making it look like he is. Yeah. He's like, listen to me. I'm playing Chili Peppers and Tool combined. Bing, yeah. bing, 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 you want to do bing. this? Oh, he's going for a bass solo now. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, my God, Jesse. What are you doing? Look at this. Hammer on, pull off. Look at Jesse's going wild. Oh, he's got the whammy bar going now. Wow. Oh, he bong, bong. was wildly wrong. He was he was wildly wrong. <laughs> look at Jesse. Oh my God, look at him going. Oh my God. He's too funny. Is he masturbating? Oh my God. Is he be. masturbating? Is that what you said? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't do that. I was just curious, like George. Look at him going. Uh, uh. Joe, that. you should dub in some music for him. Like this. <laughs> Ready? Listen. Yeah. I think Jesse's been mewing with that jawline. Oh. is a moron. <laughs> Sugar me, Joe! <laughs> Max Halloway was a god and no fight after THDA contended. BTW they should have got McGregor versus Chandler for UFC 300. That's, you know, that's a great point. I mean, but, you know, for, for 300, I thought it was a pretty good night. They definitely could have had a bigger main event because it ended quickly. But, you know, I mean, what would you say? If, uh, you know, UFC 300 was probably a 7 out of 10 tonight. Yeah. Could have been better, but, you know. It was pretty lackluster, Joe. A little, lack, little lackluster out there. Look at him. Look at him go. Fossils, man. Paper 
your dick off, Jesse, with those scissors. Gum chop. Cut your dick off, Jesse. Gum chop. I don't know what we're doing. I'm sorry. Oh, that was hot. That got me. That was beautiful. I love that. <laughs> Blood's the white satana. I like how Jesse just no sold it the whole time and just kept going about whatever he was doing while like the bass kept playing even when he stopped, Joe. That's the amazing part. That is that's he plays the bass with his mind. That's incredible. He is attached to his third eye, and it's not his asshole. Yo, the Dork Blood Knight. He stopped her screen. What up, Dork? Dork's in the chat. What's up, oh, Dorky? No. Too Wait, much is Dork drama. Dork tonight or what? Why is he saying there's too much drama? What drama? I'm, he's retired. He's tired, I think. Oh, I miss he Dork. To go oh, meet me. Dork. There's not even a lot of people here. on right now. He could get on, tell us about his day. I love you, Dork. What's up, man? Best music video since Thriller. Yeah, my guitar wasn't in tune, but yeah, I tried. But it sounded good. Jesse, you're muted, bro. You should be all right now. <laughs> okay, well, you can tell it's not... Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, we were muted. We were loving you jamming, though. You were looking pretty sexy when you were jamming, you know? Hitting that bass. No, dude, I was trying to figure out if that was you playing. Blood has a yeah, look maxing jawline. Oh, yeah. No, it was a recording, but I was trying to solo into it, but my guitar is out of tune. How are you feeling, uh, though, tonight? Huh? Don't worry about it too much. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Go fuck yourself. I'll never ask you that again. We always worry about you, you asshole. I can't even hear blood. What? Oh, yeah, this guitar's out of tune. Fuck. Guitarists spend half their lives tuning and the other half playing out of tune. I mean, right? It's such a true statement. Somebody told me that Trevor. It's so true. Oh, here we go. Overdrive City. There you go. Edge. Nice my line six. Jesse's got a big. Sorry. All right, but no, it's uh, it's getting better now. Surfer Joe. What's that? Surfer Joe. Sounds like a beach theme. Yeah, it does. Like, oh wait a minute, no, no, here's a song. I rape my girlfriend, but that doesn't mean I hate her. I rape my girlfriend. I rape my girlfriend. Means the opposite. Yeah, it's a surfer thing. 
Definitely sounds mm. surferish, you know. I rape. It's a it's, it's a love song to be Sorry, honest. Play a Yo, song I can from, back uh, you up. I got the rock band. It's like old school, uh, like old school ghost or something. He's got that cyberpunk tuning, like that the samurai tuning on his guitar. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it's drop D. Johnny Silverhand. Let me turn that down a little bit. Look at J look at Jake. Look at what is he doing? Look at him. Look at that. He's masturbating. Look at that. He's masturbating. No, he's playing the guitar. Oh, he's playing with the guitar. I'm a I'm a drummer. <laughs> she found my dildo. <laughs> It was in the closet. She found my dildo. He shoved it up my ass. I got a pocket pussy. Customized, made for me. Of a girl named Bethany. It's a song about a pocket pussy from Bethany. Like it's a, it's like we could do a whole album. Look at now everybody's playing. And it was yeah, so every creamy. Song is connected. Yeah, there we go. Every song is connected. It's all all leading to do with dick. Ooh, this is rough. Yeah. yeah we'll it's a little rougher right system. Yet. I can hear it, but No. We had we had fun for a minute. We don't want to keep, uh, you know, playing you get, ter yeah, terrible you get guitar. Hit copyright for System of Down, you know. Well, I don't think that would happen, but I mean, <laughs> just this is what happens when a drummer picks up a guitar. Just stop. Just smash it. I I do, but what what I can do though is when I'm making a song or something like that, it's like I have plenty of time to think. Okay, these three notes, boom. Okay, now this note, boom. This sound, boom. This synthesizer, boom. Make the drum beat. You know, it's like Plus that's you can plan. You know when you're gonna go all out. When you can, yeah, ease up a bit if you know how many songs are coming. What's coming up next? I'm so oh, horny yeah. right now. Exactly. Me too, Joe. So hot. Right. Yeah. Gavin says there's a centipede in the kitchen. My cat playing with it. Go save my cat. <laughs> what the fuck? You better a run. Centipede. A centipede. -pee. <laughs> oh my god, Tommy. Oh my god, Tommy. <laughs> oh my That's god, terrible. bro. What the fucking god damn it. I, I, please. I've got to clip that. I've got to clip that later. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, That's I love nuts. you. Well, before you go and get rid of the centipede, I'm going to take off now because i got to be up in about yes. two hours. You stayed so. way later. You're like, I'll come on for a few. Yeah, well, you know, everybody was having fun, so we got to stay around and enjoy ourselves. I, I miss hanging out with you guys, and it's always good to spend some good quality time with you sexy bastards. I love you. Jake. Much all right, love, Jake. everybody. Love to the chat. I'll see you all soon. Points to Joe. Oh, thanks, Jake. Good night, Jake. Thanks for being good here, night, Jake. Good night, Good night, everybody. Stay sexy. Remember to ship me that banana. Thank you. I will. I will. We love you. Bye, Jake. Oh, we love him. We love him. Goodbye, Jake. This is Jake's outro song. Goodbye, Jake. That's Jake's outro song, everybody. He's a beautiful human being, uh, is Jake DeMarco. We love you, Jake. Shout out to the ghost from the coast who's still the top donator with $150 tonight, resulting in five shots from me and seven shots from the great Jake DeMarco. I don't even know why we're still going, but we are at 3.30 in the morning. 
Hit that like button. Church in the morning. I'm gonna die. I'll jerk off all over everybody in this call tonight. Oh, Joe, I think it's one. somebody's birthday. Joe, it's somebody. Whose birthday is it? Oh, um, the the guy that makes you the nail thumbs. Oh, that's right. It's Novonix birthday. Uh, let me. Let me get out of here so he could come on. Hey, hey come take your seat back. Happy birthday. Thank you, Tommy. Oh, my God. Well, ladies that. and gentlemen, Novonix. Yeah. It's time. It's time. Novonix. Are you ready? To you. Happy birthday to you. I want to rape you. Novonix. Whoa. <laughs> That's the best we can do, man. How old are you now, by the way? A uh, quarter of a century now. Happy birthday. What does that mean? I don't know. What's yeah, math? I, I don't know what math is. <laughs> ah, quarters, no. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Tommy. A quarter. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday. Exactly. Yeah, hey, did the centipede kill the cat? <laughs> you know what I'd like to do? Centipede. Pee -pee. Centipede. Pee -pee. We gotta get with that. We gotta make that a song. Can we make Senna Pee Pee a song? We gotta go back and find that clip of Senna Pee Pee. If anybody has it, send it to me. But if not, I'll find it later. But we get if, if anybody hears it when you're listening to this, if you hear that, timestamp that. We've gotta get Senna Pee Pee and make it a song somehow. Um, you can. What'd you say about my Pee Pee? I'd send your pee pee. Send a pee pee. Send a, send a pee pee. Um, but yeah, listen. Yes, send one my way. I do want to say happy birthday. Novonix has been killing it with thumbnails. And, um, you know, so make sure you guys donate because we're going to have to pay him eventually. So let's make that happen. Oh, Dan. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate that, Dan. He's been, <laughs> he's been killing it with that shit. I mean, By the way, how much did Celrex charge you? He didn't, he didn't. No, he didn't. Not that oh, I'm. Yeah, I don't remember. I, he did. I think he was charging. The guy he, no, he was. So he was charging other people, and he was like sort of using me oh. to promote. So like, he would use me to promote himself, and then he would charge the other people, which is actually smart, right? Oh. So like like yeah, I, yeah. I, like he I would charge see. like JB it's and all the work. other people. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, first, that, yeah, that is pretty smart. However, he he reuses a lot of the graphics, like you said. Yeah, and he he flaked out on yeah. a lot of people, so that's the downside. Remember, people, if you're making thumbnails, don't flake out. Yeah, but also, you know, make sure you're getting paid if you're like really providing a good service. Like these are really good. Like this is, I mean, uh, people would make me stuff for free all the time. So back in the day, it's like I didn't really need to. I didn't feel the need to go out and pay anybody because. Because first of all, I would have made them, and then second of all, other people were just making them like crazy. So I had this pick of the only problem was it was insulting some people because people would make stuff, but then I'd have five and I'd have to pick one, and then somebody would be like, "Why didn't you use my thing?" And I'd be like, "Oh, I'm like the, all these other people made one too, and I had to pick one. I don't know." I, and so then it became like people get upset at me, and it really wasn't anything bad. Like it was flattering that all these people made stuff. Like when you make stuff, it's like, that's amazing. Somebody took time out to make something for the show or whatever. But like, these are so good at this yeah, point that, I mean, like, all, like if you, if once in a while you're throwing me like images, like the Rostafa one, or like we're, we're talking about like a toilet paper factory blowing up and then you put my face and someone else's face, like we just blew it up and the things in the background blowing up and you do things like that once yeah. in a while. Like, I don't know, man. I, I, You should get paid something, like, uh, somehow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you should. I I really appreciate that. And fun fact, actually, I was working on that before I had my cake today. <laughs> I was working on the thumbnail. Right. Well, Be before you ever... He's the reason why I realized that... He's the reason why... Mr. Cronin, you gotta... 
check your DMs. I know you're always busy, but <laughs> I was like freaking out. I'm like, what does he want? What are the topics? UFC? No, I know. Uh, well, so the, Panzer was well, there's helping. a problem on Discord, though, because Discord, I'm like locked out of Discord because my old phone had the oh. code thing or whatever. Okay. So I am not able, like, I don't even really have control of this Discord. Like, if something happens, I can't fix it because it's like, okay, sign in the thing to do to do that, and I'm, and I can't. And so I called Discord, I messaged them, I did all this stuff, and they said, oh, yeah, you're just fucked. You have to make a new Discord. And I'm like, what? Like, I've opened tickets, I've done everything. So the only way to access Discord is on this computer, and I cannot access it anywhere else. Um, I don't have it on my phone, nothing. So when I'm gone, which is like most of the day, right, working, I don't see anything on Discord. So it's only when I sit down here do I see it. That that makes a lot of sense because me and everyone else, um, all the co-hosts on the show, we had. I decided to make um, to improve communication. I created a private chat that which you're in. It's the creative chat, and right? So that's where we go and talk about everything else and arrange everything. That's why 450 ended up being a banger because um, we had a lot of planning. Thankfully, <laughs> yeah, it was really well done. Like it was awesome. Yeah. Like I was. That was so awesome! Like that you know, thumbnail was fire. And, and he 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 forced us to make a. a yeah, it was, take I had to bug everybody and, uh, for images because I don't want to yep. just have like a screen grab and call it today. I like and I like persuading. You were doing AI. Like, hey, send you me were a doing picture of you, so that way it could have a unique image, a, a render of you that I could use for the thumbnail to help Maybe create so. it. I want to give a high quality product rather than a rushed one. You know. Right. It's good. It's good stuff. It really yeah. is. Do using AI for a while too, and uh, that's when I found out that AI was racist. Where's the Mexican at, by the way? I'm right here talking. You know, what's wrong with you? Can you not hear me? Can you not hear me? Are you not entertained? I'm Mexican myself, so <laughs> I could call out my fellow brethren. So, why not? Can you not hear me? Hello, check, check. No, nobody can hear me. Fuck me. You can't hear Gargots? No, I cannot hear him. Really? How long has it been since you heard? Yeah, him? I'm gonna go. I know, right? Uh, I was about thirty minutes or so. I'm gonna leave and come back. Hang oh, okay. Yeah, something's wrong. It's either you or him. It could be him though. I just, I just reset it. It's probably him then. He's for Campbell. Fuck is that going on? You hear him okay, now? Now I get. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird glitch that happens sometimes where you can't hear one person. It's weird. I think it's got something to do with their server. I think it's like the per- the other person is connecting to a different server or something. I don't know. It's weird. All right. I, can you hear me now? Yes, he can hear you now. Yes. My apologies for bulldozing over you if you were talking. <laughs> oh, I was saying I was saying that uh, you you you've been killing it with thumbnails. Uh, you forced us to like take pictures. That Gargots finally had a good thumbnail. I've never seen Gargots have a good thumbnail. I was like, well, wow, that looks looks good. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I was. It, and then um, that and. Before I took that picture, he was using AI. Yeah. And I just realized that AI was that racist. Why? Every time. Have you seen the photos of me in AI? <laughs> Jesus. No, I'll send, right. I'll, I'll, I'll send them to you right now, Joe. Give, oh give me a second. Oh, my God. The dude. person who made the AI is Steven, by the way. Steven Langenheimer, whatever. Steven Langenheim? <laughs> yeah, yeah Langenheim. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's old school. <laughs> he's the one who does the AI, so he's been killing it with that. I'll go ahead and send you the racist cargo pictures. <laughs> I can't wait for oh this. Oh my god! And that's when I realized that AI is really racist. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Here? Well, I thought they turned and, everything and, black. The AI. And then I told him uh, type in some like uh, Native American, and it finally got it right. Oh, oh Steve Limes in the chat. He's he's laughing at it about it. Yeah, here, check it out. Here you go. <laughs> oh boy, I am. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. This is amazing. I don't even. I I can't even grow a fucking mustache or a beard like that. Much less like. Oh, maybe I did see this. I think I know the picture now. I'm thinking of it in my head. Did you? Was it someone with like a por a po, 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 uh, poncho on or something or poncho whatever it's called? Yeah, like a, like a sombrero. A sombrero. There you go. Oh my god, bro! I I did see this earlier. Holy oh shit! My goodness, There's a lot of them going on, and I'm just like, what the fuck? AI is really racist. Oh damn! God I didn't damn. see the I didn't see the updated fo- photo you made. The UFC one that looks better. 
Wow, you updated the thumbnail. I, I might just switch that yep. to the real thumbnail now. Switch it right now. You got to check. Yeah. You always got to check. You, that's oh, yeah, good. by the way, Joe, try to, when the show is off the air, let me know if a better way to contact you. Cause yeah, I'll send you my thing. Are you on Twitter, too? Thank you. I, my thing. I, do, not got, I do not have Twitter. No. Twitter is hell. I got, yeah, I got Grandma the Insta, Booking of the Face. I got all that. Oh, my God. The AI Gargots is whacked out, bro. It's it's two phrases, right? <laughs> <fucking one>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's Garguts though. Right. But like, this is like Doctor Disrespect Garguts, <laughs> something like. And also that guy. Oh my god, wait a minute. Who's that guy that I'm? Fr- I was friends with for a while, and I'm still kind of once in a while we talk to him, and he's got hundreds of thousands of subs. He kind of looks like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, but damn, that's a good compilation right there. Oh I can't even God. grow a beard like that. I can't grow shit like that. Oh my God! It's like if Garga, <laughs> it's like if Garguts was in Mexican Pantera. Oh, I think I know the guy you're talking about. I think it was like Blue Jay or some bird Maybe. or something like that. He's got kind of I some Japanese. Pantera, Panther. He's a lot of Japanese writing stuff, and he's kind of an Asian guy. Oh my god, brother. Know, what is dude, this? Like I the do. world's under attack by bats or what is this? I don't even know what's going on, but I like the shirt. That's <laughs> yeah. good. This is I gotta, got a, I got a question. Oh my god. I got a question, guts. That's the How best one. How come you didn't use the the AI generated <laughs> thumbnail? Yeah, this is word. the one right here that you should use. Like this is yeah. like zombie <laughs> drunk Mexican garguts. Right, like when I'm. <laughs> what I just is don't this? Grow my fucking facial hair. I don't. I don't like to grow facial hair. So. Oh my god, bro! Even though I have some, brother. Right now, but... Oh my god, bro! <laughs> what is that, dude? dude, dude that, that is a good fucking album, dude. What the fuck is that? That's I great. Even, do I have a grill in my mouth? I don't know what the fuck. I yeah, have. it looks like you have a grill, or your teeth are rotted. What's on well, the shirt? <laughs> The shirt, I don't know. It's like some fucking. That one's pretty it. good, though. That one's really good. Like, there's other, like, this one doesn't look right at all. This don't look like Garguts at all. You know, like, that it, looks like. It does Maybe when Garguts is, like, 80 or something. Like, I don't know, but that doesn't. But the other one does. It says Mongoloid brother Gorguts. <laughs> I, oh, my that God. That looks like me, like, maybe, like, you know, like. 20 years ago 15 years ago is that oh that one that one that old ass one oh yeah that doesn't look like me at all this one that says was. like my it's like a heineken bottle but it says my <laughs> yeah that's what i was looking at i was dude ai needs to get better the shirt, the 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 shirt says Ma-hi-ken. garguts <laughs> <laughs> garnuts Oh, no. my God. oh my god imagine if the shirt said gar nuts instead <laughs> yeah, dude. I, like, I love what the fuck this is a Ma-Heineken? Ma-Heineken. man yeah. you want to have a Heineken? it's so- what happens when a mexican and a heineken combine the ba- <laughs> dude seriously right boy the dark side <laughs> heineken <laughs> i like Try how i have an heineken. ipa in one end and then a fucking skunky ass beer on the other end all right fuck it. <laughs> i don't I don't even know what that shirt is. Who is that? Maynard and fucking. <laughs> what is on that shirt? Oh my skinheads? god, it does. It looks like Tool. Like if Tool yeah. were if Tool were skinheads. Yeah. Dude. Essie's in the background with a gun. <laughs> oh my god, brother. They'd Look be at called him. Scout. Look at that shirt, bro. Look at that shirt, dude. Look at it. Looks like Tool. Let's zoom in on it. Oh, zoom in on it. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> it looks like like skinhead, like Tool. If Tool was in a skinhead band, yeah. look at that. Tool, more like <laughs> looks like Maynard. It, it, they'll be called Scalp. <laughs> it's called <Maynard>. Scalp. <laughs> it looks like Maynard. Look at that! It's Tool. Dude, it does look like Maynard. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> Machete in the background. There's a black guy just behind me, and he smells like every scent. I know he will rob the cashier. He doesn't. He's fatherless. I will lead his mother's ass.
This fucking yes. skinhead I fucking tool. His mother. <laughs> Smell the pussy juice. Oh. Sniff it all I do. Sniff it all I want. Oh my Gonna god. Gonna drink her juice. Jerusalem is under fire. Bombing everyone inside. Jerusalem is under fire. Bombing everyone inside. <laughs> It's a tool. And then Jesse's over here playing the bass part. Dun 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 dun. Oh man, fool! It does sound like a solo for fucking sober. Oh, he is playing it. Oh my god! Oh no, he's not. No, he is. He is playing it. He is. He is. Yeah. Let's, let's do this, Jesse. Where's my guitar? I'll play the bongos. Uh, we're having some fun. Um, but anyway, we're going to get out of here, man. It's wicked late. And, uh, when you're whipping out the guitar, you know, you know it's time to go to bed. Um, but we love you all. Thanks for being here tonight. We had a good time. UFC 300, not too bad. I'd say 7 out of 10. Could have been better. But there was some pretty cool knockouts. Some pretty cool other shit, too, man. Goes from the coast dropped 150 bucks. A couple of you guys uh, also dropped some nice donos. Thank you for the support tonight, to be honest. Um, really appreciate it. And Jake got... Jake got pretty drunk for Jake. He got really buzzed, bro. Seven shots yeah. when you have a half a stomach or whatever he has. That's like 14 oh. shots. So he's... Bro, he's fucking loaded. Uh, Gargots is going to stay up and party all night and then rob somebody. So, And then uh, Jesse will uh, have sex with him while he's playing the bass. I'll be joining him, too. Man, Jesse's camera looks fire right now. Look at Jesse. Oh. He's been gigabat. Look at Jesse. He looks sexy, baby. Oh, you think he put a distortion on that bass? You want some of that, Jesse? Want some of that cock, baby? Want some cock, Jesse? Yeah, you whip out that cock. Right yeah, whip that cock. I whip it. I whip it up right now. You want some of that cock? My cock, my lot. I do. Fuck. I'm so beautiful, I'm David. I'm bold. I am brash. I belong in the oh, trash. Man, dude. I didn't oh, even ask you. Yo. Did you? Did you? I. I was gonna real quick. Yeah. We're gonna uh, take on. Joker two. Joker two. Yep. Uh. What, what are your thoughts on that? Did you hear about what it's going to be? Yeah, it's, well, we heard a long time ago it was going to be a musical, so. And, and, it, and it's not going to be. In there. We thought it was going to be originals, but it looks like the musical, it's going to be like covers, which I was. Yep. I would have thought an original would have been more interesting, but they're going to do cover songs. So oh, one so of the ones uh, it's going to be is called The Bandwagon. And if you've ever seen that one, dude, it. I could show you like scenes. I'll send it to you later, and you can look at it later. But dude, it's literally like people like battling with guns and shit, and uh, they're dancing. It's more of a dance number, yeah. And barely, <clears throat> barely even a fucking uh, musical. But it makes sense for Lady Gaga to be in it, and it makes sense for fucking uh, Walking Phoenix to do like some weird shit that he always likes to do. I hope he pulls his pants so, down. You think so? I, I do. I think so. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. We'll see you later. Go check out Gargut. He'll be live partying. 
and probably assaulting people. He's going live now. Garguts on. Go Joe, get Joe before you leave. Yes. Before you leave, I got one last video. Remember when um, the private parts don't work? Right. I have one small video for you before you go. Then the show of a bang. Okay. Wait one second. Let's see that. I'm going to save this <laughs> thumbnail that you updated, too. Mikael was a lizard. Here you go. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> My private parts don't work, dude. <laughs> I cannot believe that guy said that. Don't you have the clip for that? My private parts. Oh my god, I got it somewhere. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're, we're out of here. Garguts is going already. Yep. So and, thank uh, you, Joe. Love you guys. Have fun and love you. You get tomorrow, you, so you get wet, bro. Keep going. You get wet. Already am. Oh, that's not the outro music we're going to. We'll go to the other outro music. Yes. Somebody wants to join in. Go join in with Garguts. You'll be there all night.